Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Blink, plong, blink, blink. I love it. Do you know? I almost. I. I. I want. I'm showing my age here now. Hang on a minute. Heidi, hi, campers. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to turn up. No, talk, to talk to me. Talk to me. There you go. There you go. Morning, jewelry makers. How are we all this Thursday morning? The sun is shining. It's going to be beautiful. Keep cool, people. Keep cool. Apparently, who's saying it's going to be too hot? If it's if it's over thirty, it's too hot. Unless you're on holiday, then it's all right. It's fine if it's if you're on holiday. You're fine. Um, but I can't function in this country if it's over thirty and I've got to cook dinner oh, and, gosh, no. and 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 you know do ironing and all that kind of stuff. I don't function. <laughs> I just literally start wilting. <laughs> what, what's, for, what's for tea, mummy? Nothing. <laughs> to what? I'm only joking. I do feed my kids. Um, anyway, guess who's with me today? It's beautiful Linda, Good everyone. Good morning, morning, morning. You look very trendy today. Oh, thanks. You do? I can't remember the last time anybody said that to me. Trendy, you do look eh? very wow. trendy. I'm loving the shirt. Wow, thank you. Very nice. Thank you. Goes beautifully, actually, with your projects. Sure does. Because you've got a lot of sparkle on your projects oh, too, have. haven't you? I have got something really special and lustrous. Yeah, which, I mean, we could be talking 9 and 12 here, couldn't we? Oh, yeah. Because at 9 o'clock, just to whet your appetite, we have, in a beautiful box, the most amazing pink pearls that come alongside with the most delicate, very quite art deco, encrusted sterling silver bow. Mm -hmm. Those pearls are totally natural and they are utterly divine. I've not seen these before, Linda, and as soon as I came into the studio, I was like, oh my goodness, look at those. Uh, they're just so tactile, they're so luxurious, they're so wearable, mm. they're so timeless. Yeah, they really are, aren't they? Yeah. And many people um, favor pink pearls. Yes. Pink pearls are one of the most popular colours. Um, I guess through no surprise. Do you know what would go perfectly with some pink pearls? I mean, visualise maybe a multi-layered pink pearl necklace with the little encrusted bow maybe asymmetrically. Do you know what would go absolutely beautiful with those? How about the rarest colour of pearl in the world? I am talking about natural not dyed not the same thing natural blue acoya pearls they are a miracle and i've literally just popped them in that little dish um we're going to order a few of them over just sorry shell i beg your pardon mother of phil shell um we're going to order a few of them over so you can show we will show you the consistency of that wonderful color when it comes to, and I don't want to talk too much about it just yet, but when it comes to uh, blue acoya pearls, it is down to A, how strong that beautiful blue saturation is. Saturation is probably the wrong word. Colour is. 
but also all the classic things really that we love a Nakoya pearl for, that lustre. Because you've got to remember, a Nakoya pearl forms in much colder waters than that of your South Sea and your Tahitian pearls. And that's what brings you the most mirror-like luster. It's the temperature of the water. Um, this is one for the absolute collectors. And I will tell you, I've had a few emails from the powers that be about this opportunity that's coming up. Um, that's, this is at 12, by the way. Um, and these were sourced. The only reason we have them on your screens today, jewelry makers, as these were sourced, they're a pre-pandemic harvest. So that's how this is happening. We couldn't buy them after that. Um, it's an impossibility. It's an impossibility for most for freshwater pearls. When you talk in South Sea Tahitian or Akoya, it's you know, yeah, it's just not going to happen. So it's a miracle, quite frankly, that we've actually got them on today's show. So that's at twelve o'clock. And I'm also going to mention jewelry makers because you might be thinking, oh, L. I know that blue Akoya pearls are the rarest color that you can possibly get. I know they're a miracle of mother nature. And I know Akoya pearls are some of the most expensive pearls in the world right now. Um, I'm priced out. Today, I can guarantee lovely Neary has, sort, has sorted the best, most affordable deal for you. So I remember, and I'm going back, goodness me, probably about eight years, maybe more, and I remember that I was fortunate enough to launch a Koya Pearls, not Blue, a Koya Pearls on what was our USA channel. And at that time, I was like, I, I need one of these pearls. So I bought one. It's tiny, by the way. It's probably about five mil, maybe maximum. I bought one and I can tell you it was four times the price of what you're going to be paying today. And it's not blue. So this is an absolutely unmissable opportunities for the pearl collectors out there. Um, so that's coming at 12 o'clock. Also, at 10 o'clock today, we're going to be joined by one of your managers. We've got lovely Bree stepping into the studio, who I think is going to be a new face for many of you. She's new to the team, isn't she, Bree? We're going to get her to introduce uh, herself to the audience. So um, you can all say hi, and she can tell you what her job role is all about and what she's um, involved in behind the scenes. And I'm sure this will be the first time of many um, that we bring her to air. She has chosen um, one of your favorite gemstones, actually, to bring as a manager special, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise in rounds. Um, well, firstly, round is rare to get in turquoise because it's very wasteful. Sleeping Beauty mined out 12 years ago. It literally mined out 12 years ago. So, again, the fact that she's doing it in a manager special deal um, is unbelievable. So that's at 10 o'clock today. Um, your early bird this morning. Oh, I need to get these, not just for Christmas for birthdays i'm also thinking i've got a, i've got a, a seven-year-old at home who's about to who's about to celebrate her eighth birthday she would love these and i'm going to make some little stretchy bracelets for her, her little her little friends you get 25 stars and moons organza bags in all different colors as well so you get pink blue purple um, red, you've got a lovely uh, orange, yellow and green, all the colours, you get 25 of them. Um, so shop ahead and again they're a crazy low price tag, I'm going to be getting some of those as well jewellery makers. You could just put potpourri in there couldn't you? Potpourri and have it dotted around your house just to make it smell nice. Have you got potpourri in your house? Um, I can tell you a very quick story about potpourri in my house. Um, some years ago um, I was really quite keen on potpourri all in the bathrooms in the lounge everywhere and I had a dinner party one evening and as you do you put out one of the little nesting tables and you put all the snacks around yeah. and everything and one of my guests ate a piece of potpourri <laughs> so I stopped doing it <laughs> oh no it's not meant to be eaten yeah. oh and then like that <laughs> <laughs> bit crunchy. I've got a bit of potpourri as you go into walk into my house and I put essential oils on it. Yeah. Just to keep it nice and fresh and nice. Um, somebody's bought 15 of the rose quartz. I don't blame you. Do you want me to do the wall of fame? Let's do the rose quartz just because otherwise it might sell out. 
Um, Hertfordshire's bought 15. Oh, Hertfordshire. We, good morning, Hertfordshire. You're on it with the early birds, aren't you? Right, hang on a second. Let's help you out with that quantity. Beautiful rose quartz. One to two millimetre microfaceted. So technically speaking, the micro gemstones should really be more expensive because they're harder, aren't they, to facet? Um, right, let's give you an amazing Thursday morning, a sunny Thursday morning early bird deal, shall we? £3.49! <laughs> £3.49 only! Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. You could use these in tassels. Um, you could use them in tassels, you could use them in lumen, you could use them as an alternative to a knot. Well done, well done, well done. Let's do some goldstone, yes, full of sparkle. In fact, they'd be nice together, Neary. This is in your top five favourite gemstones. Is it? Um, so yeah, goldstone is man-made goldstone, but it is still often referred to as a gem. Um, and I can see why it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I always, always want to refer want to sing that song whenever I see goldstone. Starry, starry night, <laughs> paint your palette blue and grey. Yeah, anybody else? No, just me. Um, it's one of my favourite songs, that. Vincent, yeah, by Don McLean. Beautiful song, isn't it, Linda? It sure is, yeah. Yeah. So Breaks about, your back. What about Vincent Van Gogh? Um, lowest ever price. Make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. Full of sparkle, Two ninety nine. Get your text messages in. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm the imposter today, jewellery makers. I'm the imposter. Well, I'm not going to be on your shift side, am I? But I've just kind of like, yes, I'm coming along to join you, Neary. Yay. Yay. Hopefully you're happy about that. <laughs> I've got a four-day weekend, yeah? I know. And next week I'm doing extra overtime as well, so you're going to be seeing a bit of L lately. Um, let's do... Did you... Pardon? Moonstone. Some beautiful... I'd call it more peach moonstone rather than orange. Um, personally, yeah, peach, peach moonstone. <coughs> Excuse me, coughing. Okay, totally natural. <coughs> okay, <coughs> two pounds and ninety nine pence only. Well done, everybody. Multi buying. We got quantity of these. Have we got quantity? 60 left. Good job, really, because there's loads of people getting involved. Um, take a little look at the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. If you click watch live and then scroll down, you can see all the items that are on the website for you to shop and um, purchase today. Um, remember, these do time out at nine o'clock as well. So make sure you're checking out your baskets before that. You can always combine, um, combine your order. Um, at no additional extra charge. So, um, back the bargains. The early bird hour is full of absolute massive, massive bargains. Uh, but make sure you're checking out. And do get your text messages in. Come and say hello to Linda and I. We would love to hear from you this morning. Ooh, look at that. Number 27. That's very good. That's very good. Black diamond connectors at 14.99. Wow. Quay hog ring. At no oh, there's some lovely goodies in this hour. <clears throat> love in that. Loving these. Oh, what's that? Baltic Amber Ombre Blue Rounds. No. I've not seen. I don't think I have. I might be wrong. You've got these lovely cotton bags as well with satin ribbons that you can emboss. So you can put your branding on there. Um, and there's items selling out already. So again, do, do shop ahead. Just because they're at that price doesn't mean they're staying at that price. But first, before we go any further with your early bird, perhaps while you're having a little peruse and a little schmooze, on the website, I'm going to show off your wonderful creations in the Wall of Fame. Okay, starting us off, I've got a lovely suite of jewellery from Susan Thursfield. Hello Susan, you're number 53. Hi all, here is my entry to the WAF. It's a simple necklace and earring set made from frosted rose quartz. 
uh, rondelles and silver spaces made to complement a delicate bride sister's outfit. All from jewellery makers, stash of course. Hope you like it. We love it, Susan. That's absolutely beautiful. Uh, good luck to you. You're number 53. Very nice. Uh, next up. Oh, wow. This is a vision of summer. And it comes from Ailsa Wood. Hello, Ailsa. You're number 54. Look at these. <coughs> Some, you've got a kaleidoscope of butterflies and hummingbirds. Morning all. I've been playing with my F-colour enamel projects. Meet uh, Matilda the tropical goddess mm -hmm. all from jewelry maker she is a tropical goddess i'd like to be a tropical goddess wouldn't you linda i think you are don't you Elle? Um, i think you absolutely are a tropical goddess i'm far from it but I, i'd like to be <laughs> just walking around with my seashells and things like that yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like Botticelli's birth uh, of what Venus. What are you doing? Yeah. Put some clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> it's minus four outside, Elle. What are you doing? Uh, number 55 is from Joanne Barrett. Hello to you, Joanne. Oh, some beautiful gem setting here. Um, hi to all at Jewelry Maker. Here is my entry to this week's WAF, a Bronca Onyx cab set in sterling silver ring mount, beautiful. all from Jewelry Maker. And she says, good luck to all. Oh, good luck to you, Joanne. That's beautiful. You're number 55. Uh, next up, I've got some very summery earrings from Jude Ryan. Jude, I always think your name's like a, like a celebrity's. I feel like you should have a star on the boulevard in Hollywood. <laughs> Um, number 56, um, Jude says, good morning, jewellery maker. Um, I had a busy week at work, so easy makes this week. A trio of earrings for a friend for her holidays. That's very nice. Um, it is my first time using the pull-through earrings, which are from um, a Monica project. Um, as you are, as are the yellow bicones and spaces. The flowers are connectors. I got from a jewellery maker finding box years ago. I remember them. I do remember. Do you remember them, Linda? I do, yes. Lovely, aren't they? A bit Mary Quant. They are, yeah, you're right. Very nice. Good luck. You're number 56, Jude. Oh, lovely. Uh, number 57 is from Julia Wood. Hello, Julia. Um, very nice, Julia. Julia says, hi, this is uh, a make from quite a while ago. I hope you like it. I really enjoy wearing it. Yeah, that's very wearable jewellery. Beautiful amber. The little honey bee just there. Very nice. Good luck to you, Julia. You're number 57. Uh, ooh, Joe Hall. Morning. This photograph makes the bracelet look as if um, it's for an elephant. Oh, it's it, no, it's, no, it doesn't. Um, don't know what happened. It's also a very strange colour, but it's picture Jasper in real life. Everything from Jewelry Maker except for the spaces. I love that, Joe. That's very cool. I like that. Picture Jasper in those organic shapes. Mm. You're number 58, Joe. so good luck to you. Um, amazing. Keep those entries coming into the Wall of Fame jewellery makers. We absolutely love to see your fabulous creations, of course. Right, who wants more early bird deals? Mm. Got a message. Mm. Hello, Ailsa. Morning, lovely la ladies. Fabulous to see Linda. She oh, is the person you. who inspired me on my jewellery making journey when I first started watching jewellery making. Oh, bless you. I bet you've heard that quite a few times, haven't you? Well... You're um, the original. You're being humble now. She's being humble. Sorry, I'm... Yeah, no, because you're the original. That's why I call you Queen Jewelry Maker. Yes, yeah, Sheila and I were... The originals. Yeah. Yes. She, I, like, she, I was with Sheila on Sunday. Yeah. And it's funny because we were obviously, we were at a christening and then, and then um, of course, it was like the football afterwards and she kept saying to me, she was like... Oh, God, Elle, there's another four hours till the football. I don't know if I can carry on drinking Prosecco. I was like, come on, <laughs> Sheila. Yes, she can. Yes, you can. <laughs> Sheila, I know you better than that. So, four hours of drinking Prosecco. Yeah, no problem. <coughs> okay, start with what? Number what? 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. I haven't seen them. Ooh. Marius Georgia Wayne in Hong Kong had, had a meeting, a chance meeting. <gasps> Just so happened to be there at the same time and Marius had one piece of blue amber and Wayne was like, that's incredible. Can you do some strands just like that? Oh, that's gorgeous. And then this was born. Wow. Oh, Marius was like, no, absolutely not. 
but then Wayne, you know, he's like he's he's like he's like a Jack Russell, isn't he, Wayne? <clears throat> Just goes on and on and on. But we've only ever had this and one other strand. That's it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that fusion. Stunning. Fusion of blues and greens and yellows. Um, amazing. Incredibly. £149 is not actually your price, jewellery makers. Incredibly. We are down to the final seven. They flew on the original launch, jewellery makers. You know, you, how many did you have from the, on the launch? Did you? You had 150. That's a mass. That's a massive quantity. Seven left. So you will need to be quick. And that's not your prize, jewellery makers. That's stunning. I've never seen Amber like it. No, normally. I remember um, uh, two or three years ago, um, it was possibly in pandemic time, I think, that Marius came on air um, via Skype and, that, and he was talking about yeah. the blue amber and yeah, how that rare it was it his thing at the time it's a pro you can there's a there's a very gemologically technical process to transform sort of a classic colored amber to something like this i'm not even gonna i'm not an expert marius is the expert but i know it's very expensive and it's also very timely um so I, that's why i was shocked at the 150 quantity i've only got seven of these left um you know if you if you if you love amber you know where else in the world are you going to see something like this in fact neary has just said in my ear it is a jewelry maker exclusive jewelry maker so um we believe anyway and marius i remember yeah marius has not sold it to anybody else so we believe this is quite possibly an exclusive to you guys um well done only a couple of those left amazing 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 let's do I want crazy early bird deals. I was looking at this, it's so pretty. That would go so beautifully. Perfect for today. Turquoise connector. I was actually eyeing this up near it. It's so pretty. 288 sold on launch, you've got 50 left. Sleeping Beauty turquoise in a sterling silver connector. I love the organicness of this. Gorgeous. Very Monica Veneda, isn't it? Very, yes, it is. Very, very. Oh, I'd be buying a few of these, Neary. Six pounds and 99 pence. It's gorgeous. That's crazy, isn't it? It'd be fantastic in a slider bracelet, wouldn't it? Yeah, amazing. Wouldn't that be lovely? As you, if, you've got, if you've got two of these and two Akoya pearls, Oof, two of the blue Akoyas, can you imagine that? because they're going to kind of re reflect on one another how mm. amazing such high-end jewelry i've not seen this before that's another reason why you might find that certainly carol and i love to kind of like uh jump across shifts because you see different items i've not seen this i've not seen that amber <coughs> you hoard your own stuff no 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 i think i think it's very even across the show across the shows it's just you you you, you schedule different stuff so it's always quite nice amazing amazing 6.99 the final few there's a couple of twos being purchased so i think maybe earring options are um you could rosary link these what all oh, the clocks on your screen to go even lower sleeping beauty turquoise mined out 12 years ago mine neary you know that don't you Okay, so I mean, you get turquoise from all around the world. Sorry, I was just hearing. I assume this was Sleeping Beauty turquoise because of the color of the blue. Assume because it's so bright. You can get turquoise from Arizona, oh, lots of places in Arizona. You can get it from Peru. You can get it. Three ninety nine. Are you are you joking? For for turquoise, which is a very expensive gemstone. You look at Harry Winston. Harry Winston, turquoise pieces of jewellery are thousands of pounds. Go on Tiffany's and Co. where they also set it in sterling silver. Thousands of pounds. Ah, uh, David's got four, London's got three, Janet's got three, Audrey's got five, Cheryl's got two. Hello, Jacqueline. Morning, Susie. Hello, Rachel. You need to check out. We've got 50, or rather we had. Rachel, Barbara, Paula, uh, Patricia, Maker, Lanarkshire, Candy, Allen. Morning, everybody. I am still a little bit nasally at the moment, so I do apologise. <laughs> Audrey's got 10. Well done, Audrey. 
This is summertime. Is there a more summery gemstone than turquoise? Um, maybe a bit of citrine, yeah. I mean, it's one of the oldest gemstones that Mother Earth has ever created. I mean, you go back to sort of 5000 BC yeah. and there's... Um, you know, go back to the ancient civilizations, and yeah. you'll find turquoise jewelry and, and they loved carvings. It. Yeah. Did you say three, Neary? Oh, 33, Sorry. Diamond cup crib tubes that are too pretty to squash. And Susie, as I know you're watching, Susie was saying the other day, she was like, uh, "If ever you see findings like this, just buy them up because mm. they make such a difference to your jewelry." Um, and I and I have been doing taking that advice. Um, Susie's on next weekend. There we are. Amazing. Um, because, yeah, these are crimps, but I personally wouldn't squash them. I think they're really decorative. I'd have those as spacer beads. Yeah, well, in my 12 o'clock project with the Akoya, I've used crimp beads, standard crimp beads, yep. um, alongside some blue sapphire three mil facetids. Um, and it, it just makes the texture it makes yeah. the eye go straight to the design as much as the well it it's adding opulence isn't it than just but, you one know pearl. having the diamond cut ones like this they're, well. too, they're too pretty to squash aren't they yeah. oh definitely, definitely. I, yeah, yeah. I, they, they would be they would be actually more of a um, a decorative item rather than a functional item four pounds and 99 pence jewelry makers that's amazing look at that lovely luster yeah and like linda said the diamond cutting mm -hmm. is incredibly i mean i, I like i said I, i'm not an expert on this but um take uh, not not on diamond cutting no <laughs> um i should imagine it's quite challenging technique to do so do you know what i will take expert status on sausage rolls <laughs> I know. Whenever <laughs> there's a party, uh, my, my best friend Hannah, Jake's wife, was like, Elle, you, I need your sausage rolls. And I was like, okay, right, no problem. <laughs> and I'm like a production line in my kitchen making so a mountain of sausage rolls. I'm not joking. It was like, it was like this, the pile of sausage rolls. And they were gone in 10 minutes. I was like, I should have, should have, bought, should have made more. Um, yeah, proper homemade sausage roll. You can't beat it, can you? Nope. And, and it, it did. I can bring sausage rolls in for you, Chris. Let me know when you're next work, and I'll do some sausage rolls. Number one, number five. Oh, this is pretty, so pretty. By coloured kunzite. Oh, look at that strand. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is the first for me. I've never seen by coloured kunzite. Yeah, you can before. get yellow kunzite. Yes, yellow and green yeah. colours. It's called canary kunzite. Wow, that's beautiful. That's very, isn't it stunning? A spodumene. It, kunzite is a member of the spodumene family. But then look at this. Look how stun. Look how beautiful that is. That's gorgeous. Gem encrusted. What garden parties are you attending, Chris? That have hummingbirds. Tropical ones. <laughs> He's our tropical queen. See. It's you, Chris, really. Look at how beautiful that is. I don't know how close you can get to the hummingbird. Oh, my goodness me. This was launched by our beautiful Debbie Kershaw, who celebrated her 20th wedding anniversary yesterday. Lovely Debs. Um, if you purchase this project, you also get Debs' instructions as well to make this absolutely magnificent piece of jewellery. Now, um, often referred to as an evening stone, your beautiful kunzite will actually has the ability to retain light, so it will glow under softer, more uh, subtle lighting conditions. So it's an evening gemstone, uh, widely considered one of the most uh, um, feminine gems in the world. Um, actually, historically, we just spoke about uh, turquoise, didn't we? Going back to sort of 5000 BC, turquoise. Uh, sorry. Kunzite was only discovered in the early 1900s, so it's a baby. Um, but incredibly rare. You know, what we normally see is like this traditional pink colour, but actually, yes, you can get rare canary yellows and greens. We're at £199. How many do we have of this project? Six. Okay, this is a lovely project. Today, £99.99. But you can get hold of it on your split pay as well if you want jewelry makers, which is 0% interest. Um, for the strand alone, that's amazing. Kunzite is not an inexpensive gemstone. 
You know, it's one of those gems that when I first started here at the Gemporia Partnership, I never thought I'd be able to own because it's it's it, it is expensive, you know. And then I started seeing some of the like Minas Gerais Kunzite purchases that Steve made back in two thousand and fourteen. Um, and it made it all possible. But again, it is rare. Ask, ask yourself this question. How often do you see Kunzite on our screens? Very, very, very rarely. I couldn't do an hour. Couldn't bring you an hour. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> no, that's certainly my fault. Um, like I said, I'm a bit nasally and a bit chesty after that horrible cold last week. Denise has got hers. Well done, Rachel. Well done, Candy. Well done to you. I've only got six available. Ah, oh, look at that piece of jewellery as well that Debs has made. The hummingbird's got a beautiful fan. Amazing. Absolutely stunning. Well done, Yimei, you could do it. Oh, I team some pearls as well. Some of your pink pearls. Linda's pink pearls at nine o'clock with this project. Can you imagine? How unbelievable that would be, those pink pearls. Um, well done, well done, well done. Stay where you are. Actually, on that, uh, let me put that back there. That what number was that? Thirty-three. Number five. Of course it was. Okay. Here we go. Four different designs. Eight pieces. Might need to do. Have you got a photo of this? Just because there's so many of them, by the time I get them on the board, they'll probably have sold out. <coughs> Extender chains, jewelry makers, we've got people shopping ahead on these already. I don't blame you um, because there's lots of potential with an extender chain. Yes, they extend your necklaces um, or your bracelets, but equally they're great for, like, say, to be the foundation for a pair of earrings. Would mm -hmm. you agree with that, Linda? Definitely. Yeah, a nice sort of uh, bunch of grapes. Yeah. Waterfall drop. Look at those. So you've got the ball, you've got the flower, hearts and stars. Um, so yeah, normally you find these at the back of a necklace, so it gives you the option to say take it from a 16 to an 18 or an 18 to a 20 inch necklace. But likewise, they're great for bracelets as well um, because you can wear them slightly shorter or longer. But again, being jewelry makers, you're fantastic at thinking outside the box, aren't you? You might look at these and go, I'm going to use those for earrings because I've got, I've got four pairs straight away. We're at $14.99 and they are solid sterling silver. Not your price today, jewellery makers. How about $10.99 for four pairs? Eight necklaces, eight bracelets. I mean, you could actually link those in a, a sort of a... A necklace anyway, couldn't you? Yeah. You could wear a bracelet using all of those eight chains. You would get a yeah, necklace. Yeah, it's a nice you? open link, isn't yes. it? Yes. Sally, David, five. New customers getting involved. How many, gra how many grams have we got here? 2.5 grams. Everybody checking out their baskets. Um, I can't remember the last time I saw an extender chain. They're not one of those findings that we see frequently on our screens. You know, they mm -hmm. tend to be kind of on and gone. Um, and they're a necessity. I do believe that, you know, because especially if you sell your jewellery, you know, not we're not all the same size, are we? We're not all the same shape as well. So, for example, my best friend who's five foot one, I'm five foot six. She wears particularly delicate jewellery. So, say, an 18 inch might be too long for her. Um, so it's giving that flexibility and that adjustability. 10.99, well done everybody. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Um, coming up next, is it time for our very first star buy opportunity? Some what? Oh, these. Oh, they're so beautiful. Right. Hands up if you love pearls. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Who doesn't love pearls? I'm gonna t I'm gonna tell you. It has definitely recently. It's always been a passion, but recently the pearls that we have here at Jewelry Maker, it's my favourite gemstone at the moment. Yeah, I think the thing is when you start to acknowledge pearls and you start that journey of falling in love, it's just endless yeah, that it is. journey is. You know, you fall deeper and deeper. It's true. And deeper. 
And, and my husband said to me, I, so we're going to go to a start by in a second, but my husband said to me, Elle, do you think you've got enough pills? And I was like, no. No. Well, you can't not. have enough, can you? Exactly. What's enough? Wait until you see these pearls. Again, naturally coloured. They're absolutely exquisite in their luster. Some of the finest luster that you can imagine. Next in a star buy. Now today we're going to be talking quite a bit about pearls. We've got some amazing pink pearls coming up at 9 o'clock. We've got blue Akoya pearls coming up at 12 o'clock today. And I've said it so many times, and I'm so, I apologise for repeating myself, but it is one of our greatest strengths. The fact that, it always has been, we are probably, arguably one of the largest pearl buyers in the West. That being said, over the past year or so, the pearl industry has dramatically changed. And we did foresee it. That's the thing. You know, you think about when the pandemic hit, um, you can walk away from a diamond mine, that's not a problem, the diamonds will stay there safe as they have done for millions of years within the ground and any other gemstone, but you can't walk away from a pearl harvest. If you walk away from a pearl harvest, the mollusks literally die or return to the sea and those pearls are ultimately lost. And it's not a case of, okay, you can just start back, back at work um, um, when everything sort of regained normality for want of, uh, to, to put it lightly, I suppose. Um, because you have to start the whole maturing of the oysters and that can take two to three years before even a single pearl is actually cultured. So we did foresee there being issues in the pearl industry. However, what we did not foresee is the fact that you would have massive influencers, and I don't really like that terminology, but yeah, global celebrities, particularly in China, who make up a third of the world's population, um, falling as passionately as head over heels in love with these with pearls which has immediately impacted even more compounded I suppose um, the supply because China quite simply put put bluntly will not export them they said well why 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 would we export pearls to you jewelry maker or Gemporia um, when we have we have customers here in China that will pay the premiums for it. We've got a booming economy as it stands right now. They will pay premiums for it here. So rather than sort of tra travel best part of halfway around the world, instead we're just going to sell it locally. So that does mean that certainly for us in the West, pearls have skyrocketed in their price. Um, why is it still one of our greatest strengths? Well, the fact that you even have pearls on the show right now is unbelievable and is all down to the fact that we have friendships that have been formed um, over the years with our pearl suppliers. Now, what we need to imagine is pearls like this, naturally colored pearls, most likely you're only going to see in London or in sort of your very high-end boutique jewelers around the world, the likes of Yoko, the likes of, as I mentioned earlier on, Harry Winston. Um, that photograph's perfect, actually. If you go to the GIA, um, when they talk about the pearl quality factors, um, and it talks about, you know, sort of the, the size, the shape, the color, the luster, the nacre. But the, the very photograph they choose on their heading, I suppose, is a strand just like this one. Just like this one. These are exceptional, exceptional quality. Do you know Yoko of London, where well, you're talking thousands of pounds no piece of jewelry in yoko of london is less than four figures reached out to dave troth actually and said where are you sourcing your pills from because if you go on their website a lot of them are out of stock um and we could have probably have sold them to them and made a premium but that means we can't bring them to our audience so i really want to highlight jewelry makers the quality of the pearls that you get here are as fine as some of the pearls that I have seen in some of the most expensive jewelry houses. Charlie, Charlie Barron, prime example. Mm -hmm. Charlie Barron used to sell his pearls to Cartier and Van Cleef and Arpels. He's also brought them to you, hasn't he? So even here at 299 pounds, for naturally colored, a mixture of the colors in near round pearls of this caliber of luster, that's already an absolute steal, and I think we would be very much hard pushed to find anywhere near that price tag anywhere else. In fact, I think we're probably 
10% of the price that it could be elsewhere. How many do you have of these then, Neary? Only, how many? Seven. Okay. There are only seven available opportunities. For me, knot it, put it on a rose gold clasp. Oh, yes, please. If I was to find that in mm. Hatton Garden, say, you'd be talking, let's say £2,990. I'm not valuing it. I'm not qualified to value. But what I can do is I can, I can sort of pass on my experiences of pearls like this and it wouldn't be three figures and yet we're going to go significantly lower but in order to do so jewelry makers we want to see you there um we are oh my goodness me it's irreplaceable at that price and this is the thing this is that this is why yoko of london you see 22 and a half thousand pound prices it's not because necessarily well yeah okay you are paying for the brand name as well but also it's about the replacement price they can't buy the pearls back that's the challenge. We showed you footage of when of Hong Kong at the beginning of this year where Dave traveled to Hong Kong knowing full well that he wasn't going to buy pearls for the very first time. Um, but he went for footage and that's as invaluable as actually having the gemstone itself so that we can show you, look, individual pearls, individual pearls, <coughs> 5,000 pounds, 10,000 pounds. We're bringing you a full 38 centimetre strand and in 60 seconds we're going even lower. Already collectors getting there. Sally, you are in just the right place. Peter and Sharon, you're in just the right place. I've only got six, so you will need to be quick checking out. Irreplaceable for the quality. Ticking every single one of those pearl quality factors, jewellery makers. And it's not even at three, just at at three figures we're not we're not oh my goodness me 299 was absolutely unbelievable wasn't it but to be going even lower is astonishing good luck it's going to be first come first serve i mean to be honest with the um state of the pearl industry as it has been these last couple of years and in the foreseeable future pearls at some point is look we'll have to catch up and we will only be seeing them on the secondary market yeah absolutely we? and we won't um, be seeing them at 199 no nope. do you know where else you won't be seeing them at 199 right here you might be thinking okay yeah a single pearl 189 elsewhere yeah and that's they're not wrong please know that these these prices they're not wrong we're the ones that are wrong in the best possible way one two nine for genuine pearls not faux not simulant genuine naturally colored not bleached not dyed naturally colored if you knotted this and you put it on an 18 karat gold class well, i'm not exaggerating i wouldn't be surprised if i saw that at three grand somewhere else definitely you I'm know to that. you look on first dibs yep. and um you know even and, i mean that will be um a piece of jewelry that you would find in an auction house yes. let alone in a, a high-end jewelers 32 pounds and 25 pence on 0 percent interest split payment um so near is saying in my ear there's going to be approximately 45 pearls on that strand you do the maths one two nine divided by how much two pounds i can't two pounds eighty a pearl i don't think you can get faux pearls for that no you can't i love zara fashion jewelry mm -hmm. it's the, and they do a lot of faux pearls they do on a there. lovely design process, yeah it's they? the design yeah. but you don't pay two pound eighty for a faux pearl i've got four of these left so pauline swansea london that if you all check out that means i've got one so don't let that put you off you can still get involved but you need to be quick with this lovelies um again look at the quality of the pearls remember your five virtues as well technically there's more than five virtues but um, we talk about size these are significant you know eight to nine millimeters then we start talking about the shape near round every pearl um that's cultured is cultured with the aim of being round so to be actually having a near round pearl, you would pay a premium for. Then we start talking about color. Are they natural? Are they dyed? Dyed are more affordable, generally speaking. These are natural. 
um, exceptionally rare as well to see the papayas and the purple colours. Um, then we start talking about nacre. How thick is that nacre? Which leads very nicely into your fifth virtue, which is the lustre. Lustre is the most important of your five virtues um, because you can have a big pearl, you can have a perfectly shaped pearl, you can have a lovely naturally coloured pearl, but if it doesn't have lustre, then it's meh. Um, you want it to be that sort of mirror-like. In fact, that fit photograph's perfect. Look at the top strand on that photograph. That's what I am seeing in your pearls. Reflective, mirror-like luster. Now, as it stands, I've got two chances and I've got seven of you with it in your baskets. Patricia, Stella, Pauline, Swansea. Oh, hello, Sally. Thank you so much. Pearls are great from you. They really are. Um, never go anywhere else um, from you for them. Um, will the blue acquires be on pre-order, please? Is th Shall we? Do you know what, Sally? It doesn't hurt to ask, does it? Because Neary said, what about if you do a percentage? We, how, I tell you what. We will put a percentage of the quantity on pre-order because otherwise they could sell out. And our concern is that if we have a London jeweller dial in, buy them all, then, then that, we won't be popular. Um, and we do have jewellers who shop with us, you know. They, they, so we'll put a percentage on pre-order, Sally, at nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. There you go. Hiya, Julian, warmly saying, morning, Linda. It's yours and Jan's fault that I love uh, love um, addiction to pearl. For my well, I'll put my hands to up to that and say, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then what's not to love about pearls? They're so beautiful, so feminine, aren't they? They are. They're so incredibly wearable. That's one of my um, things about pearls is you can... I, yesterday afternoon, my... Um, my two youngest nieces, um, my brother's got four girls, and the two younger ones popped in yesterday. And the 18-year-old, uh, as soon as I walked, she walked into the house and I heard her voice, I knew it was Freya, and I knew she'd have a pearl necklace on, and she did. I've really? not seen that girl without her pearl necklace on in months. At the age of 18. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Um, yeah, I love that. I absolutely love that. Now, should we do a little bit of a warm-up for the early bird? Because it's gonna okay. it's gonna melt the phone lines. We have to prepare our. Um, oh, I have to show you these first. Sorry, uh, Ava. I just seen that oh, you put. Uh, oh, I don't think I've ever seen so many acquires in one place ever. Wow. Oh my goodness me. Look at that. Natural blue acquire pearls, the rarest colour of pearl wherever wherever it is the rarest of all we have them today at 12 o'clock the color do you know the color has actually blown me away because when i was prepping i was like oh i could go on the i could go on our computer screens and you can see a photograph but it never does the gemstones justice so i i actually was like i'm not going to i'm going to wait till tomorrow and i knew that when coming in i was like the strength of blue is what really escalates the value of a blue acquire pearl as I hope they're strong blue. My goodness me, these are amazing. Natural, mm. coming up at 12 o'clock. I think, I think Neary, actually, that pre-order, so Sally suggesting that, is a good idea because we could melt the phone lines with that. Um, this is coming up at 12 o'clock, jewellery makers. Now, we're going to warm up. Sorry. We're going to warm up for your early birds, which are these lovely chiffon bags. I'm going to bring you some cotton ones. Okay. Which colour? The blue, I've got the blue ones. So we've got blue, like a pinky red and a purple. You get all those. 20. You're gonna have to be quick. If I told you that these are under a pound each, yeah, you're gonna, be, you're gonna need to be speedy on these. You could emboss, you could sew. You get 20 of them. You can put your bracelets, your necklaces, your earrings, all sorts in there, couldn't you? There you go. Yeah, yeah you, you can put, a, you know, we were talking about embossing them. You can actually stamp your own business yeah. logo onto them if yeah. you sell, can't you? Amazing. And you've got them in three different colours. The price that we're going to do today, 
you know, with your, yeah, literally, incorporate into your cost if you're a business. Chris says, the deal's that good, you're definitely going to want to bag them. <laughs> Twelve ninety nine. Wow. wow. For 20 of them. Wow. Can I just say, little bags like this are really handy around the home as well, aren't they? For your little knickknacks. Yeah, definitely. Because we've all got knickknacks, haven't we? You know, like, I don't know, you could put things like your sewing needles. Well, I, if I'm going to tumble back down the years 150 years ago, I'd have had my marbles in there. Yes. <laughs> Chris has still got his marbles. <laughs> really? Have you? <laughs> Have you? I don't know about that. That's <laughs> open for debate, isn't it? <laughs> Only joking, Chris. Only joking. Nine ninety nine. Wow. Hang on a minute. Is that right? How much? Fifty p. Fifty p a bag. And can I just say as well, if you love pearls, these are great for pearls. Don't keep pearls in plastic. <coughs> Excuse me, they don't like it. No, it creates too much humidity. Yeah, in the pearls they don't like it. But, but this is perfect to keep your pearls in. Um, well done, everybody. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. There's other colours on the website as well. Um, up next, though, it's your early bird, full of colour. Um, you could do things like wedding favours in these. You can, you can when you gift how you actually present them to your nearest and dearest i think is as important as the piece of jewelry as well um you get a kaleidoscope of colors your early bird chiffon bags with stars and moons up next Look at all of these. Pink. They're pretty, aren't they? They're gorgeous. Then you've got, ooh, nice. Like a, like a neon appetite blue. Then you've got the white, oh, I like the white. They're nice, aren't they? They're perfect for jewellery gifting, aren't they? Absolutely perfect. Yeah, because you can colour match them to yes. your gemstones, can't you? Yeah. Here's the purple. They're like a lavender colour. How amazing is that? Oh, I'd be stocking up on these for Christmas. Can I also just say Christmas table? Mm. Use oh, them on you the know, Christmas you table. Could, talking Christmas then, you could fill them with, um, let's say, a scoop of gems or something <gasps> like that and hang them on the tree. Oh, chocolates. Chocolates, You yes. could put chocolates in there? Yeah. You could put, you could put your biscuits in there? Yeah. Oh, there's gold as well. Look at these. I'm going to be getting some of these. Because, you know, there's so many different uses that you will find chiffon bags for. The price that we're going to take these two jewellery makers. <laughs> you're going to be wanting to buy uh, multiples of these. How many do we have? Have we? We have... 700. Why do you think jewelry makers bought 700? Because we know that we're going to use them for lots of different occasions. Obviously, presenting your jewelry, we're jewelry maker. But you know, you do. Um, I really, I always like it because my all of my neighbours around about so Easter time always makes biscuits and drops them around the neighbours. You can present them in chiffon bags. How mm, nice yeah. is that? Oh, Neary wants them to sell out today. You get 25 in a pack. We have within our warehouse 17,500 of these. You know, I, I help out sometimes at Willow School. We did stretchy bracelets for Mother's Day makes with all the children in the whole school. It was lovely. And I bought some chiffon bags. And again, it's how they present it. Yeah, All exactly. the mums have feedback. Exactly. The mums loved it. Yeah. Absolutely loved it. We've got over 1,700 bags in our warehouse. We need those locations. We're going to be celebrating the Gemporia birthday as well in, April, in October. Sorry. Um, so we need that space. I know the price that Neary knew is going to take these two. 
Right, okay, stock up your stashes. Want to see you there? The more of you that are there, the lower we'll go. We're at nine pounds and 99 pence. Oh, I can't, I can't decide which was my favorite. I do like the white. That's pretty, isn't it? Very. How many have gone? 100 gone, 600 left. I want them to sell out. Look how pretty that is. Oh, that's gorgeous. I mean, can you imagine taking those home and just randomly putting them down in the house? Your girls, they would look homing oh, to Oh, gosh, those, uh, yeah, they? they would, uh, in a heartbeat, yeah, they'd yeah. be all over them. All their little knickknacks and all their little toys would be in you know, there. And, and, and also for, you know, children giving a friend, yeah. another child, a gift. Yeah. How you present it is as important as the contents. Definitely. I've always thought that. Yeah. We're at 9 99 100 out of the 700 have gone, yeah. jewellery makers, but... You want to see the dark blue one? Yeah. Yeah. And stars and moons, you can't go wrong with that, can you? Here you go. Oh, the dark blue's pretty too. Oh, I love them all. They really are jewel colours, aren't they? And when you actually sort of puff them out like this, you really see the stars and the moons more, mm -hmm. don't you? Because of the chiffon. Ah, oh, how gorgeous. These are going to sell out. Even though they're 700, they are going to sell out. I know the price that Neary's got, in pla uh, got, in, got planned or in store. What's that? Seven is the qu highest quantity that someone's bought so far. I still think you'll probably change that, Janet. I think people will be getting 20, yeah? Maybe even 30. Maybe more. Um, when I had my jewellery business, Linda, I used to spend fortunes on chiffon bags. Well, packaging is expensive. Yeah. You know, when you buy a gift for somebody, um, I only did that the other day. Um, I was only in a, a local supermarket and I bought a scented candle for um, a friend because she loves them. And then I thought, oh, I've got to get some wrapping. So I bought a very sort of iffy bag. Yeah. You know, which cost me £3.50. Yeah. Um, paper bag. <coughs> and um, put a little card to it. So there's another £1.50. Yeah. And then uh, put the scented candle in it. And it didn't look anywhere near that special. No. It's I, the expectation from packaging. Yeah, I agree. What's inside. Well, it's the experience, isn't it? Isn't it? The mm. whole experience. Stock up on these. Because I don't just think they're sort of... For the summertime, I think these are perfect for Christmas. And I think whoever you <coughs> give um, a gift in a bag like this to, the person automatically, I know Sheila does this a lot, I think, oh, I'll keep that bag. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely you'd keep these. Yeah. 100% you'd keep these. Recycle. Now, we've got quantities of nines, I can see, and eights. Okay, 30 seconds. We're at 7.99. You get 25... We're trying our best. The only reason that we're kind of chipping down at this price tag is because we will send them the website and the app into Meltdown otherwise. Um, so, they'd be nice for your marbles, absolutely. What about your loose stones? <laughs> you oh, know, like your, your cabochons and things. Yeah, your yeah. loose stones, your chakra stones, all those things. Um, what about, what about, because I noticed the other, when I had, when I had a cold, um, I like to put Olbus oil, if I've yeah. got a cold, helps me breathe, doesn't it? But I'm always reluctant to put it on my pillow, because what if you get it in your eye? So you could literally put a tissue in that, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah. In that. And there's, I mean, there is probably no end. No end of uses. Of uses. Put them in them. your sock drawer. Yeah. With some, with some potpourri. Back to potpourri now, aren't I? Yeah, you are. Back to the potpourri. <laughs> Please don't eat it. Little sprigs of lavender as well. Oh, I know. I like that idea. Yeah, little sprigs of lavender and in if there. And you, if you want to dry your lavender, yeah. I sort of uh, came across this the other I've recently invested in an air fryer. Oh, I've got an air fryer. Yeah. You know, and um, if your air fryer happens to have a dehydrate program on it, if you pick the lavender straight from your garden, which is what I did last weekend, and then pop it into a liner, pop it in your air fryer and dehydrate it for an hour, you've got your dried lavender purple already. Yeah, and it's and oh fragrance my is beautiful. Goodness. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> And you yeah. have lovely flowery Lavin chips after. Yeah, lavender yeah. flavoured chips. Lovely. <laughs> um, so many of you getting involved. Loads of multi buyers. We're under 
We're under five pounds for 25 stars and moons. Chiffon bags, but we're going lower. We are going lower. I love these. 25, yeah. There's tons. Hang on. We're at 4.99 divided by 25. It's 25p. Is it? 20p. They're 20p per bag. I'm not being funny. You pay more than that for your bag for life. Don't you? Definitely. Depending on which supermarket, you pay more than that for your bags for life, don't you? Um, okay. Here we are. I'm trying to show you as many as I possibly can. Um, hi, Diane. Good morning, Anna Linda. These look great on Christmas trees with gold. Oh, yes. Gold chocolate coins. Oh, just about or make an coins. advent calendar. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, do you know what? You've um you can keep your pearls in them once you take uh once you take turn out the plastic bags. Yeah, absolutely. Pearls don't like pl uh, plastic. Do you know? I really like the idea. You know sometimes you can get a branch, like a really gnarly, beautiful branch, spray it white, and you could hang all these on there for the advent. That'd be nice, wouldn't yeah, it? Definitely. Okay. We're not done there. Neary No says, Crashy but crash your son. <laughs> yeah. You might break out if I try and say mm. that again. <laughs> £3.99. Hang on, how much is that each? 16p. Gosh. You can't get Freddo for that. <laughs> Always resorts back to Freddo's, doesn't it? Yeah. Always. What can you get for 16p? Good Lord, that's incredible. I love the Christmas idea. Yeah, they are incredibly festive. Oh, do you know, I'm going to get some of these for Christmas. I think, do you know, one thing I like to do in the lead up to Christmas with my, um, well, it's been more with Willow because obviously Tiggy wasn't old enough last Christmas, but um, every, I like to leave little, little, like, keepsakes in her, her lunchbox not yeah. every day but every so often wouldn't it be nice to do a lead yeah. up to christmas in these with these yeah, just definitely. a little note or something like that it doesn't have to be yeah. anything massive yeah. um now we had 700 you've got one more price crash jewelry makers we're not teasing you we are basically um looking after our call center team um we are making sure the website doesn't crash um we are making sure the app doesn't crashy muck, muck crashes and what, I, what are they even saying linda um anyway we're going even lower there were 700 there's multiples left right and center and you're gonna do so much with them aren't they aren't you they're like little dream sleepy i'm thinking that it could be definitely something for your bedtime routine going lower unbelievable I reckon two ninety nine. You might find one bag elsewhere. Is it just me? No, no, I agree. I agree totally. You go to garden centre. Yeah. Oh yes. You go to garden centre. Try and buy a chiffon bag. I don't know. I don't actually know what the price is, but I think it would be probably yeah, about that. I think so too. You'd think that 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 two ninety nine would be the price for a plastic bag. Yeah. Yeah. Like the foily ones, you know the ones? Yes, I do. Yeah. The foily ones. You're getting 25 chiffon bags. So even if you have not got a Scooby-Doo clue what you're going to do with them yet, you'll find a use. You definitely will. I like the advent calendar idea. Yes, it's a lovely idea. And I you love got 25? your idea of a, of a sparkly white branch. Yeah, though, Christmas, spray a branch. Then. Yeah. You know, like a dried out branch. Yeah. Definitely. Put love it on like a idea. stand or something, and then you could hang them all, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, I love that idea. Yeah. We're at how much each? How much? Six. 12p. 12p. The quantities I can see flying out the door. Fives, fours, eight, sixes, 15, and a 12. 21? Yeah, I don't blame you. I, I'm curious to know why 21, though. Yeah. Um, Janet got 20, 21. I don't blame you. Judith just got 10. Well done, Judith. I'd be multiplying like these as well. because you And they don't take up a lot of space. No, you know, as well, if you sell your jewellery and you purchase quite, you know, a few of these, then sell them on. Yeah. Sell them on. What do you reckon? 50p? Yeah. Even if you sold them at 50p, they'd fly. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely fly. 
and you're making profit on the little chiffon bag, aren't you? There is a bit of a queue on the phone line, so do bear with our call centre. Um, heads up, we've got about 125 of these left, so stay where you are on those phone lines. Keep adding them to your basket. Make sure you're checking out, not just on this, but on everything that we have brought you so far this morning, lovely jewellery makers, um, because the website, um, everything on the website disappears. Um, you can always combine your order at a later stage at no additional postage, so don't you worry about that. We will leave this auction, the graphics, live um, through the break, um, so don't worry. Um, yeah, but 700, as we expected, with a 2.99 price tag, are going to be gone in a nanosecond, aren't they? It's a no-brainer. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, who doesn't love stars and moons? Who doesn't love chiffon? 185 of you have this in your baskets. And you've got to remember, I'm looking down the list now. Everybody is multi-bought. I haven't seen a single person buy one. Yeah, everybody. I can't see a single person that's bought one. Sylvia's just got 10. Janet in Manchester's got 27. Um, Susan's got, yeah, I, I, Merle, you've got four, Kathy's got eight, Margaret's got six, I can't keep up, honestly. Um, well done. Yeah, I know, well, why wouldn't you multi-buy on these? They're a no-brainer, aren't they? My girls would make a beeline for these, you're right, Linda. Yeah, and I'm thinking because of that as well, because of the, the significant jewel-like colours, again, if you do sell your jewellery at craft fairs yeah. or, you know, school fairs and things like that, They'll bring people to your um, stall as such because of their, their bright jewel-like colours. You know, they'll think, oh, what's that over there? Because they will spot those gorgeous colours. Do you know something's just dawned on me? I've, done, I've been making party bags for Willow's birthday party, which is not this weekend, next weekend. And I bought some of those plastic cone yeah. sweet things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Filled yeah. it full of pick -a mix yeah. yeah. They were more than these. Yeah, they are the wool The little plastic yeah. cones. Yeah, they were. They were big. more than these. Yeah, little cellophane yeah. ones. And you know what? Not great that, for the environment. That will put you up, well up in the mums. Oh, you yeah. Know, the, the party things get quite... I mean, I know with my granddaughters, I've noticed the competitiveness. Of the party bag. Yeah. Loot, they call it now, yeah. don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they call it loot. Have you got a loot bag? <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> the pressure, the pressure. Yeah, well, you could put pick a mix in those, couldn't you? That'd be nice. Anyway, I'm going to leave the graphics open. Jewelry makers, do not go anywhere because we've got the most amazing natural pink pearls coming up with our lovely Linda. Um, make sure you check out your baskets on everything that we've brought you thus far, and we'll see you after this. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages.
Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewelry making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the Jewelry Maker Handbook, which is filled with 35 different techniques, as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Jewellery Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewellery Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website from your jewelry room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewelry Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewelry Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, Jewelry Makers. The chiffon bags have gone crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody needs a moon and star chiffon bag in their life. Yeah. For 25 oh, of them. Yeah. Or even more than that, stock yeah. up for, for years to come. Because you're going to, right, we need to close this now, Jewelry Makers. We're going to do a clock to close because there's still loads. We didn't close it just at the end of this break because there's still loads of you on the phone line. So, um, but we do need, need to now. We can't, we can't stay any longer talking about chiffon bags as lovely as they are as lovely as they are they're a must aren't they they're so pretty they make you feel happy don't they they are happy i like that i think we're going to be going um foresting now aren't we for some, for a nice dried out branch that we can spray oh, definitely and then just doubt. hang these with the chocolate coins mm, definitely i love that idea how nice ah trick-or-treaters you can use them for trick-or-treaters yeah That'd be quite yeah, nice, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Oh, but my girls love uh, love Halloween. It's one of their favourite times of the year. Just because they get to dress up. Exactly. And go get sweets. Yeah, exactly. Basically. We've got a rule in our house. You only go to places where the front of their front door's decorated. Yeah. Otherwise, you're not allowed to knock. Um, 2 99 Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Now, heads up. No, it was Sally, wasn't it, that messaged in? 
Sally, you asked for the Blue Akoi Pearls to go on pre-order. Now, um, we are going to put a percentage on pre Oh, where have they gone? Here they are. Oh. Do you want me to hand them to you? Oh, please don't roll away. Panic them for a second. Are you all right? You're right, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I, I, yeah, I asked earlier on this morning before the show came live, I was like, is there any chance we can get a quantity of these just to show the sheer quality of these Akoya pearls? I mean, they are all natural. Look at that blue. They're insanely beautiful, aren't they? We are talking about the rarest colour of pearl in the world, and you're going to be able to get hold of them today. And I'm going to say it, I'm going to use the word affordably. You know, because these are some of the most expensive pearls as well. They Natural are. blue Akoya pearls, especially of this size and scale and quality. Um, but they are going to be affordable. So, yes, we've put a percentage on pre-order, Sally, at your request. Um, so do shop ahead. Trust the process. Um, I guarantee, Sally, it is going to be the most insane deal, honestly. And, and we only have these on air. It's a miracle we've got them on air, really, because it's pre-pandemic harvest um so we managed to, that's how we managed to source it do you know um your average acquire pearl takes approximately five to six years from that's it from from the actual nurturing of the oyster itself the mother oyster mm -hmm. um to them producing their first pearl five to six years the actual culturing process is between two and three depending yeah, on the size well that's that one acquire pearl producing oyster will only ever produce that one mm -hmm. and if you keep that inside your head as a thought and also this thought as well that it takes roughly 10,000 pearls to make a 16 inch necklace matching mm -hmm. the, the silver hues incredibly the blue hues rare. And, and these so are they, an that makes them incredibly rare. massively so and the blue is not something they can go all oh, right that's a blue pearl no it, it's not it, it's literally like a lottery ticket yeah um or a lottery win rather so they're coming up at 12 o'clock they're available on pre-order right now i shall definitely be joining you on that opportunity um but first talking about the most stunning stunning pearls now blue is the rarest color arguably the most popular color is pink if you were to speak to Charlie Barron, I think it was a question that I asked him some years ago. I was like, Charlie, what's the most popular colour? And it, you know, I would have assumed it was white. Um, so that's probably the most traditional. But actually, the most popular colour, certainly in this current market, is actually pink right now. Um, however, much like your blue pearls, there is a very, very, very select few. They're a hybrid oyster that can produce your pinks and your purples. Did you know, and I was joined by Dave a couple of weeks ago who had an amazing um, opportunity and we were talking about pearls together. And he was saying there's only three families that they know of anywhere, uh, anyway, in China that can actually produce the purples and the pink pearls. Because it's basically, um, they've sort of bred different types of oysters. Uh, of course, the color of the pearl comes from the internal mother of pearl shell. So they've actually bred different types of oysters that will actually produce these. But they produce very, 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 very small quantities. I'm talking about this amazing collection, this amazing uh, um, project that Linda is bringing to you today. The jewelry is amazing. The pearls are incredible. The sterling silver is, uh, is, is unbelievable. The box. I mean, I want to show you something because just on the back of the pandemic when i was invited to go over to tucson arizona the largest gem fair in the world and i didn't get to go to this not important enough um yeah but wayne and wayne wayne and jake did so we were like that bye bye um and this was um it was something like jewelry of the museums or something like that it was called but the finest pieces of jewelry and um they showed me this photograph and within this display stand that's f surrounded by armed guards, um, you have, to put it into perspective, um, the red is coral, that's Sophia Loren's necklace. Um, but if you look at number three, those are natural pink pearls, and you can see, is it three or nine? Uh, nine, sorry. And they say, pearl necklace, Hunan, um, so they're freshwater pearls, not saltwater, freshwater pearls. 
um, naturally colored. Look at that pink saturation. The reason why I'm showing you that photograph is because the pink saturation that you're about to see in these pills is equal. But flicking forward, I also want to show you this photograph. Natural pink pearls. Now this is just literally on the back of the pandemic and this is a wholesale price. I think you can just about see, is it 1,200, 1,350? That's wholesale, so times that by four plus that. That's the re RRP and it's skyrocketed since then. Again, if we flick through to, um, the GIA wrote about this uh, recently. They said, look, a strong pinkish purple, freshwater bee culture pearl. They're talking about how um, how that strong pink purple near round pearls ranging, they're huge, by the way, in their size, um, went to the GIA laboratory. The unusually intense color and large size of these pearls immediately drew our attention. So they're actually writing about pink pearls now as well. Flicking forward once more, of course, a designer that, um, I reference quite quick, quite frequently is Yoko of London. Yoko of London, certainly here in the UK, um, is probably one of the finest pearl suppliers. And that necklace, that's Novus necklace, it's set in 18 karat gold. It's not smothered in diamonds, it's lovely natural pink pearls. That necklace is 22 and a half thousand pounds. 22 and a half thousand pounds. And it's this jewelers that actually reached out to, um, to us and said, okay, we can't get hold of pearls at the moment. Where are you sourcing yours from? You don't just get one strand though, jewelry makers. And I'm gonna do a whole pretty woman reveal moment because look how they, they arrive to you. Remember, pearls shouldn't be in plastic. So fine quality pearls should be in something like this, a lovely decorative velvet box. But again, firstly, I'm gonna show you the, the amazing clasp, which is so heavy. That's a heavy bit of sterling silver. It certainly is. Gem encrusted. Yeah, 22 and a half thousand pounds that necklace, yeah. So, all right, they might be marginally bigger and a slightly different shape, but 22 and a half, it's the color that makes the price, escalates the price more than anything. Now you have the most beautiful gem encrusted decorative art deco bow that could, if I lay it side profile, look at that. The amount of sterling silver that's invested. You don't just get that though, jewelry makers. I wonder if I can sit that there. You also are gonna get three, three amazing natural pink pearl strands and your silk, you get your silk too. But take a moment to look at the drop shape of these pearls as well. Like if you love the La, La Peregrina pearl, these are very, giving me La Peregrina vibes. Mm -hmm. Linda, what a project. I know, it's, it's just amazing, isn't it? Three strands, not one, three. I know. For me, not it. Take inspiration from the £22,500 necklace from Yoko of London that they can't replace. You know, not it. Um, there's, no, there's no diamonds in that piece of, in that piece of jewellery. Long line rope necklace and actually have that lovely bow at the bottom. I mean, how beautiful is that? Exactly. It's high end jewellery. I mean, the thing about pearls is um, if you're new to jewellery making, if you're sort of a novice at jewellery making, then don't be scared of using very high end pearls because you, if you look at pearl jewellery in um, jewellers, uh, windows and that, you'll see the majority of it is very, very simple, just like to one solid yeah. air pearl on a chain um, so this is a, a fantastic project collection for new to jewelry making or to people who've been making jewelry for years and years and years you have so much choice but also still want look the best quality that. look at the quality of those pearls i don't want you to think that these are inferior pearls they're really not They're cherry picked aren't yeah they? You, i mean natural pink is the most sought after color um, in um, in accordance to Charlie Barron. Charlie Barron's a sixth generational pearl farmer. So, you know, knows a thing or two about pearls. The fact that we are bringing it to you in this current market is absolutely astonishing. And don't just bring you one, we bring you three strands. Three strands. The, the, re the most sought after color. 
Um, yeah, uh, Tom is just saying to me, I was like, Elle, I don't know where to start because I can't put 22 and a half thousand pounds on. Look at that, seriously. I could lose hours looking at that video. Look at the quality of those pearls. Okay, I'm gonna, let's take, let's take a, let's flip this on the head. Right, jewelry makers. Do you think they're a bit pale? Do you think they're lacking in pink hue? Mm -mm. I mean, look at the luminosity, let alone yeah. the luster. The Do you luminosity think they're heavily pitted? Is beautiful. Nope. Do you think they're matte? Nope. Or do you think they're perfectly reflective? The finest luster? Totally. If you've agreed with everything that Linda and I have just said there, I'll say it, £2,999 is a steal, an absolute steal. I don't know anywhere else that can actually match the quality for that price. And we are taking thousands of pounds off that price. How many, how many do we have available? Twenty available options. Do you know, I, I, Neri, I am asking for my own personal benefit because I would like to buy this project. Yeah, I'm going to get involved. Hundred percent going to get involved. And oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> Why not? In for a penny, in for a pound, and all that. Can you imagine putting just a couple of your natural blue acoya pearls in there? I mean, look at the pink coming off the acoya now. Can you imagine teaming those together? Just wow. Sorry, Neary, what was that? I do need you to get me one of these. Yes, please, because I'm going to be getting some blue acoys as well. £999 for three. Okay, again, let me just break this down. Never mind that huge, beautiful, gem-encrusted sterling silver bow element, which is, what did you say, eight grams? Eight grams of sterling silver, something like that. Yeah, never mind that for a second. Let's divide £999 by three. £333 per strand for natural pink pearls. That's amazing. That's an incredible price. We were we were at Tucson, what, three years ago and they weren't anywhere near that price. No, there was nothing under four figures at no. Tucson from what I can remember. No. The, one, the, the one before this. No. Before that, sorry. Yeah. I know they're a different shape. But they're £1,250 wholesale. Let's look at it from a different perspective, jewellery makers. What was the most affordable price of pearls? Yeah, what's a, what's a, what's a jewellery maker best price on naturally coloured pearls? One single strand. 129 would we agree, like last hour? So... 129 times three, 387 pounds, and I'm not even factoring the fact you get the lovely box and you get the lovely sterling silver bow. Let's do that then. 30 seconds, and we're gonna take it to that amazing price tag. Great price for fine quality, natural pink pearls, natural color matched as well. Color matched pink pearls. Remember, when we're talking about the five virtues of pearls, yeah, you've got size, shape, colour, um, nacre, luster. But also when we're talking about strands, you also need to include matching, matching them. Exactly. I mean, thousands and thousands of pearls <coughs> have to be harvested <coughs> to get that, to, to get them matched in that size, yep. in that luster, in that shape. You know, there's a lot of work, you know, backstage as it were oh absolutely and it takes years absolutely. you know we see that we're like oh yeah you just pop them into an oyster and then this, no, no, this is the end no. result i mean it's not the it's... thing about culturing pearls is the fact that they are cared for yeah. on an almost an hourly basis yeah. they're checked turned yeah um now 387 pounds is basically because we've taken these to 129 each and you're getting the sterling silver gem encrusted bow for free and the box and the silk. Bit of an odd price for us here at Jewelry Maker, but it is not your price. I, okay, now who, hands up. How many of us have got natural pink pearls? 
I haven't actually. No, neither have I. No. I haven't got natural pink pearls. There's two colours I haven't got. Pink and blue. And, and we're doing both of those today. Let's show that, Neary. These are purple. But two purple freshwater pearls in 2021. £1,530. It's the pink overtones. And since then, we all know what's happened, don't we? Since 2001, the price has sky skyrocketed. 17 seconds, we're taking this even lower. Remind me, Neary, what are you taking it to? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna. De I'm definitely gonna be getting some of these. Oh my goodness me! Sorry, I am one hundred. Look at the quality. I have to say, Chris, that recording is stunning, isn't it? Look at the quality. Every single one reflecting the light of the light box. Luster is the most important virtue of your um, pearl quality factors. And these three strands, you've got over a meter of natural pink pearls. Have it by the bucket loads. Um, gem encrusted, plus then you've got Linda's amazing instructions as well to create the most beautiful multi-row necklace. You can get it home today, jewelry makers, for £49.75 on your split pay. Or one nine nine. That's not one strand. That's not two, that's three strands and eight and a half grams in your sterling silver and the box and the silk. <gasps> I've got, how many do you say? How many do you say? 20 chances left. We're at 50, 66 pound strand. And we're going lower. No, let's go, let's pull it this way. 50 pounds. There's eight and a half grams of sterling silver and it's gem encrusted. 50 pounds per strand, that's an unbelievable deal. We are going lower and we're not just going lower by a little bit, jewelry makers. But in order to do this, hang on Neary, stop, stop. There's not enough people to do that price crash. Because I want to say something. You know that strand earlier on this morning, how beautiful it was at 129? Just hold that thought. I've sowed, I've sowed the seed, right? Yeah? Yeah, Chris has got it, he's on the same page. You on the same page? Yeah? You know that amazing strand that we had this morning at 129? I wanna see you there, and then we'll do it. Let's do another clock, because I've got 20. These are too beautiful to be within our vault, jewelry makers. Natural pink pearls. In 56 seconds, we'll do it. We're on the same page now. Not just one strand, three strands of natural pink pearls. Let me move the blue acquires out of the way. Sorry. Oh, you want it there? Yeah? No, we can put it there. Here we go. Sorry, Chris. Here you go. How amazing. How amazing are these? Do you want this out? Oh my goodness me, you can see how lustrous they are there. And I, I haven't spent hours displaying these. We haven't got fancy spotlights. We're gonna do it if we're on the same page, jewelry makers. Not one strand, not two, three. And you get eight and a half grams in that beautiful sterling silver bow class. And you get the silk, and you get the box, and you get Linda's instructions. Um, hello, Michael, those boxes are 37 pounds on Amazon. Amazon, thanks, Michael. 37 quid, yeah. I'm worth every penny, they're beautiful. So if the box is 37 pounds, that makes these, that means you get three strands of natural pink pearls for 92 pounds, but we're forgetting a very, very small, you know, well, not small, a very big factor here. You've got eight and a half grams of sterling silver in this gem encrusted bow as well. I mean, I think that should be 50 pounds at the very least. Here at Jewelry Maker, we will sell out of these amazing pearls today. Okay, let's let's, let's ignore the box. One two nine divided by four, four because you've got eight and a half grams of silver here. That's thirty two pounds and twenty five pence per component. Where else in the world can you get natural pink pearls for thirty two quid? I can't think of anywhere. Nor me. 
There are so many of you there. Swansea, London, Lorraine, Pamela, Wiltshire, Cardiff, Patricia, Michelle. And you get the silk, yeah, you get the silk as well. Um, I've got Tina, Kate, Kathy, Maker, um, Davilia, what a pretty name, Hilary, Maker, Beverly, Lynn, Christine, Samantha, Carolyn, Conway, Cheshi, Patricia, Suzanne, Nicolette. You can all do it. You've all got the same chance, but we are super duper over allocated. You do need to check them out. Um, 129, in my head, this is how I'm looking at it, Neary New. I'm buying one strand. I'm getting two strands of natural pink pearls for free and an eight and a half gram beautiful gem encrusted sterling silver connector and the box and the silk, all of that for free. All of that for free. That's probably one of the best deals I've ever seen on pearls and they're naturally pink. Unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Um, we had just 20. Yeah, I will show you the instructions. Well. Look at that luster. Oh, they're full 38 centimeter strands. It's over a meter. Are you working out how many pearls you've got in total? They're bigger than seven mil. Yeah, okay, eight, be conservative. 47 pearls per strand. £32.25 a strand. How many? 60, I can't, I'm not even going to say that out loud. Pennies per pearl. Um, that's, that's ridiculous. A chocolate bar from our vending machine is more money than that. Isn't it? It certainly is. A chocolate bar in our vending machine is more than more than what you are paying per pearl. Crazy. Down to the final seven. Well done. Isle of Wight, Elvina, Sally, Renfusia, Denise. I've got Agnes there waiting to be answered. Stay where you are, my lovely. Um, I've got Carolyn, Lynn, Beverly. Down to six. You need to be you need to be checking out your baskets, web bidders. That's one of the maddest deals I've ever seen. Naturally pink absolutely beautiful so agnes has been answered susan in essex they're utterly exquisite look at the luster on these pearls and again let's critique them let's play devil's advocate shall we let's play devil's advocate right okay oh well they're not perfectly spherical no but they're rice uh, bead shape which is actually one of the most popular and actually in the current industry we prefer a lot of people prefer the more irregular shapes it's up to you okay of course okay what about the color is it a bit pale is it a bit, bit, bit wishy washy um no there's no argument there those are perfect pink pearls aren't they like an like an english rose so much so they've got a gold overtone in your recording um then i've got four left who's going to check them out are they are they are they heavily pitted I can't sign, find a single floor. Now, if your name is Kerry Ann, Susan, Agnes, Carolyn, Lynn, Beverly, Maker, I know your name's not Maker, um, Kathy, Kate who wants two, Tina, you need to be checking these out. I've got four left. And if you miss out, you can always wish list it, but it's highly unlikely at that price these are coming back. Highly, they, <coughs> excuse me, irreplaceable. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to buy them anywhere near that price now, even if we could actually source them. No. I mean, no, that's the thing. And that's know, why lots of jewellers put their prices up. Yeah, there's loads of information, you know, on the internet about the state of, of pearl harvesting at the moment. So we're not just saying it. No, no, no. We, you can... Um, well, we couldn't. The web is a font of knowledge. You could exactly. literally just go to the web and go, oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, I can buy, I, I, you know, I can buy pearls um of a similar quality for this much I, I generally don't think you can buy pearls of this quality anywhere near the prices that jewelry make even if i was even if these were 129 times three you know yeah, but it's not it's 129 absolutely. times um divided by three actually divided by four because let's not forget that beautiful beautiful connector um hello to you is that d Hello, Dee. Uh, Dee is saying, birthday gift to me. Thank you, jewellery maker. Good Happy idea. Happy birthday, Dee. Yeah, absolutely good. Oh, good. that's a lovely You'll present. You'll enjoy that birthday yeah. so much. Happy I mean, birthday. every time, you know, this jewellery that you will create from these magnificent pearls, um, it's, it's mother 
nature has, I mean, it's the only gem that's formed from a living organism. So consequently, that makes it super rare. Mm. Um, and then all the, the work that goes in behind the scenes with the cultivation farms, etc. I was only reading about it the other day and it's huge, the amount of time, effort. Um, I was watching a little video, it's, it's absolutely, I must send it to you, Elle. Fascinating that this young girl was working, looking after the, um, the pearl harvest and she fell in love with one of the oysters she must have just known and on it was random because there were loads of them and you could see her open them she was so excited and the shock in her face when she opened them and found three perfect white pearls three perfect wow. pearls you know I'd love to be on just, somebody's shoulder when it's you know, just the an moment amazing, of, amazing story, isn't it? The whole process. It's just an incredible, and it's not a guarantee. Incredible gem. Um, right, I, I'm going to have to close this auction, jewelry makers. We're super over allocated. There's three of these left. Tracy, you're there as well. Good luck. They are utterly exquisite. Again. You get everything. You get the beautiful velvet box. You get three strands of natural pink pearls. You get that wonderful gem encrusted eight and a half gram connector. And you get the silk to go alongside, which I've kind of signed lined, but I think it had to be about the pearls, didn't it? That conversation. Well done. Now, jewelry makers. Oh, uh, I mean, we are talking high end, high end opportunities at an affordable price tag, jewelry makers, because you know, for, for how long have you heard me? going on and on and on and on and on and on about the fact that we should have your high precious metals, not just your coppers and your silvers. The caliber of the pearls in particular, the caliber of the gemstones that we bring you, like your type A jadeites, deserve your golds, at the very least 9, 14, 18 carat and platinums. You've heard me say it countless times on air. So much so, I'll tell you, the powers that be, they roll their eyes every time I mention it. Well, it was literally a euphoric moment for me when I heard that we are now starting to stock platinum. That platinum is widely considered to be the most luxurious of all your precious metals. We've got opportunities um, for you today, jewelry makers in a classic platinum chain, next. So, do you have the information? Thank you. Presentation. Thanks. Um, only because I know I'm very aware, and I know Carol launched um, a platinum. When was it? Nearly a couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks ago. Um, but it's actually the first time I've actually ever had the chance to, to, to talk to you about platinum. Um, and I should never assume that everyone knows what the defining difference is between silver, platinum, gold um etc etc well and why do they command certain different price points because you could pick up a sterling silver chain for i don't know 30 quid say from a jewelers a platinum chain is going to be very very different um <clears throat> why is that so let's just quickly talk about that um platinum is the strongest and the most durable out of all your precious metals. And they say, platinum is a dense but malleable precious metal. History suggests that it was first mined in Ecuador about two and a half thousand years ago. At that time, indigenous people used it for decorating figurines and making jewelry. Um, so two and a half thousand years. Um, it, well, in the late 1800s, platinum began to be popular for jewelry. It was used for rings, bracelets, necklaces, and even a crown. Um, this crown, the one that you saw on the previous photograph, was made for the Queen, for Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, to use for her husband's coronation. The entire frame of the crown was made of platinum and then covered with close to 3,000 diamonds. They didn't use gold, they used platinum. Platinum jewelry was almost forgotten during World War I and II, but in the last few decades, it has become steadily regaining ground um, in the jewelry market. Once again, brides and grooms are exchanging platinum rings that represent strength and endurance of true love it's a fantastic choice as a wedding band or as a piece of jewelry that you're going to wear repeatedly because of its strength and its durability 
Um, the purity of platinum is, well, all your precious metals actually are measured by 1,000 parts. Um, so 925 is 925 parts out of 1,000 for your silver, for example. Um, so the purity of platinum, 1,000 parts. And in general, the platinum used for jewellery has 950 parts of platinum and 50 parts of other metals. This means that platinum rings have a greater percentage of precious metal um, than an 18 karat gold ring, which will have 750 parts of gold and 250 parts of other metal. The most common metal to be mixed with platinum is palladium. Again, equally another precious metal, very rare. Rhodium, very rare. Um, rhodium is actually more expensive than gold as well. Um, iridium um, and other platinum group metals, as well as common metals such as copper and cobalt, which is less frequent. Um, they use the like rhodium, for example, because of the brightness that it actually brings. It's a lovely, pure, white, precious metal. Moving on. Um, what are the advantages of platinum? Well, among all precious metals, platinum is the most precious. Um, as always, um, uh, sorry, as well as the strongest and the most durable. Platinum's exceptional strength makes it ideal for holding gemstones. So that's why I said earlier on, if you are looking for a piece of jewelry, a chain, ring, wedding band, whatever it is that you intend to put on and never take off, platinum would definitely be my, my recommendation because of its strength. It's got fantastic strength. Lastly, um, also another advantage to platinum is it has a benefit of being hypoallergenic and beautiful. It's naturally white color, never fades um, or becomes discolored. Um, what are the disadvantages? Are there any disadvantages? Um, although platinum is strong, it is prone, it can scratch, not so much on a chain though, which is what we're bringing you today. And in rare cases, it can uh, deform a ring um, if it is made too thin. We're not talking about rings, we're talking about a chain. Platinum is also usually more expensive than gold, but that is because of the rarity, which I really wanted to leave on this, the final paragraph where it says, more than a thousand tons of gold are mined every year but only as little as 150 tonnes of platinum are mined in a year. This scarcity makes platinum more expensive than gold most of the time. If you put all the platinum in the world, melted obviously, in an Olympic sized swimming pool, it wouldn't even get up to your ankles. Really? That's so fascinating. So don't dive into that swimming pool? No, definitely not. Definitely not shallow water. But then I'm sure if it was gold, it could put, fill multiple Olympic pools mm -hmm. over and over and over and over again. So if platinum is the rarest, it is the strongest, it is the most precious. That's why a platinum chain is more expensive. It's more expensive than silver, it's more expensive than gold, etc., etc. Now, I am literally over the moon that we here at Jewelry Maker have finally woken up to the fact that we should be selling high-end precious metals. I'm not saying stop doing silver. We still need to do silver and your base metal. But I do think we should have a small selection of the ultra, ultra-fine uh, precious metals. Your 18 karat golds, etc., etc. Now, we have three designs. Two curbs, yeah? We've got a Fort Centina, a Trace, and a Twisted Curb. So we're gonna start with the Twisted Curb. Again, I'll bring it, this one? Okay. I love this chain. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, you don't need anything on this no, one. No, it's, it's just beautiful. I, I think I don't I'm not sure that's the right photo that's this one that one is coming up that's the Fort Centina I think yeah here we go this is the twisted chain oh oh my goodness look at that again it's just it's the light that you get from platinum, isn't it? It's, it's, it's the refraction of the light, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely beautiful. You know, it, for me, this is like, yes, finally, we're bringing you the highest quality precious metals. And we should be, look at the pearls we've just brought you. Look at the pearls we are bringing you at 12 o'clock. 
all the jade. We're bringing natural blue acquire pearls today. They deserve platinum. That's mm -hmm. the thing. If you go into any high-end jewelers, you go to Yoko, they're not setting those pearls in silver. No disrespect to silver. I love silver too. But they're setting them in 18 karat gold or platinum. That's the quality that, that such high, uh, rare pearls or jades command. Um, I stumbled across something on Facebook, and I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna mention this, but I, I stumbled across something on Facebook, Marketplace. And it's been a bit of a gamble, actually, because I don't really know what I'm buying. Um, and it was basically a jadeite pendant. But it's a purple, it's a lavender colour. Now, I messaged the seller, I was like, do you know if this is natural? He was like, I don't know. I don't know. But for the price that they were asking, it might be, it might be dyed, it might be polymer filled, whichever. But for the price of the precious metal, it was a great price anyway. So I'll take that punt. Um, I can tell you... The reason why I'm actually saying that is, you know, that was gold and I paid more than what you're about to pay for platinum, which is much rarer. Much, much, much rarer. I mean, the thing about platinum, as you, as Elle mentioned a few minutes ago, is the fact that what you see now, you will still see the same in 20 yeah, years. Yeah, the brightness. That brightness, you know, it won't discolour, it won't tarnish, it won't fade. Yeah. Hyperallergenic, that's a good point, actually. And it's very durable. Very, yeah. very, very durable. I mean, just a single Akoya, blue, the oh. single blue Akoya on that chain. I mean, can you imagine a, a bride on the morning of her wedding being presented yeah. that, say, from parents or the bridegroom or whatever? I mean, in my family, that would just be totally unaffordable without jewellery maker. Yeah, absolutely, me too. Well, here you go. Let's, let's show you a few different prices. Oh, that's gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? So one single platinum speaker chain, £495. It's not a heavy, heavy gram weight. It's not sub substantially thicker than yours. £495 because it's platinum. And I am not sitting here saying that that jeweller is wrong they're not that's actually a fantastic price for platinum when we consider how rare platinum is another one this is not unusual so one 1.23 millimeter plat platinum filed curb chain okay F unless that's a typo yeah five hundred and seventy five pounds and that's 16 by the way if you want an 18 inch it's how much 635 pounds for an 18 inch so let's start there this is the twisted curb we've also got the flat curb or rather a trace which is more like a sort of classic very simple link and then we've got the fort centina to bring you how many do we have of this one available Okay, we've got seven available. When I've been saying, talking to the powers that be, I've never said you need to be buying 118 karat gold or platinum chains. I've just said, get a small quantity for people that want to make that choice. Because in my head, if I'm, getting, if I'm sourcing natural blue Akoya pearls, I ain't putting that on silver. I will put that on gold or I put it on platinum because it's complementing the rarity of the gemstone. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the thing about, um, I mean, I'm not an investment specialist, so, but in my opinion, precious metals are an investment. Yes. Always absolutely. have been. So historically, they always have been. So in the future, they will be just the same. We're at 499, so we've matched the first platinum chain price point. But we are not stopping there. Susan, well done. Well done. You've got yours. Again, it is all down to personal choice, obviously. If I am buying an amazing jade carving, if I am buying an incredible natural South Sea Tahitian, a Koya pearl, blue being the rarest colour of all, in my head, 
and you don't have to do this isn't this is just my perspective it's almost devalues the gem putting it on sterling silver ask yourself why our sister channels Larique pieces why they are all platinum and 18 karat gold they are not silver our one-of-a-kind Larique pieces are all platinum or 18 karat let's do it jewelry makers i've got seven available That's the most affordable platinum chain I've ever seen. Definitely. For an 18-inch platinum chain? Yeah, well, I, I'm going back 25 years when I first started in the jewelers that sold, that worked with like Cartier, worked with your, 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 your uh, PRJ and your, um, why have I gone blank, goodness me, lots of the high-end designs, Rolexes and things like that. Um, uh, a necklace like this 25 years ago would have been more than 500 pounds in the jewelers that I worked at. Way more. You know, there's an expectation of a metal like platinum anyway, isn't there? It's, a, it's like a diamond. We all know what a diamond looks like. And I would probably say 95% of diamonds on engagement rings are normally just set in platinum. Yeah. Even if they have a gold or a... Because of the strength, band, yeah. yeah. Because of the strength of it. So if you actually see um, some rings where they've got like the the, the actual stone uh, mount, this is what Linda's saying around it is white. It's probably platinum mm -hmm. because it's strong. It's really really strong. So this is the kind of chain that goes back to what we first said. The kind of chain that you could put on and never take off. To be honest, absolutely. Um, I've got how many? What two chances of those left? Well done. Um, okay, next up. Oh, I'm glad you said that, Neary. Yeah, I'm okay. loving this one. It's absolutely beautiful. It is literally like it's, it is diamond encrusted, isn't it? This is a piece of platinum jewellery, literally jewellery, not just a chain, a piece of jewellery, a design piece of jewellery that would just be centre of a small window yeah. on Bond Street with price on application. Yeah. I mean, it is absolutely exquisite. Can you see the link? I don't chain. know how close we can get. I'm oh not, not my goodness me. Like, look at it. So if you imagine like a, um, almost like a dance in the links, you've got one literally pointing in one direction, one facing the other direction, and that alternates, and that's what's giving you that constant luster, um, almost like it is diamond encrusted. Yeah, this has been the favorite for everybody. I can see why. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. And again, if I just give it some movement, you can see that constant light performance across the surface of it i agree with what linda's just said it is a necklace it's you know it's a piece of jewelry that's so right it, yes you can put your pendants on there if you wanted to but at the same time you don't have to it looks beautiful as is now you can find 18 carat white gold, nine carat white gold chains here you go nine carat 215 pounds i mean eventually i mean this is my own experience um, but I have a solitaire diamond set in white gold and the white gold band is turning back to yellow gold Yeah, yeah, because they, they, they rhodium plate it. Mm. Not all. I remember a customer having a go at me about that once saying, look, look, it's not all white gold rhodium plated. No, but most. And it will go, it will back discolor. Gold, yeah. um, and you can only do that so many times, um, so many times a year. So, yeah, you won't get that with platinum. Platinum doesn't go yellow. Um, hello Joanne, I bought this on launch, I have it on now, it's so sparkly, it's lovely, well exactly. done Joanne, it's It beautiful. is a piece of jewellery, you hit the nail on the head literally when you say it's so sparkly, oh, oh my word, look at that. It's beautiful isn't it? You don't need to do anything to it, no, it's that kind of, I don't think do so. you know, Victoria Beckham, I saw an interview with her the other, um, this was a few months ago, and I don't know if it was platinum, I don't know if it was 18 karat white gold, whichever, but she was wearing one single, uh, single chain like this, and it was so classy, just, yeah, you know, in exactly. all its simplicity. In four seconds, jewellery makers, we're going to take it to your amazing price tag. It's what I call a confident piece of jewellery, that. Yeah, I agree. So I can get nine carat white gold for two hundred and fifteen pounds, which has got three hundred and seventy-five parts out of a thousand. Platinum's rarer than those three hundred and seventy-five parts, 
and I can get it for £199. I will. I've got to have Tom, if you can keep me one, please, if it's possible. Oh, Linda's after this. Definitely. I don't blame I, it's, you. It's a need. I'm drawn to it. And I can't ignore that draw. That no. I just and, can't And like you said, it. this is not a piece of jewellery that you're going to think, oh, why do I buy that? It's platinum. It's always got that value, hasn't it? And, it, and you know, it's a piece of jewellery. Okay, it's a chain, but it's such an elegant yeah. accessory. Yeah. You know, for whatever time of day, wherever you are, you know, you in the evening, in incandescent light, oh, it will really spark. You go into any, I don't know, your Beaver Brooks, your Ernest Jones, you'll be able to find platinum chains. You, I, I doubt highly you'll see them no, at You'll go up into four figures, huh? Especially the Fort Centina ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So make sure you're checking out Jewelry Makers. Rosalind, hello to you, Cambridgeshire, Tracy, Caroline. Make sure you're checking out for the beautiful uh, Fort, Fort Centina which is beautiful, absolutely stunning. Um, and again, a big investment of sterling silver. I've only got three left, plus you've got your 0% interest split payment. Three of them left, so we're over allocated jewellery makers. If your name is Rosalind, Cambridgeshire, Tracy, Caroline, London, um, we're going to do a clock to close. Maker on the web as well. Oh, Tracy on the web as well. Oh, Sally on the web as well. Oh, you couldn't oh, write wow. it. This is tense. Um, clock to go. Oh, Helen's on the web as well. And Red Fuchsia. We are super oh, over allocated. Gosh. I've never seen a chain that I need so much. I'm, I'm generally a little bit concerned, Linda. So I'm very concerned. Because there's a lot of people. But that being said, yeah. they need to check out the baskets. Yep. You do need to. Oh, Linda. There's two. There's 20 people across the web of the phone lines to get hold of that piece. Oh, wow. And there's one here, 21. Yeah, but, you know, please, guys, you get me. You get it. Yeah, we'll give it a studio That's sample. what you're watching. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> okay, you guys get it then. <coughs> I would. Oh, I'd give it to you. I mean, it. it's the most beautiful chain and then I'm going to put in brackets piece of jewellery yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah, I agree. Stunning. It really is. Do you want another one? Again, think blue acoya pearls, jewellery makers. That's just, just think blue acoya pearls. And or think of that turquoise. Oh, uh, with the Sleeping Beauty turquoise where we have your moustache manager. Stepping into, uh, stepping into the studio. Hang on, I'm just going to swap. I'm swapping this over. Oh, hang it to me, Ellie. Hey, I'll pass, I just it, want, I'll pass I'll it just, out, oh, Maya. <laughs> you you hold this. that one. Oh. Now, I'm going to grab one of those lovely blue acquire pearls once more. Mm -hmm. Look at the colour. They're absolutely incredible, aren't they? You know, I, I would have said, like, Two hours ago, you've got to have that with a sterling silver chain. Now I'm saying you've got to have that with, with a, a platinum, platinum chain. chain. See, you this know, is the both... chain that I think is the most perfect for your blue acoya. Because it's not trying to compete. It's all about, you know, I'm a beautiful, rare, precious platinum chain. Yeah. I'll always have that wonderful, dazzling brightness. And I'm happy for the, for the focal, to the, for the attention to be all on that blue acoya pearl. I've only got five chances. It's an 18 inch, solid platinum. About time, jewelry makers. We're almost, all, we're only like 13 years late. The quality of the pearls, the quality of the gemstones. You know, we've had Grand Digirite, we've had Prima Tourmaline, we've had Type A Jadeites of all different colors. And you know, some of the rarest gems on this planet. It's about time we're bringing you the luxury precious metals as well. I'm not saying do massive quantity auctions, but I think we should have quantities like today, 10. That'll do, you know, 10. So the people that do want to, you know, invest, if you like, um, in, the, in the finest precious metals can do that without having to go elsewhere, without having to import them from Italy. And you would be paying £199 if you're importing this from Italy. You'd be paying significantly more. Hopefully, this is, you know, that the tip of the iceberg where we start seeing things like platinum clasps, 18 karat gold clasp chains. Um, are 
Neary, I've, I've, I've actually stopped shouting about it now. You know, like, gold apparently is getting rarer and rarer now. Yeah, it is. And the price it. is going up and up and up and up and up, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It says, I mean, a lot of countries use it for reserves, don't they? At £199. I've only got five available jewellery makers. There's Susan there. There's Cambridge there. There's Jackie there. Mm. Good luck, everyone. Limited, absolutely limited, and they always will be limited. I tell you what I'm going to do, jewellery makers. I'm going to leave those with you. You've got, what, two left. If you all check out, it's sold out anyway. Um, but you can still do it because... It is time for us to introduce, after this very short break, our new manager, who's gonna do the most amazing deal on Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. She's probably introducing herself for the very first time as well on our screens. Um, and I've been seeing in my peripheral that there's a nice little presentation coming your way as well. So for those of you that have not met Brie or haven't seen the VT, um, she's the lady in the, with the moustache on, the sticky moustache on. Um, Brie is stepping into the studio to bring you the most unbeatable uh, manager special. Now, can I just give you a heads up? If you haven't been part of manager special deals before, they all, all want to outdo each other. So you can get a, you, you'll get an amazing price regardless. You know, all logic goes out the window. So don't go anywhere. Your manager special with beautiful Sleeping Beauty Turquoise is coming me up after this. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the Schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. It's Manager's Special this week, but half of them have decided to go on holiday. So some of the team members have decided to take over instead and now they think they're the managers. We've both been talking and we've come to a conclusion. You're just not doing enough. You're fired. What are you talking about? We're doing manager specials with you. We're the managers. Get that stupid moustache off. Oh. Tune in this week for managers specials on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I hope you're all well and having a really good week. Nice to see the sun shining at last. I'm back in the studio this Saturday the 20th of July where I'm going to be joining Ross, L, and the team. And I just wanted to give you a quick heads up of my two project hours. At nine o'clock we have got the most incredible hematite selection including, can you see, Swarovski Rivoli elements. They are absolutely beautiful. These gorgeous little stone studded rondelles. They come included with the bundle. Eight millimeter faceted rounds, absolutely stunning. And a couple of weeks ago, you may remember I had beautiful, beautiful bicones and kite shapes. We've managed to get some more in for this Saturday in case anyone missed out on them. Look at that, isn't that absolutely beautiful? So that's at nine o'clock, amazing hematite. And then at 12 o'clock, now I've called them forget-me-nots. We've got these incredible bead caps. Now you may be wondering, that doesn't look like a bead cap. Well, I'm going to be showing you how to transform your bead caps into these absolutely beautiful connectors. We've got three colorways, gold, silver, and copper, 
all accompanied with the most incredible shell pearl, which I've not seen on the screen for ages. So for again, I'm gonna show you how to turn them into these beautiful connectors. So that's this Saturday, 20th of July. Join myself, Eleanor and the team. Cannot wait to see you all there. Bye-bye. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewellery making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the Jewellery Maker Handbook, which is filled with 35 different techniques, as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hello gorgeous jewellery makers, it's guest designer Carol here. I'm back in the studio on the 22nd of July and I've got some lovely things to bring you. In the nine o'clock hour we have got these gemstone bead projects. There's a choice of gemstones and they come with sterling silver findings. So I've made some necklaces and I've also had to go at a wire wrap ring with this sparkly bead. And then at 12 o'clock it's tool time and I've got a wonderful adjustable work holder to bring you. It's very, very versatile, very adjustable. I've had real fun with that. Um, and I will be showing you some techniques for saw and file texturing and making this really pretty snake ring with all sorts of different texturing options. So I will see you on the 22nd. Take care. Shopping with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. You can shop via our website at www.jewelrymaker.com where you can watch our live shows and see all the products from that day. We also have a huge amount of products on our website, from your jewellery room essentials to gemstones, tools, precious metals and much more. You can download and shop on the go with our Jewellery Maker app. Simply head over to your app store and search Jewellery Maker. Alternatively, you can contact our UK-based call centre 24 hours a day on 0800 644 655. Shopping made easy at Jewellery Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, Jewelry Makers. And can we all give our lovely Brie the warmest welcome? Hello, Brie! She's the lady with the stick on moustache. Yeah, in case you didn't recognise me. Yeah. No moustache today. I'll tell you what, yeah, when are you picking up your Oscar? Um, in two weeks. <laughs> I should have worn it today, really. Yes. Now, I have to say, I'm, and I know you were in the wings yep. when we were kind of introducing this opportunity. We do love these manager specials because basically everybody in the office just wants to outdo each other. Yeah, it's a bit of a competition. Yeah. And uh, Wayne was on yesterday and he was on for two hours, which isn't really fair. Disqualified. So, yeah, disqual disqualified from the race. That's it. Get out. So I was supposed to have Cheating. something else, but I've decided to use Sleeping Beauty Turquoise so I can, um, you know, try and beat him. I, reckon we can. I don't think you'll need to try with Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. Yeah. That is a good call. Yeah. That's that, like, yeah. We've not had it for ages, have we? Oh, months. months. But that's because the mine closed. Yep. Yeah. In 2012. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really special that we've got it here today. But um, before we get into all this, though, um, because this is your first time on our screens. Yes. And she's she's cool as a cucumber, isn't she? She's chill. Um, would you like to introduce yourself and tell yes. everybody what you do? Yes, so I have started at Jewelry Maker at the start of the year. Um, wanted a bit of a change in the industry, so I originally studied gemology and jewellery studies in Birmingham, so not too far away. Um, and then I was in the industry for about five years after that, and now I'm here at Jewelry Maker. It, that is a change. So yeah. what, you were in jewellers? Um, yeah, I was in a jewellers, yeah, yeah, doing antique jewellery. Um, and then I did gem, gemology before that. So again, the wealth of knowledge, yeah. you know, that the whole jewellery maker family really has, but again, re massively adding that. So we've got a gemologist in the wings as well. Yes, gemologist in the wings. Wow, that's amazing. So you're fully qualified to, and, and you know that this shouldn't be happening then. 
Um, yes, I know that I, well, I was supposed to have something else and then Wayne's gone on holiday, so I thought I'll sneakily get this in because I just love turquoise. Is it one of your favourites? It is. It's been used for so many years that I just think it's a classic. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So, all a, a gemologist, been in the industry for many years. Yeah. How many of these sneaky Sleeping Beauty turquoise strands have you taken from Wayne then? I think we've got 400 today, which is, wow. I honestly can't believe it. That's a... Yeah, no, like, especially rounds. Yeah, the rounds. It's, you, you just can't get a hold of it, really. So to have the rounds here and have 400, it's, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, that's massively crazy. Yeah. Plus, you're promising a naughty deal. I, I am, because I really want to beat Wayne. Well, he's disqualified anyway, isn't he? Yeah. He's disqualified. Sorry, Wayne. See ya, you're disqualified. Yeah, I mean, he's an amazing job by buying all of these, but I had to sneak them for yeah. myself. Yeah. Last time, we're trying to... Yeah, this is the thing. We're trying to think back to the last time that we had any quantity. I mean, we've, I don't think we've ever had 400 quantity. Um, but we, we may be 50 Sleeping Beauty turquoise. And jewelry makers, regular viewers that have been with us, you know, maybe from day one or maybe a good few years, cast your mind back to when we were at Ivy House. So when our studios was at Ivy House and we were part of the immediate group. Now, the immediate group were great, they were wonderful people as well, but they had to buy much smaller, which meant that our prices were that much higher. So a strand like this, if you were to show that to me, say five years ago, Brie, that would have been probably 130 pounds. Yep. And that's great. Yeah. It's an amazing price. It's amazing, yeah. But I have a funny feeling you're not gonna do that today. And no, we're gonna drop it lower today, which, I can't believe really because it's so hard to get a hold of but well do we you want to take it away because we've got a lovely presentation to show everybody yes so i thought um it'd be quite interesting to go in how turquoise is formed mm -hmm. um so on a chemical level turquoise is copper aluminium phosphate and it's actually a cryptocrystalline structure so um yeah so we've got the photos in the that's cool isn't it yeah in the rock so in the veins you can see how it's compacted onto each other and it's actually tiny tiny crystals that you wouldn't be able to see with a normal microscope you'd uh -huh. have to have a industrial level microscope to actually see the crystals um and you can see how it forms here in the rocks and when they go down the mines this is how it looks um in the walls that they form that's amazing isn't it yeah amazing but it oh, puts into, into perspective as well how why r rounds in particular are so hard to come by well if you can see the way that it's forming it forms in between the rocks so yeah. i mean the general gist is that they're trying to get the turquoise with no veining um, or no matrix as it's mm -hmm. called um and it's quite difficult to do but the sleeping beauty in particular doesn't have a lot of veining in it so mm. that's why it's so expensive and it's yeah. so valued um in the industry it really is the one that everybody wants to go for absolutely and you, you can, can see why yeah you can see all the different variations in the corner of how it will have the different host rocks in between um but with the sleeping beauty more often than not it has no veining or very little veining mm -hmm. amazing fascinating stuff okay um and it's been used throughout history it was used in the Egypt egyptian times and in king tutankhamun's mask and through all their jewellery, you can see that there's a scarab turquoise oh, yeah. ring there. Oh, yeah, beautiful. And um, the big collar necklaces. That's amazing. And it was it represented the River Nile, which they thought brought the dead souls back to heaven. It was it was a very influential stone for them. Yeah. Um, and then it was also used throughout the Victorian times as a stone of love. Ah. It was yes. very very popular. Queen Victoria loved it. She did it as bridal gifts for people's weddings. Amazing. Um. But we're going to move on to why we've got Sleeping Beauty today, because that is the turquoise that is the most wanted in the industry. Mm -hmm. um, so in Globe, Arizona, as you can see in the map, the, there's loads of mines there. Yeah. But the Sleeping Beauty, which is right in the middle, um, next to Castle Dome and the Kingman Mines, you can see the difference in the quality. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can straight away. It's much brighter, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's got barely any host rock in it, and the colour just speaks for itself. Yeah. Pure turquoise, less host rock. Yep. Um, oh, sorry, if we could just go back to the other slide, I just wanted to tell you about why it's called Sleeping Beauty, because you can see from the mountain range there that um, it's in the shape of a woman asleep, there lying she is. down. Yeah. 
like the Disney princess yes, herself. Yes. Do you know when I when I went over to Arizona, Brie, um, about three years ago now, uh, to the Tucson Gem Fair, we contemplated. We were there for a week, and it's as you can imagine, a pretty full-on week. And they were like, "Okay, should we go to Sleeping Beauty Mine?" Yeah. And we're like, "Okay," but it's that, on that map, Arizona doesn't look very big. No. But it is big. Yeah, I can Isn't imagine it's, yeah, I can yeah. imagine it's absolutely massive. And they were like, what's the point? There's yeah. actually no point me us driving there yeah. because you can't get to the mountain. Because you'd think it'd be around the corner, but really it's, it's not. It's really, really not. It'd be around so several corners. In the, end, in the end, we didn't bother going because it's not like we could film footage at the mine yeah. or anything like that. No. Anyway. So we've got some images here of the quality of turquoise that comes out of the mine. Mm. And it's called the Robin Eggs Blue, which, as you can see at the bottom, is the colour of oh, Robin's wow. eggs. That's lovely. Um, it's got this really nice waxy luster to it, and that's because of the compacted crystals. It makes a real impact with the colour. Yeah. Um, and you can see that in the rough and then how it's translated in the beads and the cabochons. And that's why they cut it that way, so the colour's really concentrated all the way through. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, if you go, there's a link that I've attached here for the okay. GIA and they're talking about how the quality affects the prices in the industry. Can you do that? We're just trying to get it to work at the moment. Oh, so they're talking a bit like we, we just had the pearl quality factors. So this is talking about yeah. turquoise quality factors. Yeah. Right. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh, yeah. And so the main quality is the, is the colour. And the Robin Eggs Blue, as I just said, is the most sought after colour. It does come in variations of green. Sometimes there's yellow um, turquoise that comes out as well. But in the industry, everybody wants that sky blue, mm. Robin's Egg Blue colour. Wow. Um, and it's easy to see why. Look at that. That's Yeah, amazing. I mean, look at the colour of it. It's just, it screams out in any jewellery. You can't, you can't look away. Yeah, it does. And, and you know, a solid, even colour. Amazing. So this is on the GIA website, which is the most recognised yeah. um, gemology association. And mm -hmm. they're saying here that with the with Little Matrix and the colour, that's what makes it the best quality. And that's what the Sleeping Beauty mine provides. Mm -hmm. It provides um, the turquoise with little to no matrix. Oh, that's incredible. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm racing ahead on no, your that's presentation. Fine. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, it's one of those gems that we've been... We're, we're quite fortunate, Brie, I'm sure you'd agree with this, that we've actually been able to offer oh, for Sleeping sure. Beauty turquoise. Especially in a strand like this, because if you think about... It's only about 4 to 5% of turquoise that's actually can be gem quality. Yeah. Um, so 4 to 5%, yeah. is that right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's a really low amount because of the softness of the stone. Yeah. Um, when they go to cut it, sometimes the stone will just break but once they find a harder material so for them to find matching a matching strand of this um is quite something and then 400 of them is unbelievable actually. That's re uh, yeah uh, again it's like uh, i'm sorry to keep referencing it but this is where i really had the most experience of sleeping beauty turquoise um when i was at tucson they had this one guy and he's definitely done show i know he skyped in for our sister channel and he only sold Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Yep. And I remember, and, and he's again, good friends with Gemporia. And I remember holding a sphere that was probably, I don't know, it was huge. It was mm. about 18 millimeters in its size. Yep, just a sphere, massive, yeah. huge. Yeah. And you could see straight away the armed guards, like literally on high yeah. alert, as if she's holding, she's holding one of the most, but yeah. that was thousands of pounds. It's not an inexpensive gem, is it, turquoise? No. Especially Sleeping Beauty. Yes, especially Sleeping Beauty. It's. It's, it fetches really high prices, especially because of the mine closing. Yeah. Any gemstone mine that closes, it's always going to have an increase of price over the years. And this one has just kept on going mm -hmm. um, for years and years. Everybody wants it. Wow. All the, all the gemologists want it, all the mineralogists want it. Um, it's, for, it's a staple in the collection piece of anyone that's you know, a fan of gemstones, a collector, a gemologist. And it's immediately recognisable, isn't it? Uh, yeah immediately recognizable um okay well it's the only gemstone that um actually was given the color was actually That's made true. a color yes every other gemstone is usually named you know you could say like ruby red but turquoise is actually a color on its own and it yeah. was um i think it was legally made a color from the gemstone itself wow wow this is fascinating i love this brie um 
Shall we do it? Do you yeah. want to get the graphics live or do you want to go on further with your presentation? No, I'm no, I'm ready. Let's do it then, Brie. Remember, yeah. I love the fact, start at the beginning of the year and you're out to get Wayne. I love it. Yep. I love it. Competitions on. Yes. Abs I can't believe you've got 400 of them. I know. 30 seconds, that's a clock to graphics. I Again, just personal experience, and this is an amazing, not a criticism at all, but... Tur a turquoise strand, a Sleeping Beauty turquoise strand like this, five years ago, even on our screens, was like 130, 150 pounds, and that's incredible. Yep, An it is. It's a really price. good deal. Especially, I mean, you've seen it in Arizona yourself, the, the, pr the prices that it goes for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a footage of me somewhere. I, I'm not going to. I think I've seen it, actually. Of me chatting yes. to that turquoise yeah. guy. Yeah. And he was saying, yeah, he was, he was the first. And yeah. <laughs> He only he, 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 he mined turquoise, and he was like, "Oh, so everybody wants Sleeping Beauty." Yep, saying exactly that. All the gemstone dealers would be around there. That's the only one they want because it's worth the most. It's got the most value. I, I understand why. Even our even our graphics are, t are Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Exactly, we've done whole matching. Today. Yeah, it's all on purpose. Now, already multi buyers. There's a lot of trust for you, Bray. People multi buying on this. I, I'm, I mean, Gloria. I don't. They should I, be. I hear a dicky bird has told me what Bree's planning. Okay. Hmm. Do you want to say that? Yeah. yeah. So it's usually about 150 to 130 pound a strand. Yeah. Um. But I think. I think let's start at 120 based off that. Okay. Fair enough. Right. Good. Just Which get the is, wheels in motion. Yeah. That's a really good deal, though. The strands when you go to Arizona yourself. If you're buying, you know, a one-off strand, obviously you're going to be paying more. But Wayne's been able to get this quantity, so it's amazing. He's got um, that quantity. It is. It's. I'm he's, he's been doing the deals. Okay, I'm going to say this because he's not in earshot. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't say it. No, I'm only joking. I would. But um, he is a fantastic gem buyer. Yeah. I don't every you know to be able to get 400 a Sleeping Beauty. Exactly turquoise. the negotiation techniques he must be using to persuade them because they're ve they're very cagey the yeah. gemstone dealers they don't always want to sell to people they you know they're very particular about who their customers are so for him to be able to get this quantity is is very impressive it's commendable absolutely yeah we're seeing steve now this is quite old footage actually this is uh, steve at the location um in arizona um and yeah he's you can see you can't get close either because it's protected land, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's protected land. And they're, they're still mining copper there. Yeah. Because um, that's what it goes um, along with the turquoise. It's unusual to see Arizona rain. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this is when, when news broke, actually, that, that it, was, it was actually... That the mine was closing. The mine was closing, yeah, that yeah. Steve filmed this. Um, yeah, you couldn't just rock on up there because it's actually protected land. You can't yeah. walk close to it. I'm not surprised. Yeah. So it was like, okay, that's. I think it was that point that we realised, let's let let's just not bother. Let's just not bother. Um, okay. Bree's here for a first auction opportunity, and I think you're going to make make an impact, Bree. I want to make an impact. There's a bit of competition going around the office, so I thought, you know, I need to come on here today. It's my first time at air. You know, I really want to do a great deal for everyone. So £120 is a great price, but I really want to do the best deal that I can. Okay. Um, you know, we've got 400 and I want to break the phone lines here. Yeah. And we should, because it's an investment piece. It really is. You know, yeah. it's a staple for everyone's collection, whether you're a jewellery maker or a collector. I agree. Um, I do agree. Okay. So you want to get the wheels in motion. A hundred. Yeah. That is amazing for a strand of rounds as well. I think rounds... I remember wanting to do a collection once upon a time, Brie, and I s approached Jake. Mm -hmm. He was like, you're not going to get rounds? Yeah. Slices, maybe. Yeah, because they have to get them all, you know, uniform and the effort it takes to cut them, whereas they think they can do the slices and the irregular cuts, then... Much easier. It's much easier for them. Yeah, okay. Right then, Brie. I think we should take it under 100. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's take it to £99, I think. Okay. Okay. But is that where you're stopping? Um, I don't think so. No, she's not stopping there. Miles it's miles away. away. Yeah. So this is Tucson. You can see it's, a, it's an old Tucson video. 
It keeps going. There you go. You can see a very young Jake in the background, look. A oh, very young Jake. Jake in the background. There you go. <laughs> With his yellow bag. Oh, <laughs> look at all that. Back when Sleeping Beauty Turquoise was more accessible. Yeah. More accessible, more available, and the mine was probably operating. Yeah, exactly. Which is just, it's so hard to get hold of now. Yeah. Okay, we're under £100. Jewelry makers, there's 400 Geraldine's got four. Gloria's got four. I'm going to say that I think there's going to be a lot of collectors for the first time ever. Big statement coming. Will actually multi buy on Sleeping Beauty Turquoise because it's not normally a multi buyable gemstone. No, but the quantity we've got here, you, I mean, you can buy multiple strands and save them and use them for your more luxury pieces of jewellery that you really want to make a statement with. Yeah. Okay. What's this? I've seen elsewhere. Is this your slide here? Uh, yes. So I just thought we'd pull up some. So this is from a, a mineral auction. Okay. And this is a turquoise bead necklace and this actually finished on auction for oh sorry i've lost the it's nearly four thousand dollars wow wow yeah but look at that color yeah it's amazing amazing okay and that's back in 2019 which i yeah. assume now five years so on. the price will only have kept have kept on rising and more likely than not this would have been a collector or a, a you know a gemologist or a mineralogist that was wanting to collect it for the future you know keep for themselves because you know as the years goes on the price will only keep rising only go in one, one direction absolutely okay so um 400 who hands up if you love sleeping beauty turquoise who doesn't love sleeping beauty turquoise i know you know today's show we've got some absolute stunners for the yeah. collectors out there haven't we um if you love it i uh, yeah brie might have mentioned approximately where she's taking this to so um, all I'm going to do, jewelry makers, is make sure our web and app and phone lines don't crash. So if you love Sleeping Beauty Turquoise and you fancy getting it at an affordable price tag, today's the day. So join us on the web. Join us on the app. Okay. So on, so can we have a 30 second clock? Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Um, this would usually be a closing price, but this is not the final price today. It's okay. going to go to more. Um, or less. Or to less, sorry. Yeah. It's because I'm thinking about usually when I'm going to do deals, it's, it's more. You know, yeah. Well, yeah. that's the thing. Most tuners, most yeah. gemologists will go higher, won't yeah. they? It's the rarity and they'll, they'll justify that. I think let's drop it to 79. <gasps> I have to say, Brie. It's a, it's a great deal. That's an amazing deal for Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. Okay, Neary's just saying, look, last time that we had Sleeping Beauty, he says, I think we had, we had 50 quantity and he thinks he closed at 79.99 and they sold out. Amazing. I'm surprised they sold out again. I think, I think we can do better today, but I don't want to go, oh, I don't want really to give too can. much away. No, we know you can. It's down to the 400 quantity as well. Yes. I think this is very brave of you to take 400. Well, I thought I've got my opportunity now. You know, Wayne's on holiday. Yeah. He can't see what I'm doing. So. And I, someone told me as well that he'd bought these for the Gemporia birthday. Um. Yes. They were supposed to be for a bigger event because because of the quantity and because <laughs> of, you know, I mean, the colour of them. They're such a statement. We've not had them in ages. They were supposed to be for a big event, but I thought I want them on today because nah. they're one of my favourites. And What's he going to do? Oh, well, he can't do anything because no. he's, he's on his holly bobs. He's on his holly bobs. Um, we've got a message for you, Brie, say, from Gloria in Staffordshire saying, Hi, Brie and Elle, love Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. I have a lovely collection of this beautiful gemstone and four strands have just been added to it. So Gloria's lovely. trusting you, Brie. And that's the thing, because she says she's got a collection of it. And a lot of people do put it into jewellery, but a lot of people just collect it just to have mm. in their collections that they're keeping for themselves. Yeah. A lot, yeah. I remember, oh gosh, I'm going back some years now. I bought a cabochon of Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. It's nowhere near this carrot weight, by the way. Um, and I'm thinking back to the Harry Winston ring where it's got like the mandarin garnet and then the Sleeping Beauty Turquoise all the way around. Yeah. One day when I can afford it, I might sort of take inspiration from that design. Yeah. Um, and put some maybe specetite garnets. I love oh, lovely. that contrast. Yeah. Um, but again, it is a high-end gem, isn't it? Yeah. It's very, very, very collectible. So 79.99 is awesome. Yeah. Take it away, Brie. I want to see some more people on the phone lines. Yes. Can we have another 30 second clock? Yes. You've got to trust our lovely Brie. I want to She's see, been brave. I want to see 50 people on the phone lines. 
another 50 people. Fair enough. You've got to trust our Brie. If she's going to take the 400 quantity from Wayne, we best make, we yeah. need to make it the perfect crime and sell out. In fairness, actually, everyone is multiplying. I don't blame, can you believe that? That we're multiplying on Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. I mean, I'm not surprised because it, it, it's an investment piece. Yeah. That's me, yeah, that's me. Oh, can we have another clock? Because there's still not fi another 50 people on no, the phone. No, we need more of you there. We need more of you there, jewellery makers. Maureen, Helen, Dorothy, Kim, Maker in, Cambridge, Susan. There he is. Oh, all these people have got it in your baskets. People on the phone lines as well. There he is. You're just talking. Oh, in. yes, this is the. Is that the footage you saw? Yeah, I've seen this footage. Yeah. And he's talking predominantly. He's got different varieties of turquoise there, but it's it's like. Yeah, but Sleeping Beauty. Yeah. That's they, what it, was, it all went back, came back to Sleeping Beauty. That's what all the dealers say. You go around and they've got all the different variations. Um, you know, because some of them, you can get the ones with the matrix in. It's called Spiderweb, where mm. it's got the black veining. And some people do like that. But in the industry, everybody wants the no veining, Robin's Egg Blue, Sleeping Beauty turquoise. And yeah. that's what we've got here today. I actually think I'm ready to go a bit lower now. Ooh, oh my goodness me. Okay. I think I'm going to take it to forty nine ninety nine. That's like a hundred pounds <laughs> cheaper than what I remember a strand like this being a, you not that long ago. Do you Some years ago, probably six, seven years ago, we had a strand of chips. Yeah. Sleeping Beauty turquoise, and that was more than that. Didn't yeah. It? Probably when it was more accessible as yeah, well, Linda. Definitely when it was more accessible. Yeah. I, I'm loving these manager deals because I've never been able to say. Can you imagine a full Sleeping Beauty beaded necklace? Yeah. Today's useful. the day to make that possible. Okay. There's a lot of multi buyers. I don't know if uh, you can see Brie the call screens. Fours, threes, twos. I know everybody's multi buying from all over as well. Yeah, absolutely. We've got 400 though. Yeah, I'm not finished yet. We've got Ooh. 400 to sell. And while Wayne's here, not here, sorry. While he's not here, I think that I want to take this even lower. Is he actually yeah, on the plane Yeah, he's on the now? plane. He's probably shaking his fist in the air, thinking, what's she doing? Where's he gone? Tenerife? Um, Where's Cape Verde? Oh, yeah, Cape Verde, yeah. That's right, because we were like, we're both going to the same, similar place. Are uh, you going on holiday as well? Yeah, not yet though. Oh, but, um, thankfully, I won't be there when Wayne's there. <laughs> now, there's 112 people with it in their baskets, Brie. We need everybody in the baskets. Yeah. There's I need everybody in the baskets. Brie, can I make a statement? Yeah. I I, I've, if you go to what I heard you might go to, mm. I am going to say that that is potentially or most definitely the best price that we've ever done on Sleeping Beauty Turquoise of this grade. It is. It's, it's the you're, best you're, price you're we've You're making done. history. Yeah. I like that. I'm also loving auction. these manager specials. <laughs> yes. You're making history on your first auction. With an your amazing debut. gemstone that's a classic. I want to know as well. And also, if you have any questions for Brie, do text in. What are your favourite gems then? Top My, three. Top three is Moonstone. Ooh. Um, it's lapis as well, I love. And I love turquoise as well. There you go. They're your top three. Yeah. Love that. So not your diamonds, your rubies, your sapphires, your emeralds. No, I think because when, when I was doing my course, you know, you see a lot of them all the time. And it's actually the history and the way they form that makes more of an interesting story. Yeah. Um, instead of just the look of them. Because there's a lot more to the stones than just about the way they look. I love that. So this is yeah. in your top three? It is, it's in my top three Hence, for sure. It had to be your I mission. had to. I did ask and then it was said that it was being saved for Jim Pori's birthday as a special deal. And then when I heard that he wasn't actually going to be here today, I thought, meh, I'm going to pinch that. <laughs> I think Bree's going to make history today because we know that Sleeping Beauty Turquoise is not an inexpensive gemstone. We know that some five years ago, this would have had a one in front of it. And that's a great prize. You know, I can't remember the last time we saw Sleeping Beauty turquoise with that, that robin egg blue. Um, yeah, and the stuff we've got here looks exactly like what we're showing on the slide. The colours. Yeah. It's just screaming out. Okay. 
150 have already gone. Can we have a minute clock, please? Yeah, I'm, I'm just going clock crazy while I'm up here. <laughs> I've never done a clock before and I want to fit as many clocks They're in as I can. They're good for that, They're good. Yeah. I like just saying please. clock, please. <laughs> Be careful with that, though, because yeah. you can get yourself in trouble like I do regularly. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, another 60 second clock on your screens. <laughs> and we are going lower. Already, though, I'll tell you, over 25% of your stock's gone. And people don't even know, they, they know that 49.99 is awesome. How many? 200 in baskets? Yeah. Oh, there's, there's trust spray. You are, I do generally think I'm you're making history trust. here. Because we wouldn't have got chips. No. And for this got, price. And even better, they're rounds. Yeah. The amount of time it takes to, you know, cut the stone and mm. get it into that shape, get it in a perfectly round shape. Yeah. So for this price, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I agree. But we're going lower. Okay, Brie. What are you going to do? I'm going to I'm going to do something crazy, and I'm going to do twenty nine ninety nine. <gasps> I'm sure I'm going to do twenty nine ninety nine. She said it now. On your head be it, says Leary. <laughs> He's on holiday for two weeks, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, but you know, you do know there is still evidence. Unless we actually sell this out, there is still evidence. And he will be looking for it. Oh, I'm sure he'll be looking, but I, I'm positive we're going to sell out, so. Yeah, yeah, I think so as well. Because look, already 25%. There's I'm over 200 it. in baskets. All around the world, you've got Australia shopping with you today, USA shopping with you today, USA. Yeah, so we've actually got people from America shopping, and you know, yeah. it's exactly where it's from, so. I've got a friend that lives in Arizona, and. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, a Jew was saying to me, I cannot buy Sleeping Beauty turquoise at anywhere near the prices that Jewel No, and bring especially it. they can't buy it um, that often in America because the European market for Sleeping Beauty is. They love it. They want the the no matrix. It's so popular everywhere mm. um, amongst Europe. So they're taking it out of America, and it's like the perfect opportunity to buy it now yeah. because we've got a massive quantity. Yeah, absolutely. And it was I I I think it was more expensive when I was at Tucson than it has been on our shows. Well, this is prime example. What on earth? Twenty nine ninety nine for round Sleeping Beauty. Unbelievable. Look at the quantities, sixes, sevens. It's a bit late now, says Neary, but he's played this strand last week. Yeah. 19 centimeter drops. And they took it to how much? You took it to a crazy price of 50 pounds. That is crazy though. You've just got rounds, which are rarer. Yeah, they're rarer, they're harder to get. But I want to do my best for you know the customers. It's my, I like it's my it. first time on air. I want to, I want to do them a great deal. Well, you've definitely delivered. 100% delivered, Brie. Do text in if you've got any questions or you want to say hi to our lovely Brie as well. Um, first time on air. Low, look at the multi-buying, Brie. Six is sevens. I've never seen turquoise bought in quantities like yeah, that. It's Usually great. because it's expensive. Yeah, well, usually, well, exactly. You usually can't get this quantity, so yeah, people would just be buying one strand at a time. But you've got the opportunity oh, now yes. to buy. Sorry, it is a strand. I beg your pardon. Yes, we're just showing a sample in the bracelet. Yeah, so this has been so this is something that's been made with the strand, and we've got some earrings as well. Yeah, very, very, very nice. Uh, Gina, yeah, there we are. Good question, Gina. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, it looks like a bracelet, doesn't it, when I've got draped across the um, across the wrist. So, Brie, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. You're very, very, very welcome. Um, because, look, look, they're absolutely flying. They haven't quite sold out as of yet. Well, I don't think I'm done yet, actually. What? <laughs> I think I want to stay on. <laughs> Oh, I mean, you, you are very welcome to stay as long as you like. Don't think I'm kicking you off. No, you can't. Well, I don't, you're not getting rid of me yet. I don't no. think I'm finished. I love it. Love it. Bree stamping her authority, Neary. She's staying. I'd like another clock, actually. <gasps> a minute. A minute clock, please. Okay, now, the, the price I heard, 29 99 was well, literally awesome. 
I've just decided this now. Twenty nine nine was a great price. It's amazing. It's an amazing price. Mm -hmm. But you go lower. I'm thinking about it right now because I just think well, you know. Well, you've kind of got a clock now, so you kind of got in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening now, the clock's on. <laughs> so we've bought 10. When have we ever seen quantities of Sleeping Beauty turquoise being bought by 10s? It's because the opportunity's here to get it now. It definitely. You'd struggle to go around a gem show and buy the quantity and have them have it there ready to go. I don't I don't know if I, you can. I didn't no. see it in strands that much. No, well, they don't. I don't think they make it in strands as often anymore. Because so, they got, they can. Yeah. When you think about it, one round Sleeping Beauty turquoise. Yeah. Twenty nine ninety nine. Awesome. Okay, what are you gonna do, Bree? I'm gonna take it to twenty four ninety nine. Oh, I don't know what to say about that. I'll, I, I've said it now. I've, it's done. So it's half the price of the strand that Neary bought the other day, but these are rounds. Oh, you only did that price because there was three left. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Whereas you've got 400. 400 had, actually. The multipliers have gone wild way. <laughs> well, look, you go down. Ken's got six. Durham's got ten. You can get four strands for £100. That's a great price. That's an amazing price. Yeah. That's unheard of. Oh my goodness me, but make sure you're checking out your baskets, everybody. Dorothy, you've got four. There you go, £100. You should ex we should be expecting to pay at least that. More than that, actually. Yeah, per strand. Yeah. Yeah. So is that, I've got a question for you. When you first started at Jewelry Maker, did it really make you kind of go, what are these prices? Uh, yeah, I couldn't believe the prices that they were selling stuff for because I've had some years in the industry, but obviously Wayne has got away with the, with the stone suppliers and he's really getting the getting the best deals yeah. they can. But most jewellers would then hike the price up, wouldn't they? This is yes, why it's of they selling would. in yeah. the industry. This is, well, I was going to say it's a trade price, but I don't really know what price to call this because this is... Beyond trade. This is beyond trade, actually, yeah. at the moment. Um, but, yeah, it's amazing the prices they do on her. And, and I'm it, competing with Wayne at the moment. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, yes. The fairy tale gemstone. Okay. And the thing is, he cheated yesterday, so I had to do a crazy price today just to get. That's true. Just to get in the race. Yeah, that's true. That's true. He did cheat. You know, the race isn't over. No. He's cheated massively, so. Well, he's disqualified. Disqualified. Yeah. I'm... I'll put it on a board upstairs. Yeah. Well, yeah. We need a little certificate, and I'll yeah. say winner of the manager special. Absolutely. Um. I hate to say it. Can I have another clock? Yeah! Let's do it! A minute clock. Oh my goodness. You do know also that our sister channel, we've got the likes of Gemporia, we've got the likes of Gem Collector. They're all going to be watching this going, what are you doing to Sleeping Beauty Turquoise? They're going to say, don't let her on again. They can, um, maybe. <laughs> maybe, because they could literally go to our sister channel, 400 bracelets, happy yep. day, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. You wouldn't be selling them for less than £25. No, definitely not. That is incredibly gemsy, isn't it? That bracelet. You could see that on gems. Yep, one hundred percent. Well, it's a it's a luxurious gemstone. It's it just screams luxury. The colour, the impact of the colour. Mm. Oh, Brie, I love it. I love it. I love that you're brave enough to take four hundred straight from underneath Wayne's nose without telling him, and then say and completely annihilate the price point. I just want to do my best for the customers. You're making friends. Yeah. Making lots of friends. You have gone crazy, and there has never been a better opportunity for you to get multiples who's messaging you are you actually oh, no. joking he's got a five oh, no. <laughs> i thought he was gonna be on the plane <laughs> wayne's got a five hour delay <laughs> hi wayne <laughs> oh dear <laughs> Oh, you can talk directly yeah. to Wayne now. Oh, hi, Wayne. Well, what seeing, are you as do? Watch, seeing as you're watching, I'm going to take it to £20. Sorry. 
There's actually nothing that you can do though, because you're not here. No! <laughs> he's, in, he's in an airport. What airport is he? What airport is he in? London Gap. Birmingham. Where is probably All the people of Birmingham of an angry man walking around about gemstones. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we want it, before we actually do it in black and white on the graphics <coughs> excuse me we're waiting for wayne's reply just so we can like you know it won't be you can't put that reply on the screen <laughs> no chance i'll i'll make it i'll censor it <laughs> he said <laughs> You can repeat what he's just said. He said, yep, yeah, that's a joke, but he's on his fifth cocktail anyway. So. Ah, he doesn't care. He doesn't, he doesn't care. care, let's do it. Yeah, I'll be on he a doesn't care. Five hour delay. Oh no, but you got cocktails. Right then, should we do it? Let's do it. You've said it, under 20, you did say that, didn't I did, you? Yeah, I said. Ooh. Look at the quantities that are there. Loads of multi buyers. Let's, let's just say it again. I was talking about the fact that I think it's historic at 29.99. I, I, I think it's unfathomable at under 20. It's joy make history. Yes. Bree's first auction. It's happening today. But all 400 have to sell out at that price, surely. I mean, Lorraine, did you ever think that you'd be able to buy eight strands in one auction? And London? And I don't know when we'll get it again. True. It's not like the... It, you know, it might be months, it might be years quantity, before we have this on again, all. this quantity. Go on then, Brie. Yeah, I, so I want to go to £20. Neary's, uh, there's, a, there's like a... a there's an uproar going on. A Neary-shaped <laughs> hole in the wall. <laughs> He's running away. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Embrace it. 400 of these. Done dusted. You've just made a really, really, really valid point there. We can replace amethyst. We can replace yeah, everything rose quartz. else. We you can, can get replace back diamonds. Yeah. Ruby sapphires. It's it's very difficult to actually replace. And even Beauty other turquoise. turquoise. But this particular Sleeping Beauty. I yeah. don't know when you're going to get it again. The mine's closed. Gemstone dealers are finding it hard to get themselves. I don't know when you're going to have this quantity. Well, I always mention, Brie, um, the fact that with sleep, with, sorry, with turquoise, the history changes quite a lot because it's so yeah. shallow forming, doesn't yeah. it? So the mines sort of close effectively much yeah. quicker. Um, so that's it. You can't just dig deeper and hope for no. more. Once it's closed, that's it. It's done because, as you said, it forms closer to the surface. So, the, you know, they get it out quickly. It's quickly, mm. it's quickly mined and then it's shut. And, so it's, and not that's it. it's not 20 quid then, is it really? It is today. Yeah. <laughs> well done, everybody. Um, who was that saying good grief? I got two. Wendy in Wisconsin. Hello, Wendy. Good grief. Got two. There we are. USA. There I know you a go. Lot of American customers are today. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Uh, Lisa in West Yorkshire saying, Has Brie got bidding fever in reverse? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have. Because you are used to doing probably the opposite. Yep. And it is a whole learning curve, isn't it, really? When you start here at Jewelry Maker, you know, we expect, um, certainly when I worked in the Jews that I did, you it's like, oh, this is what the, 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 the trade price is. This yep. is what they're fetching at retail. Yeah, so my experience has been from, you know, the other side of the yeah. of the counter. Um, so it's completely different, different doing it this way around. And I can't believe the prices that, you know, Jewelry Maker has. Even though I don't think we should quite go that for that low. How many have gone? <laughs> Double figures. Okay, over 300 of these have gone, jewelry makers. We're going to put um, a clock on your screen, clock to close. You're not restricted, by the way. If you want to get 10 of these, you can. You want to get 20, you can. There's nothing stopping jewellers getting involved as well. Yeah. Uh, Mandy in Hartlepool saying, thank you, Brie. Turquoise is one of my favourites too. I don't have Sleeping Beauty, but now I do. Oh, lovely. Yes. Yes. Lovely. Oh, it's... see, so Mandy, now you're always going to love Brie, aren't you? You're always going to have a soft spot for our Brie. And a Sleeping Beauty already complete the collection, because if you said you've already got other turquoise, but getting the Sleeping Beauty is, you know, the pinnacle of creme the quality. It is the creme de la creme. Yeah. It's it's the top quality. Yeah. 
it is that A star in terms of the collectability. Yep. You can see that purity of colour. Unbelievable jewellery makers. In 20 seconds, we are going to have to close the auction. Make sure. Oh, look, there's Jake up there. See, you can see every so often you see sort of the uh, powers that be yeah. walk past <laughs> slowly, usually, like just uh, just like ever so slightly exactly. delay. They always look down, they don't they? <laughs> Lingering, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Um, but Jake will be going, What on earth are you doing? Sleeping Beauty Turquoise for 20 quid. Oh, hopefully, he can't hear. Yeah, yeah, you're fairly sure you've seen the screen. <laughs> um, well done, everybody. Bree, that's awesome. Oh, thank you. Thank you so, so much. Got another message for you as well coming from Helen in East Riding of Yorkshire. Turquoise is one of my birthstones, so I had to get it um, to go with turquoise and tanzanite pendant I always wear. Oh, look, that's a lovely combination. Yeah. That's What's your birthstone? Uh, mine's pearl. Are you a June baby? Yes, I'm a June baby. Very nice. Do you love pearls? I do. Well, also Moonstone is also the one for June true, as well. So. True, true. Yeah. And that's one of my absolute faves. True. Ah, So, um, you know that we've got something special launching today, Brie. Blue, natural blue acquires. Yes, I have seen. I have had my eye on them. <laughs> They're amazing. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, the, the colour on them is crazy. Yeah. Um, so we've heard you've got a blue theme going on today. We do, we definitely, yeah, even definitely do. I like blue. I know, I know. Well, we hope to see you on screens yes. again. I hope so as well. Can we drag you down here again to do some more crazy deals? Yes, we'll always have to plan it though when Wayne's on holiday. Yeah. Whip some amazing strands from yeah. underneath, underneath his nose. And I can do a great deal for the customers again. Yeah. <laughs> Hi Wayne, enjoy your cocktail. Um, right then, jewellery makers, Brie everybody. Thank you everyone. Lovely Brie. And you were really game as well with your moustache and everything. Yeah, I can wear it next time if you want. Um, yeah, I think you're gorgeous just as you are. <laughs> Do not go anywhere though. Remember, jewellery makers, we've put a small percentage of the natural blue Akoya pearls on pre-order. We can't put them all just in case, obviously, they get purchased by one jeweler that's absolutely has potential to happen um and this is a pre-lockdown deal that's the only reason really this is actually happening so shop ahead that's at 12 o'clock but we've got so much more to bring you in the meantime um lovely brie thank you we'll see you soon bye Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewelry making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. And you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Well, we want to help you on your jewelry making journey. When you purchase with us for the first time, you'll receive the Jewelry Maker Handbook, which is filled with 35 different techniques, as well as lots of hints and tips to help you on your way. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's Manager's Special this week, but half of them have decided to go on holiday. So some of the team members have decided to take over instead, and now they think they're the managers. We've both been talking and we've come to a conclusion. You're just not doing enough. You're fired. What are you talking about? We're doing manager specials with you. We're the managers. Get that stupid moustache off. Oh. Tune in this week for managers specials. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I hope you're all well and having a really good week. Nice to see the sun shining at last. I'm back in the studio this Saturday the 20th of July where I'm going to be joining Ross, L, and the team. And I just wanted to give you a quick heads up of my two project hours. At nine o'clock, we have got the most incredible hematite selection, including, can you see, Swarovski Rivoli elements. They are absolutely beautiful. These gorgeous little 
stone studded rondelles. They come included with the bundle, eight millimeter faceted rounds, absolutely stunning. And a couple of weeks ago, you may remember I had beautiful, beautiful bicones and kite shapes. We've managed to get some more in for this Saturday in case anyone missed out on them. Look at that, isn't that absolutely beautiful? So that's at nine o'clock, amazing hematite. And then at 12 o'clock, now I've called them forget-me-nots. We've got these incredible bead caps. Now you may be wondering, that doesn't look like a bead cap. Well, I'm gonna be showing you how to transform your bead caps into these absolutely beautiful connectors. We've got three colorways, gold, silver, and copper, all accompanied with the most incredible shell pearl, which I've not seen on the screen for ages. So for again, I'm gonna show you how to turn them into these beautiful connectors. So that's this Saturday, 20th of July. Join myself, Eleanor, and the team. Cannot wait to see you all there. Bye-bye. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard PMP is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Hello, gorgeous jewellery makers. It's guest designer Carol here. I'm back in the studio on the 22nd of July and I've got some lovely things to bring you. In the nine o'clock hour, we have got these gemstone bead projects. There's a choice of gemstones and they come with sterling silver findings. So I've made some necklaces and I've also had to go at a wire wrap ring with this sparkly bead. And then at 12 o'clock, it's tool time and I've got a wonderful adjustable work holder to bring you. It's very, very versatile, very adjustable. I've had real fun with that. Um, and I will be showing you some techniques for saw and file texturing and making this really pretty snake ring with all sorts of different texturing options. So I will see you on the 22nd. Take care. Every day, our experts will bring you a wealth of knowledge. They'll take you through the steps of making projects and feature fabulous tips along the way. Whether you're new to jewellery making or a seasoned professional, you are sure to learn something new. We are live every day from 8am until 1pm and you can also watch back all of the demonstrations featured on the show on our YouTube channel. Welcome back, jewellery makers. Now, breaking news. I've just been told that today, not only have you got, had, had natural pink pearls, most amazing Sleeping Beauty turquoise, and you've got blue acoyas, you also have San and Scarn. Wow. Which, if I'm allowed a favourite, is my absolute favorite variety of jade because it is remarkable the color but the breaking news is not that mm. this will most likely be the last chance we have to purchase salmon scar we can't buy it probably most likely because we're priced out but then when I show you a short presentation, you'll pro you will understand why. Let's just say we are a multi-million pound business, jewelry maker and Gemporia, but even we can't compete with Cartier. Even we. And when we also think that we're also trying to compete with something that is astonishingly rare and forms in very, very, very small sizes. I want to show you now San and Scarn is a variety of jade and it's totally natural and if you always love the imperial color but haven't got the imperial jadeite budget which not many people have um, then San and Scarn is your go-to because there is no other color like San and Scarn other than imperial jadeite but even imperial jadeite 
forms in its rough state in a much easier way to be able to acquire shapes and sizes like you're about to see. Let me show you a boulder of salmon scarn. So this is rough and it almost looks like just like a coloration across the surface, doesn't it? Now, like a dusting, you know, like, like sugar icing. Yeah, like moss or something like that. Can you imagine for a second, jewelry makers, how do you cut a gemstone out of that dusting effectively? Do you notice on the, on the left-hand side of the screen, there is some, um, some uh, a depth. Yeah, a depth thick enough that will be able to cut you a cabochon, okay? So now when we lead on to the next, and we talk about this amazing gemstone sand and scarn, and you have the SSEF, which is the Swiss Gem Lab, basically. It's as respected as, as your GIA, etc. And they say, I'm not gonna read it all, but they actually say sand and scarn will find its position in the market among jadeite jade. I'm not surprised, it looks, it looks very similar. It is a jade. It is a jade. But when I read on, they say, um, at the Jewelry and Gem World Hong Kong, where you find most of your jades, they say, right now, we are aware Cartier have placed an order on fine goods. They are launching a whole new range, which they have gone big with. This is going to be a gemstone they want uh, to be their icon. This gemstone is about to take off and they are calling it Kashmir Jade. Um, as you can imagine, China is buying and carving, uh, carving all of this material. It's only from one source, so it's from one locational uh, um, source. Um, the labs are excited, the market is excited. It usually takes decades for a response like this, uh, but this is huge. I've just got back from the Hong Kong Gem Show and the price for fine goods is crazy. It's bypassed commercial jewelry like the high streets and is solely a high jewelry stone now, which is amazing for the mine, but we can't source it for you. So this was the conversation that was had more recently. Sorry, no more. It is no more. You know, I said at the beginning, we're a multi-million pound business, but we cannot compete with Cartier. We can't. They're, but they have very, very, very deep pockets. Um, a familiar name to many of you, Caterina Perez, has written about the Cactus de Cartier. Um, and she says, surprisingly, you will uh, not hear ouch, but rather an enthusiastic wow. Yes, indeed, Cactus de Cartier is the only kind of cacti family that you will want to grasp with both hands, the precious and desirable kind. It is a new collection that celebrates summertime all year round whilst defining a new chapter in the French jeweler's history. Cactus de Cartier is the new flower symbol set to become one of the house's iconic ambassadors. Now, they could choose the finest, diamonds, rubies, sapphires, emeralds, any gem they wish. What gem did they choose? We'll flick the next one. They choose San and Scarn. And you can see it there. As if Cartier wanted to write their own cactus botany, the collection contains uh, three subgenres. Firstly, a specimen in shades of green. And by the way, if you want to buy that ring, it's £22,500. They are not huge diamonds. They're melee diamonds. And the, and the actual sand and scarm, which is natural, um, if you see that photograph of that model, sorry, um, it's slightly different design, but they're actually tiny. You're talking maybe three, four millimetres in their size at most to be on the ring. Three, I would say, possibly. Um, there is definitely nothing um, about these blossoms as the luxury house plans on developing the cactus line further into the future. The level of hearts has suddenly risen at Cartier and looks set to continue for years to come. So you know like the panther is iconic to Cartier, isn't it? Like the Alhambra is to Van Cleef and Arpels. The cactus to Cartier is their new line and they chose to launch it with this very gemstone. We cannot source it though. Um, so this is it. This is the end of the line, jewelry makers for San and and if you love it as much as I do, 
get it now because I'm also going to give it to you at close out deal prices. We've had authority from Dave. He's given us the nod of approval. He's like, yeah, get it gone because we can't replace it. We can't replace it. This is a collection that we're going to have to see sort of, okay, it was fun while it lasted, a beautiful rare gemstone. And I guess we knew that that window really in the back of our minds, we knew that window was going to be quite fleeting. Every single San and Scarn always have in your head that the Cactus de Cartier, there was that slide which had a few pieces on there few pieces of jewelry I think off their website that's it and oh, that'll do there um, so this is the bracelet that you can see there have in your mind that those San and Scarn stones would be millimeters like two or three I want to show you something there's a two or three I raise your two or three Cartier to these kind of sizes wow yeah gem lab certified natural salmon scan and also remember can we start with it 19. lowest ever price 19. remember the boulder remember how little it flakes so sat yes uh, um salmon scan a little bit like chrome diopside not gemologically but it flakes so you it's you it's very difficult to get big sizes how many do we have of these? Four. I want to buy this. They're amazing, aren't they? Well, Cartier have done a San and Scarn bangle. I don't know if it's been released yet. We've got a bit of inside information there. Well, I can tell you it's not going to be a jewelry maker prize. Three hundred and ninety carats, and we're yeah. If at Cartier, it's going to be more like this, isn't it? Probably more. You got to remember this. That's the thing. This is, and also, can I just say, yours is far more translucent than Cartier's, and you don't get zero percent interest five voice split rate. No, that's for certain. We are about to do one of the most outrageous deals on San and Scan. It's insane to imagine that this is natural. That's not dyed. It's natural. We're gonna crash straight to your launch price. And then I'm gonna tell you, jewelry makers, we're going lower. Sixteen mil. I'd pay that for one. Natural, certified. Get I'd get your certificate, by the way. Any jade varieties, I would recommend you getting the certificate because it says not enhanced. We're gonna do close out deals today, jewelry makers. I've always had my eye on this, you know, Neary. Five way split pay. Add it to my order, can you? These are insane. That's natural translucency. This is as close to Imperial Jadeite as you'll ever get. Without, without buying an Imperial Jadeite, which by the way, this will be multiples of millions. What on earth? 100 pounds back into your price, into your pocket. Um, and you've got your five way split pay. Um, I've only got four though, jewelry makers. It is natural. You can see the translucency. Again, there's a photograph of uh, the Barbara Hutton necklace on this PowerPoint somewhere where she's wearing that iconic piece of jewelry um it's black and white photo imagery somewhere uh sorry sorry neary um but again you know that's one of the most valuable pieces of jewelry in the world and it's imperial jadeite now i'm not saying this is imperial jadeite this is uh this is san and scan so the gemologically like the same way that nephrite is different to jadeite san and scan is different to nephrite and jadeite but is classed as a jade remember um but you imagine that piece of jewellery that, that's multiples of millions of pounds that Cartier commissioned basically put it on a ruby clasp. They're not this size. And they certainly weren't £199 either. Wow. There, there. Yes. That one. One of the most famous iconic pieces of jewellery in the world. Now I know that's I know that's jadeite. You're getting arguably a rarer stone. Salmon scan is arguably rarer. I've got one left. 
Irene, Geraldine, Jenny, well done. I've also got Karen, Susan, and I've got people on the phone lines to get that last one. If we're going to close them out, we need to do exactly that. I'll have the last one, Neary. Neary, I'll have the last one. I'll buy the last one. If it doesn't go, I will buy the last one. But five-way split pay, Chris is like, what? You'd have bought this. Do you know what, Chris? I reckon you'd suit this. Green's a good colour, I think. But... Amazing. There's one left as we speak. If come the top of this hour, it's not gone, I will have it. Let's do a strand with a cut that's what? Saved for Kotan. Oh, I love this. Uh, genuinely, Sand and Scarn's my absolute favourite. Can I get a, um, a really nice, clean white bust? It's weird that I have to ask that, don't I, for a clean bust. <laughs> because a lot of them have got a little bit mucky. We could do with some new busts. I've never seen this strand before. It's beautiful. Let's have a little look. Let's go with the little one, because that looks even whiter. Thank you, Dan. The reason why I ask is because if I... I launched it. No way. Can you see that clarity? Neary. Oh my goodness me. Look at that. Look at that quality. That's natural. It is imperial colour, but arguably rarer. Sand and scarn. A gemstone. That's what I was... Have you got a phone or something like that? Oh, my goodness. I love the drum shape. Thank you, Neary. Welcome. Do you want me to take it in front? Look at the quality. Look at the translucency. Oh, I want to buy this, Neary. I love Saturn Scarn. Every time I see it, it's one of those, like, seriously, that is, oops, it's just slipping off the bus one minute. Um, it is absolute perfection in a green gem, isn't it? And it's insane to think that this is natural. How many do we have, Neary? Oh, my goodness. There's 20 chances. You go to Cartier, you're not seeing, or oh, is it 160 carats of sand and scarn in one piece of jewellery? And you're definitely not seeing 169 pounds. I, listen, I used to sell their jewellery. Oh my goodness, loving the drums. We're going even lower. We've been, we've been given authority to take these two close out deal prices. For me, it's just that lovely, sumptuous luxury. What's that? I've just had major deja vu. I've dreamt about this moment, you know. Neary says, I want to ask you a question. 169. But where we are is a, is a closeout deal. That's amazing. Is this where it's closed previously? <gasps> okay, so closeout deal, what would I say? Yeah, 149. Anything less... A, pe a pound off that price is a closeout deal. <laughs> Davinia says what? 149 is a closeout deal. See, Davinia? Davinia, you can get two for that price. 20 quid. 20 quid on split pay for San and Scarn. And the phone lines go wild. Oh. <laughs> my goodness me that collar is insane you think of all your green gemstones out there imperial green jade right? you think about zavarite you think about uh, peridot you think about 
onyx which has obviously died it's about that wonderful intensity of color and salon scan has it by the bucket loads and it's totally natural whoop whoop says davinia absolutely uh, down to the final seven we are closing i mean it's it, it's bittersweet this is you know neary for me do you know why i'm loving the deals however it is most likely going to be the last time i see salon scan because we can't buy any more. It's not through the want. We want to buy more. Don't get me wrong. It's through the can't. We can't buy more. Because Cartier, basically. You, you choose the prices, Neary. He's asking the question, how is that 79.99? Unbelievable. Oh, was it Dave? Oh, there. He bought it, so, you know, fair enough. I love it. It's one of my... It's, it's up there. <coughs> Excuse me. Green is my... Green is my favourite. Is my favourite colour. Sun and Scarn just defines the perfect green in my eyes. Um, and again, can we just quickly show the boulder that Sun and Scarn... How Sun and Scarn forms, why it's so, as rare as it is. It's almost like a dusting across the host rock itself. And yet, here you are getting massive six to seven millimeter perfect drums with translucency, perfect sand and scar and color, more translucent than that that you saw on Cartier, significantly bigger and saving yourself, what was it, about 20 grand for that ring, something silly like that. There's three left. I've got Jean waiting on the phone lines. I've got Maker on the phone lines, Julianne County, Durham. Stay where you are on those phone lines, jewelry makers. Don't abandon those calls. Okay. What number? Oh, right. Okay. This is Barbara Hutton. Eat your heart out. This is. It's perfect for the Barbara Hutton necklace. If you want to recreate that necklace that sold at Sotheby's, this is it. You could, you know, you could put little pops of ruby in between, or you could knot it with a silk, couldn't you? You could commission your own clasp. World record auction for jadeite jewellery and for Cartier. It's not a complex piece of jewellery though, is it? The Barbara Hutton necklace. It's all about the quality of the jade. Do we need to be closing this out? Do you reckon I can get hold of the Barbara Hutton Jadeite piece of jewellery for 500 quid? Uh, no, absolutely not, Al. Don't be ridiculous. Last time we brought this on air, we went lower than 499. Sorry. Hang on. Sorry. How about if I do it that way? That's better, isn't it? Absolutely amazing green. We're at 199 pounds. How many do we, um, how many, how many do we, uh, get my words out in a minute. How many do we have, Neary? 12. There's, they're nine and a half mil. Listen, nine and a half mil in a jadeite or in an ephrite. Yeah, yeah that's, that's doable. It's doable because it forms in bigger boulders, doesn't it? Salon Scarn forms in what I can only describe as like a dusting on a host rock. So to get nine and a half millimetres is huge. Who's ready for a shocker, says Neary. I'm ready. I'm ready. I am ready. Close out Sun and Scarn deal today. Oh. 
I, I generally don't know what to say other than that's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's like we take it, all of our information that we know about this gemstone, um, you know, that we've learned in the industry, that we've taken from like Swiss gem labs and big, you know, maisons like Cartier, and then we just basically poo-poo that information and go, close our deals, hey! It is silly, isn't it? We don't make our own job easy, do we, Linda? No, it's... Um... How can you explain that? I know exactly what you're saying. You know, the let's say it in layman's terms, the build up to, I suppose, in a way to educate you about. Yeah, we've got to do that. <clears throat> is necessary, and then it all sort of get all that build up gets a little bit diluted when we come out with prices like this. But, but believe all the build up, one hundred percent. Well, we, well, there's no point in me sitting here saying we can't buy any more sand and scarn if we can. No, no we because we'll be launching it in a month's time. Yeah. We cannot buy sand and scarn. Um, and it's also one of the reasons why we give you a full 30 day money back guarantee. You can do your own research if you wish. How many jewelers will do that? Do you think you could go into Cartier and say, okay, I'm going to buy one of your Cactus to Cartier pieces. But I'm going to go and do my research on the rarity of that gemstone and everything. So can you give me 30 days, please? I might return it. Do you know? I, I, don't, I don't know if they do that. I think the security men just might just throw you out the door. Yeah. Um, I, went, <laughs> I went to, um, walked into, not Cartier. I used to, I used to sell Cartier jewellery. Um, in the in the jewels that I first worked at, lovely, very lovely, and they had Cartier handbags and pens and belts and things like that, lovely. But you know, it was just a really uncomfortable environment for me. Yeah, it's it's, it's more pretentious. Yeah, and that's because they're selling the name. Yes, totally. The quality of the gemstone or whatever it is they're selling is no different to any. No, other. yours is better. Exactly. Uh, your sun and scar, I personally believe, is better. I mean that that strand there, from where I'm sitting, about what three yards away from you, is got such presence. Mm. It's got such. It's a striking piece of jewellery. Yeah. Just like that in a simple strand. And it's gorgeous, isn't it? Such a lovely green. Well done, everybody. Okay. No, this is so far away from the closeout deals that I thought you were going to be bringing. What number? Uh, do you know why? Because I'm, I'm thinking, Neary, uh, imagine. I miss our overhead camera here, you know. Yeah, I miss that overhead camera. Because you could literally graduate this. You could have the 10 mil, then the 8 mil, make a rope. Nala. Now, I've also got 6 and 4 millimetres. Wow. Yeah, amazing. And again, look at that continuity of quality, literally from end to end. Right now, we're talking about the 8 mils. We're going to do some more closeout deals. Um, again, if you've just tuned in, we're closing out San and Scarn. The reasoning behind that, not because we don't love it, we do. Look at it, what's not to love? Um, but basically because um, we can't buy any more. It's literally, it's so rare and we can't compete with the price points that um, Cartier will actually purchase this for. Um, how many do we have, Neary? 14. Okay, that's a good quantity for San and Scarn. All day long to the moon and the back here at Jewelry Maker, 299 Happy Days. That's amazing. Oh, I've just had something dawn on me. I'm not going to say it yet, just in case I'm wrong, Linda. Okay. Something's just dawned on me. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Neary. Yeah. If the last strand that was 10 mil was 99.99, This could go lower. Should it? No. Look. Look, the 10 mil and the 8 mil on launch were the same price. Let me just explain that. Because you could walk into any diamond specialist and say, 
Okay, I've got this much money. Let's say a thousand pounds for ease of maths. I've got a thousand pounds. What will that buy me? And they can go, okay, you can buy this diamond, let's say is 50 points. Or you can buy this diamond, that, which let's say is 75 points. And you might go, oh, well, I'll get the 75.1 immediately because it's bigger. Doesn't necessarily mean it's the best, does it? No, it's the quality, quality of, of the gemstone. <clears throat> However, we tend to not even bother with that. All our quality is consistent. That's why I held them alongside one another. And yet we go, yeah, okay, it's, it's a mill it's a mil or two smaller. Let's take £10 off. 89 99 look at the split pay. Um, Uber rare, San and Scarn. You are working with the same gemstone that you see in Cartier. Um, and I can see why they chose it. They could have gone for Imperial Jade, couldn't they? They could have gone for your spinach green nephrite. They could have gone for Zavarites. But instead, they chose San and Scarn. This little-known gemstone, but a little-known gemstone that the Swiss labs actually do say will find itself alongside um, your jadeite jades. And actually, you know, it's probably come, it's probably launching or coming certainly within our, our radar at the right time, hasn't it? Given the situation with Kotan of and course, Burmese jade. Yeah, of course, Mother Nature seems to. She's got an give agenda. Back she, a she's, little bit, yeah. She has an agenda. The final three. Mariska, Janet, Carolyn and Jennifer, you can all do it. Oh, oh Alison's there too. We're over allocated. Who's going to have the final three? Two. I'll leave it with you to battle out amongst yourselves. Well done. Okay. Got to do the six bells. Are they in 20? Are they in 20? Oh. Oh my goodness me, these are gorgeous. Of course the target's price is not anywhere near these prices. Also, look at, look at the quality of that for saturation. I mean, isn't it wonderful that we've got these different sizes on offer for people's you know, particular choice because you've got the big statement look yeah. that I love and, and you've got the more delicate look that my daughter would go for in yeah. day of the week. You know, I think that's great to have that choice. I'm loving this strand. That colour is insane. We're starting at double figures. Uh, up until today, yeah, you know, before today, that we would have closed there, and that's amazing. Please know that this is not a hundred pound strand. Anywhere else. I, I couldn't even put a price on it, jewelry makers, but it's not going to be a hundred pounds elsewhere. Look at that colour. That's all natural. It glows. And in 20 seconds, it's going to a closeout deal. I'm really sad. It's bittersweet, isn't it? So I love San and Scarn. I love to bring you the deals like this, but I'd be, I'd be really sorry to see it go. Hiya, Davinia. Fabulous deals. Amazing. Love it. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Again, look at the piece in Cartier where it's completely opaque. It's got little black specks. Yours is translucent. And yeah, there's occasional black specks. This is jade. They're meant to have sort of patterns internally. It's almost like a, an emerald has its jardin, yeah. doesn't it? It's almost a similar phenomena. What on earth? is 59.99 on a full way split pay that's some of the best color i've seen 14.99 you can get that home for today unbelievable absolutely unbelievable and and how how where else are you going to see sand and scar and this is the thing when we close everything out once it's gone it's irreplaceable and then if you realize actually yeah i do like sand and scar i might get some of that where are you going to go for it Exactly. Other than Cartier. And that's going to be ready-made jewellery. Yeah. So, you know, with the, with the Cartier tag, you pay three quarters of the cost. How much that does that tag. ring again? How much does that ring again? Oh, that's, um, that's um, you... Arab Emirates dollars. There you go, yeah. Uh, it's about, I don't know. Cactus to Cartier ring in yellow gold. 
San and Scarn set with 55 brilliant cut diamonds. Only a quarter of a carat of brilliant cut diamonds though. It's not a massive dark carat weight in your diamonds. No. We're just doing the conversion now. I like it. £19,000. Now, I wouldn't pay you £19,000, even if I... I mean, I haven't got £19,000 anyway, but... Seriously? Seriously? £59.99. Well done, everybody. Or £14.99 today if you want to use your 0% interest. Amazing. You won't believe it, jewelry makers. You won't believe it. Oh, no. Oh, no. What number? Oh, no. These are so pretty. How many? 50 chances. Prepare. If you, if you love San and Scarn, if you've never owned San and Scarn, I mean, it's very much a collector's yeah, absolutely. gemstone, isn't it? I, I, this is, in my opinion, anyway, this is the most San and Scar, uh, most affordable San and Scarn opportunity. Not just you have ever seen, you will ever see. Definitely. Up next. Do you consider yourself a collector? Do you consider yourself? Sorry, can I get another bus with a with a with a and a bit of elastic at the back? That, um, only because I'm just going to put it on the bus and we can admire it in all its beauty. Has that one got elastic? Lovely, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, if you consider yourself a collector or an aspiring collector, even if you love your jades, then you'll already, you probably already own San and Scarn. If you've never been able to afford San and Scarn, today we're gonna change that. Because genuinely, for I always say four is the new six, everybody's loving four males. You can do so much with four males, can't you? And please know that this is natural. So I'm sorry to keep doing it, but let's go back to the Cartier ring, because I think that's probably close to the size, probably smaller, to be honest. Oh, it's smaller, definitely. Those are smaller. Opaque, would we all agree? Yep. Maybe faceted? Um, with a little bit of mottling, yeah? Yours, bigger. And remember, we've got our jade hats on now, jewellery makers, haven't we? Translucent. Colour matched. And not £19,000. Okay, we have 50. Just to start us off. I mean, can you imagine? You could really indulge in sand and scarn. You could create the most fabulous waterfall. <gasps> sand and scarn tassel. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. Oh, they would be beautiful. I want these. I want these. There are 95, approximately 95 sand and scarn solitaires on this strand. We're basically at a pound each, which is mad. Again, don't forget that boulder, how it forms. Mad, that's mad. But we're going even lower. I want these, Neary. You were gonna half the price, but you're gonna go straight down. How about if I literally just shout it out so you all know? Who loves sand and scarn? Hands up. Um. <laughs> just as Barry walks past and he thinks I'm waving at him. Hi, Barry. Hi, yeah, yeah. Um, who wants the best possible San and Scarn price tag? How about... Oh, I'm just nervous saying it. $29.99. Oh, I've been, I've, I've been, we've been given approval. We have been given approval. 
Haven't we? We have, we have. Yeah, yeah, oh, good. That's all right. Then I had that seed of doubt there for a second. There was 50 today, 29.99. If you've watched San and Scarm previously on our screens and never been, it's never been within your grasp, maybe budget wise or maybe uh, also quantities, I have to say, 50 is a massive quantity. Um, please, 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 my recommendation would be get the certificate of authenticity. It's in all varieties of your jades, whether that's jadeite, whether that's nephrite, whether that's uh, Bursa Jade, whether that's San and Scarn, whether that's Kotan, get your certificate. It's 25p, I think, um, because it will say totally natural and it will literally list the gem. The only thing it won't say on there is the price. Um, so it's invaluable. It's absolutely invaluable. The rarity of the gemstone, 29.99. Look, 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 no disrespect, but I can get Mookite for that. It is disrespect. I agree. I agree. We can get Mookite for that, can't we, Chris? I can get certain Jaspers for that. Certain Quartz. Not one of the rarest gemstones that's erupted on the gem scene. Clock to close. I've got 15 chances. Kerry, Jean, London, Patricia, Davinia, Jane, Anne, County Durham, Bernadette, Nicola, Lorraine, Janet, Kay, Bristol, Kent. Oh, you disappear off the screen. Uh, Gerda, Jean, Marie, hello to you. Uh, Mariska, you've just got yours. Congratulations. I've got Janice there, new customer there, Tracy there, Julie there, London there, Leslie there, Kay there, Janet there. You get the idea. Busy, 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 jewelry makers. 19 grand for that Cactus de Cartier ring. 19 grand. There's a lot of gold, I'll give him that. There is a lot of gold. Not 19 grand's worth of gold, though. Um, you can get a full 30 carat San and Scarn, natural San and Scarn strand for 30 pounds today. Honor, you've just got two. Well done, Honor. And the last time, it's bittersweet, isn't it? Last time, potentially, that we see Sandscarn. Because we can't, look, we, we will be humble enough to say, hands up, can't afford to compete with Cartier. When you think about it, they, they, they've got, what is it? One, two, three, four, five stones, and it's 20 grand. 20 grand. So their markup is huge. I, like I can tell you, their markup is absolutely huge. But it's lovely jewellery. It's iconic jewellery. Amazing. It's luxury, a luxury brand. And people who are people that tend to be Cartier customers tend to tend to stay with Cartier as a brand as well. Buy their watches, their timepieces. Will probably have the Cartier belts and handbags, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but again, so we can't compete. So um, this is it for us. For the well, for the foreseeable, unless some miracle happens. Well done. Um, okay. Where next? Ooh. Oh, these are lovely. Oh, yeah, there were loads of flying ants yesterday, weren't there? I saw loads as well. It's a, it's um, what do they call it when there's infestation? No. <laughs> what do they call it? It is though, isn't it? There were swarms of them, literally swarms of them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I took my daughter swimming. Um, this is around about six o'clock and they were literally all over the floor. Or not in the swimming pool. Not in the swimming pool, outside the swimming pool. Um, I know, it's about, it's about, you just need to press the button underneath. Are you right, Neary? Yeah, I was coming to help you press that button. Ah, he's coming to help press the button. Okay. These are amazing, and you could treat them as individual solitaires if you wanted to. Yeah. How many got near it? Do you know? No. <laughs> he don't know. He was turning on the monitor. Um, okay. Twenty. Love the shape of these. Absolutely love the shape of these. Leading our way, working our way towards your amazing natural blue Akoya pearl opportunity that's on the horizon. 
Okay, let's get things uh, moving, shall we? Close out deals on one of the world's rarest gemstones that we have in our vault? Yeah, probably, probably. That's, it. That's reality though, you know, Neary. It is probably one of the rarest gems we've got in our vault. And it's definitely irreplaceable. Starting at under 100 pounds. Just for starters. Not where we are closing. I'm so re I'm so ready. These are flying out the vault so quickly that it, there actually is no point in us chipping down because they'll have sold out before we even get there. So we're going to go straight down to it, jewelry makers. Well done, thank you for your trust. So we li they're literally going to be on and gone. Literally on and gone. See something that you love. Make sure you check it out. Um, you won't see deals like this. And our expectation shouldn't be for San and Scarn to be under £30. Um, not a gemstone as rare as it is. Again, it forms almost like granularly. Even, even finer than that, I should say. If you go to somewhere like uh, the chrome diopside mine, part of the challenge with chrome diopside is its formation and um, basically the fact that it can flake it, lit it literally flakes off we used to have a specimen it's probably in the gem museum now a specimen of chrome diopside and every time that we used to do showcases we bring the specimen out we're not allowed to do that anymore because it literally just flakes um sand and scarn has got similarities to it so to be able to get not after it's cut and polished obviously um, but in its rough form so to get sizes like this they are absolutely colossal so they shouldn't be at $29.99. They shouldn't, I don't think they should even be $129.99. Let's be honest, $299 would be awesome, wouldn't it? Use them as individual solitaires. No, we have not got sand and scar nuggets. No way. You're, are you a green person, Linda? I seem to think I that you weren't, used were you? I used to be, no, but... Um, but you are now. Yeah, I mean, I used to love Peridot. That, when I first started at Jewelry Maker, I thought, wow, that introduced me to green gemstones. And since then, <laughs> I've really grown to love um, a green gem. I just, I don't know, it's got... I don't know quite how to say what it is that draws me to it. Well, it's the colour um, of the universe, isn't it, as yeah, well? It's, it, it is. It, 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 it is. It's, and it's just a variety of greens. Sorry, colour of the planet. Not the universe, the planet. The planet, yeah. It is, isn't it? So I think, mm. and, and I think apparently if you, if you warm two greens, you're a nurturing person. You're naturally, and it's a nurturing colour, mm -hmm. apparently. So... Um, it's absolutely gorgeous though. I mean, I'm looking at this strand and yes, they're a strand. You could knot them, you could bead them, you could rosary link, you could do all of the above. But equally, you could treat these as solitaires, which most jewelers would, you yeah, know? I love that strand though, because of its um, non-uniformity, it makes a gorgeous piece of interesting jewelry. Yeah, I agree. Bring out the nuggets, says Neary. Starting. Wow. Uh. But we've gone up in carrot weight, right? 185 carrots. A pledge from producer Neary. How many have you got, Neary? 46. A pledge from Neary. This is the most affordable sun and scarn strand that you'll ever see. If, if, hey, listen, he says if, if, if Ross beats that price, fair play. But he doesn't think it's possible. I don't think it's going to see another show, to be honest, Neary. If you, st oh, good, good grief! Wow. I knew you were going to do closeout deals. I know we've got authority, but fifteen quid, no. 
I mean, you know that so tanzanite is known as the Tiffany yeah. gem. This is going to be known as the Cartier. The Cartier gem, gem absolutely. Yeah. And Cartier love jades. You know, Cartier have used black jade in their pieces before. Um, they've used lapis lazuli. They use amazing coloured stones. Yeah, I agree. This could be the next Cartier stone for them. And I get it because it's opulent. It's got this wonderful... For me, this colour just screams luxury, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it does. Now, at this price, we can't hold it on our screens for very long. Gotta remember, shopping TV is different than retail. Um, basically, we can do, and, and you know that's not right. You know that shouldn't be where we are. Um, so basically, we have to restrict the time on air jewelry makers to justify it. Make sure, just because we move on doesn't mean that you've missed out on the opportunity. I will verbalize if it sells out. Um, and you're not restricted, you can get as many of these as you wish. 185 carats for 14.99 that's totally natural i've do you know this whole this whole clothes out do you know what i've been doing neary <laughs> yeah <laughs> just put that face just that face mm -hmm. huh nothing does make sense sun and scum one of the world's most exciting new varieties of jades We've had some new customers with the sand and scar. I'm not surprised. You know what? You think that's somebody that works in the industry? Yeah, absolutely. But you know, it might be, but at the same time, it might just be someone that goes, that's a gorgeous green. Well, exactly. The thing, it is a gorgeous green. The thing about jewelry and gemstones and making jewelry with gemstones is you, purchase what you instinctively love and yeah. what you fall in love with and i mean this is new to me seeing i've not seen this in the flesh before and i've fallen in love with it imagine that with some brock pearls oh it's a, it's a, it's stunning and i think it will complement every skin tone every hair color every we'll occasion it yeah, it and it's head turning that green yeah. isn't it it's undoubtedly i know i say this a lot but it's very gemmy very, very, very gemmy, which is what Jade's about. It's that gemmy translucency. Yeah, you think about, I don't know, you think emeralds, emerald green, yeah? Like a Zambian emerald, the finest Zambian emerald. Like our lovely Deb, who's anniversary, her amazing Zambian emerald ring. It's that gemmy green mm. color, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You think about, um, this is a bit of a, this is a bit of a curveball. You think about Wizard of Oz, the Emerald City. It's this green, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Sorry, that was a bit of a curveball, wasn't it? Um, okay, anyway, is me still wittering on? You can tell I love it if I'm still wittering on, not paying attention to the graphics. Um, number one, sorry, Neary. So, number six, okay. Ooh, but I have got one carving as well. Okay, let me show you this carving. Neary, can I borrow your phone again? It's natural. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness me. That is astonishing, isn't it? It's the light and shade as well. Can you yeah. see that? Like the mat. If I turn it round, the mat with the polish. God, the craftsmanship on that. Um, this is coming up in one auction's time, jewelry makers. But before that, you know our platinum chains, Ava, is she there? Mm -hmm. Just feed, there she is. You know our platinum chains, the chains, mm -hmm. do you still have them? Just one, mm -hmm. okay. because this needs to be shown on the platinum chain. And what did we say? What did we say? We were like going, okay, it's about time. You mean, think about the amazing pearls, the jades. They deserve, they justify platinum and golds. What I have in my hand right now, and it's worth the wait, I promise you. How many do we have, Neary? 20 available opportunities. That's, that's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, is it a star by? 
Okay, I'll tell you what, in the meantime, let bear with. In fact, one second. I'm going to say, see this here. This is your opportunity. San and Scarn, beautiful. We describe them as a jump ring. Yeah, you just get the one though. I mean, how amazing is that? You get five. What a clever elf. Five beautiful, natural. I see now why you've asked for the chain, because they'd look amazing. Just that, the one. Yeah, yeah. Spread it on. You don't need to put them all on, do no, you? No, 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 definitely not. No. That's why I was asking, and Eva's like probably thinking, oh, for goodness sake, I just packed it away. Sometimes little is more, isn't it? Yeah. Um, here we go. <sighs> right, here we are. Just one. And by the way, um, I know it's a different gemstone, but um, if you go to Tiffany's and Co, Elsa, Ma Elsa Peretti uses nephrite jade, spinach green nephrite jade, very similarly to this. Um, but again, look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. That's just one. It, I mean, it just oozes with glamour, doesn't it? That's it just one. Glamour. But you're actually getting five of those natural hand carved. You could set a gemstone in the middle. You could set an amazing diamond in the middle of that. Um, and you've still got leftovers, haven't you? One, this is another trick I like to do near AC. See? There you go. Set a diamond in the center. That's just one of them. Who does? Glen Lara? Yeah, very Glen Lara. Yeah. Go to Elsa Peretti. You've got like a, an organic shape, quite matte. That's nephrite jade, so it is, it is different. But how much is it? $3,780 for that in gold. I tell you what, it is your penultimate San and Scarn deal before we bring you the San and Scarn carving. Not just the one, you are getting all five opportunities. So if I hold them all together, five of these beautiful natural San and Scarn, I don't want to call them jump rings, they're high goos in my eyes. Um, that's £10 each. Lowest ever price. But we're going again. How many do you have? 24. These are going to sell out. Durham's got three. But actually, Durham, you've got 15. Haven't you? London, Regine, Stephanie, Kerry, Kent. Uh, another London, Janice. <clears throat> we're going even lower. That's already a lowest ever price tag. It just has this wonderful opulence, this really beautiful colour. This is also your penultimate sand and scarm potentially. potentially. <coughs> Excuse me. £29.99. How much? £6. Wow. If you haven't got a platinum chain, the sand and scarn is the, you know, is, is, a rare, beautiful, valuable gemstone. You could put that on cord, couldn't you? It doesn't have to be on gold or platinum. You know, you could with jades as rare as this, you can literally just feed it onto a, uh, onto a leather cord. Um, but then forget that twenty nine ninety nine price tag. It shouldn't be that each, let alone for a pack of five. Neil and Linda, Debbie, Kerry, Stephanie, Regine, London, Durham. I've got Lisa, Helen, Gerda, Virginia, Sheila, Sandra, Maker, Stephanie, Manchester, Maker, London, Janice, Kerry in Devon. Um, you can do it, but you need to be checking out. I've got single figure quantities. 32 of you have got the final nine in your basket. Hello, Mertha Tidville. Make sure you're checking out. That's six pounds for a sand and scarn, and again, it's totally natural. Six pounds? It is time, well done. I'll leave it with you. Nearly new. Can I have your phone? 
because I didn't know we'd, we'd carved salmon scum before. And because of that wonderful consistent color, it's like a, it's, you know, we describe in, in the jadeite world, thank you, in the jadeite world, it's um, imperial. In the nephrite world, it's spinach. So they say, call it spinach green. San and Scarn is San and Scarn. It's all of that amazing quality. I've never done this before, so I'm, I want to see it on air. You know, oh my goodness me, wow. Um, by the way, the previous auction sold out. I've never done this on air before with San and Scarn, so I'm intrigued. Oh, wow. Can we? Yeah. Oh wow. That's amazing. Look at this as a differentiation with that carving. How that gem has delineated the carving of the dragon. Look how it literally glows. It's beautiful, isn't it? But then when I take the light away, thank you, Neri. How clever is this? And it's done by hand. It's the matte and the polish. It's the for want of a better description, the rise and the fall. Does that make sense? Yep. That's beautiful. And I've never seen it before in Simon Scarn. Neary, how many do we have? There are 15 in the world, so it's got always, something like this is always gonna be exclusive. Good luck. This is your next star buy. I just want to ask once again, and I know we've looked at this already today, but um, when I'm holding a piece of salmon scarn of this size, it really does put it all into perspective. I'm just going to ask for the salmon scarn rough. And it's not just one stone. That's quite a few boulders that have been extracted from the ground. Yeah? The intention is obviously to get some salmon scarn from these pieces. But doesn't it put it into perspective just how rare this is? See the back in the middle? There's like a dip in that boulder. Can you see? Now, I'm going to say, yeah, you've got sand and scarn there as well. Whether it has translucency is another thing. But this really does hit home how rare the gem is. Found in Pakistan and Pakistan only. I didn't know that we'd actually placed this, this into the hands of some of our amazing uh, master carvers. I say are, oh, they're not ours, but that would be wonderful, wouldn't it? We have one carving today and that's it. But look how different it is to your jadeites. Look how different it is to your nephrites. Look how it reacts to the light completely differently. In the year of the dragon as well. Ah, oh, that's just so cool. You know, this is going to be another gem <coughs> within the next, excuse me, <coughs> within the next couple of years that's going to get rarer yeah. and rarer purely because of the um, the Eastern markets. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, I, I don't know, don't quote me on this, but for me, the fact that Cartier have actually got it. Of course, yeah. Is, is, is a window Elevates of opportunity. It, yeah, yeah. Um, of is a window of opportunity for us as well, because that's the West, isn't it, Cartier? Yeah, yeah, yes. Um, so that's exciting. However, um, the words in my head that are, I'm, I'm repeating over and over and over again. Richard Wise once said, who wrote Secrets of a Gem Trade, if you see something that you love and you can afford it, buy it. Because 99% of the time after that, it's unachievable. Exactly. It's unachievable in lots of ways. I mean, to make it unachievable can be the actual rarity yeah. of finding the gem. Yeah. And then the next thing is supply and demand. Mm -hmm. You know, there are a few reasons why gemstones just go Disappear. through the roof. This is your imperial sand and scarn. Oh my goodness me. And it's natural. It's a huge size. And 
it's just for me the fact you've got that wonderful um dragon carving the detail on the dragon carving the contrast between the matte and the polish of this piece and we're, yet we're still doing it uh we're still doing it uh at a close out deal price if only i knew what page that statement was on do you reckon you'd be able to find it but this is the book Secret to Richard Wise, Secrets of the Gem Trade. When I studied with the GIA, when I did my qualification, Steve gave me a, pop, a copy of this book. He said, read it and then read it again. Absolutely, and read it again and again. Yeah, because there is yeah. nothing that we don't know about gemstones in here. And that's why there's special editions and whatnot. It's because they keep rewriting it as discoveries happen. Anyway an absolute work of art. In the world of jade, whether you're talking jadeite, nephrite, whether you're talking Kotan, whether you're talking sand and scarm, whether you're talking burst, whatever it is, especially when we start talking about your carvings, it's not just about how gemmy and translucent the gem is. It's not just about how intense that color saturation is. You also then start incorporating the artistry, the level of artistry. Uh, and again, I think it was Wan Hao Yu from Sotheby's in uh, Japan who actually said in the same way that we don't value a work of art in a gallery by the measurements you know or whether the fact it's got um, a frame or not we measure the artistry by the skill of the artist you can see that skill in this amazing natural piece we have a limited quantity and we're going to do a closeout deal 30 seconds You haven't. Where it's no, it's it's basically where it says, um, Richard Wise says, if you see a gemstone that you love, and at that moment in time you can afford it, buy it. Because ninety nine percent of the time, after that, it becomes, especially rare gems like this, you know, well, it becomes basic, unreachable. You know, if, if if one person loves something, you can guarantee there's going to be another Absolutely. hundred odd people that love it. So, a crazy deal. And £199 for a natural sand and scarn carving. It is drilled as well. Can you see? Just a, uh, There's a drill, discrete drill hole at the top. That just on a literal, literally a lark's head knot. Absolutely beautiful. Or on your platinum chains that we had earlier on this morning if you wanted to. You've got split pay. We're doing massive closeout deals for you this uh, this morning, jewelry makers. Um, not clock to close. Clock to go lower. Okay, listen, we're closing it out. This might be Bon Voyage. We might not see this gemstone again. We, do, we know that we cannot buy it. At this present moment in time, and things do change, never say never. Um, that's the reality. We shouldn't say never. It's like, oh, you never find blue garnets. What do we find blue garnets? You know, things in the gem world do change on a regular basis. However, currently, we can't afford to compete with Cartier. Did he? Sean Connery said he'd never play James Bond again, and then he played Sean Connery. He said he did never say never again. Did they call name it after him? Did they? <laughs> there you go then. The ultimate Bond. One, four, nine. Virginia's got two. Well done, Virginia. Andrew in Essex, RuPaul in Middlesex. Um, I've got Elizabeth in Tyne and Ware on the phone lines, but so many more of you. There's never been a better opportunity. Oh! Neary, are you sure we've got authority to do this? Oh. This is the last drop, though. This is the last price drop. If you were born into the Year of the Dragon, if you have a passion for dragons like our lovely Alison, the level of artistry on this just blows my mind. It's not just about the detail on the dragon. I don't know how close you can get. It's the fact that you actually have those, that there is, you see his beautiful face. It's more of an amulet, isn't it? 
is more of a what? Like an amulet, you yeah, know, it a is. token of... Yeah, absolutely, things. more of a tablet. Yeah. I can... S yeah, I can see someone like Jason Momoa or David Beckham or someone like that actually wearing something like this. Who's a dragon? We are in the year of the dragon. I love that. I absolutely love that. This is lowest ever price, obviously, jewellery makers. Yeah, it's cool. It's so cool. And also, you know, in the East, a dragon is not like the fire and... And, and evil that we perceive it to be actually here in the West. In the, in the East, actually, it's very protective. Um, it's very, very, very protective. It's water, in actual fact. Um, so it's a very positive symbol. And also, if you're born into the year of the dragon, you are a very, very dynamic person. Uh, Sandra, Anjum, well done. Victoria, Duncan, well done. I've got people multi-buying on this opportunity. After the break. The wait is no longer. We have the launch of natural blue Akoya pearls, the rarest color of all pearls. Look at how amazing they are. Absolutely incredible. The launch. Now, let's get the housekeeping out the way, Neary. How many do we have? That's insane. We've got 150. They're individuals. We have never sold blue Akoya pearls individually until today. We have the perfect peg to go with it because these are half drilled. So all you need to do is literally glue it into place. Um, as a, and we will talk about why are Akoya pearls so valuable? Why blue even more than that? It's like one thing then, oh my goodness, actually it's not just Akoya, it's the rarest color of all, something that cannot be predicted. It's happening, jewelry makers. We've got 150, or rather we had, because some of these have been on pre-order. So join us with the lovely Linda. We've got the peg, so she can talk you through, um, if you have any questions, how to put it together. It's very straightforward, to be honest. Um, good luck to you all, up after this. Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I hope you're all well and having a really good week. Nice to see the sun shining at last. I'm back in the studio this Saturday the 20th of July where I'm going to be joining Ross, L, and the team. And I just wanted to give you a quick heads up of my two project hours. At nine o'clock, we have got the most incredible hematite selection, including, can you see, Swarovski Rivoli elements. They are absolutely beautiful. These gorgeous little stone studded rondelles, they come included with the bundle, eight millimeter faceted rounds, absolutely stunning. And a couple of weeks ago, you may remember, I had beautiful, beautiful bicones and kite shapes. We've managed to get some more in for this Saturday in case anyone missed out on them. Look at that, isn't that absolutely beautiful? So that's at nine o'clock, amazing hematite. And then at 12 o'clock, now I've called them forget-me-nots. We've got these incredible bead caps. Now you may be wondering, that doesn't look like a bead cap. Well, I'm gonna be showing you how to transform your bead caps into these absolutely beautiful connectors. We've got three colorways, gold, silver, and copper all accompanied with the most incredible shell pearl, which I've not seen on the screen for ages. So for again, I'm gonna show you how to turn them into these beautiful connectors. So that's this Saturday, 20th of July. Join myself, Eleanor, and the team. Cannot wait to see you all there. Bye-bye. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. 
Our partnership family includes jewellery maker, gem collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Our UK-based call centre is always on hand to assist you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Hello gorgeous jewellery makers, it's guest designer Carol here. I'm back in the studio on the 22nd of July and I've got some lovely things to bring you. In the nine o'clock hour we have got these gemstone bead projects. There's a choice of gemstones and they come with sterling silver findings. So I've made some necklaces and I've also had to go at a wire wrap ring with the sparkly bead. And then at 12 o'clock it's tool time and I've got a wonderful adjustable work holder to bring you. It's very, very versatile, very adjustable. I've had real fun with that. Um, and I will be showing you some techniques for saw and file texturing and making this really pretty snake ring with all sorts of different texturing options. So I will see you on the 22nd. Take care. Here at Jewelry Maker, we only charge one PMP throughout the day. You can add as many items to your basket and check out and still only be charged once. Once you've checked out the first time and want to order again, you simply add the item to the basket and click on the Combine Order button. Remember, standard P&P is $3.95. Charges may differ outside the UK. Or upgrade to our premium option of $5.95. Shopping made easy on Jewelry Maker. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Um, can I just say from a personal perspective, this is a huge honor. And I, I know, um, so this is overtime for me. I don't normally work on the shift side, but then when, and I didn't know that this was happening today until I had an email from Georgia saying, oh, you're launching Blue Akoya Pearls, individual Blue Akoya Pearls. And I was like, oh my goodness me, that's literally like the best news. But when I was on our USA channel, I'm going back probably about eight, nine years ago, I did have that same honour eight, nine years ago. That puts it into perspective, doesn't it? Of launching Blue Akoya Pearls. And I, I bought one piece because I'd never seen it before. Um, it's much smaller than these, much, much darker. So not as good. Still nice, don't get me wrong. It's just literally almost got like a nine carat gold wire, heart wire around it. It's only small. And I can tell you that I paid a lot more than what we're bringing these to, a lot. And that's with staff perks. Anyway, so, and you might be thinking, okay, so why are you telling me that? Well, we do pearls on a regular basis, yes, but we don't do blue, uh, blue pearls. Wherever you are talking, whether it's freshwater or marine pearls, blue is the rarest colour. And it is not something that they can initiate. So I say that because you can, uh, we spoke about hybrid pearls earlier on with the purples and the pinks. You can do that. You can't with a blue pearl. Tahitians, would you class those as blue? Some people do, I personally don't, but they've got a bluishness about them. But the Akoya pearl in blue in my eyes and in most is the finest of all. I want to talk to you, these aren't my words, these are a few different presentations that I was reading last night that will talk to you about the rarity of your opportunity. And then I'm gonna tell you there's 150, this is the first time that we've ever done single blue Akoya pearls, they're half drilled, you know, they are gonna be the most affordable that you could ever imagine. And I say that, if, you, if you're disappointed, cancel it. But I tell you, if you know the rarity of your blue pearls, then the deal is insane. So, blue pearls, 
the rarest of all pearls. Most people appreciate how pearls come in a variety of sizes and colors, yet few are aware of blue pearls. One of the most unique wonders of the world, arguably the rarest of all pearl colors. Even more compelling, blue pearls come in a wide range, uh, wide range of blue hues, from pastel sky blues to a deep midnight blue. Uh, is that right? Pearl farming is a multi-year commitment. And this is something that Linda and I touched on earlier on. Pearl farmers must tend the mother oyster daily, caring for okoya, pearl, uh, okoya oysters from early development to maturity, which takes three to four years. That's before they even start culturing. Once fully matured, a nucleus is inserted into the mother oyster. From there, the baby pearl will grow to its full potential over the following 18 months to two years. So you are talking about potentially six years time invested into one single, oyster, uh, one single pearl per oyster. After five to six years of patient and steady diligence, at last, the mother oyster is ready to, ready to share her baby pearl with the world. Akoya pearls are born in the winter. Colder ocean temperatures help make a pearl's layer of nacre brighter with luster. Um, one of a pearl's most important criteria for determining value. We've spoken about that quite a lot. But those cooler temperatures of Akoya pearls make a much tighter, thicker nacre as well, which is why Five to six years, yeah, for one pearl, one single pearl. And we've got 151 pearls. 755 years, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they might have been harvested alongside one another, but yeah, it's a huge investment. But what again, going back to, sorry, going back to that just previously, the cold waters. You go to South Sea, it's warm waters off the coast of Australia. You go to Tahiti, um, warm waters as well. Um, your Akoya pearls are much cooler and they're born in the, in the winter months. That's why you get that beautiful brightness. Okay, the rarity of blues. It's exceptionally rare to run into a blue pearl. In any of these pearl types, even though blue pearls are found almost everywhere, so you can get Tahitian pearls, freshwater blue, um, South Sea and Akoya, blue Akoya pearls were outcasts at one time in the pearl industries, but have since recently gained renewed popularity. We are now dying pearls to look like a, a blue Akoya pearl. But in the same way, do you know we used to throw Keshi pearls back into the sea? Because once upon a time, it was solely about the round, round and white. That's all we wanted. That's all we wanted once upon a time. We were blinkered to it now. We're so much more um, excited by the different uh, colors, the, the, the uber rare colors like natural blues. Uh, pearl farming starts with vital ocean nutrients and temperatures. It's not as simple as, okay, I'm going to get myself a, um, a, a mother oyster. I'm going to try and insert a little tiny nucleus bead and I'm going to look after it for five to six years. It's not that simple. A koya pearl cultivation has always been challenging in predictable climate con conditions. Um, and climate change is not making anything easier for the Yokoya pearl farmers. Akoya pearl production is heavily influenced by Japan's four seasons and local ocean temperatures and production has been seriously challenged over the last few years alone. Do you know, I, when I read those words last night, it was like, of course, why have we not spoken about this up until now? Pearl, marine pearls in particular, I bet that has massively affect the supply one and I've never mentioned Absolutely. that before. I mean, the thing is, with nature's changing climates, um, the Akoya, as Al says, thrives in the cold, cold. waters of yeah. Japan. And also those waters are also much cleaner yes. than anywhere else. So the oyster is really, really happy. But when the oyster is nucleated with that tiny little pearl, um, or a little bead, as it were, so for the oyster to then perceive it's there and grow the nacre to try and eject their sort of parasite, as it were. Um, I mean, most pearls then have a little insertion of mantle tissue on mm -hmm. top of that nucleus, but it Blue makes stone. no difference with the acoya no. whatsoever. So it's 
it's that little bit of organic matter in the clean waters that tends to affect colour. Yeah, but not with these. Not with these, no. So what is the meaning of a blue pearl? Trust, truth, tranquility and courage are the qualities associated with blue pearls. Blue pearl is the perfect gift for someone who needs that extra boost of confidence um, and calm in their lives. You know what? I mean, I think all pearls are very calming and very beautiful and um, peaceful. However, you can really see it. I mean, look over my shoulder. You can really see it in the blue Akoyas. Um, reading forward once more, this is a photograph of Mickey Moto, the man himself, who began culturing pearls. He wasn't just, um, you know, and this is not just for Akoyas. He started the whole process. In 1893, he cultured the world's first pearl by inserting, you can see him doing it there, a small bead nucleus into an Akoya oyster. Now, you already know that Mikimoto, a Japanese entre entrepreneur, started it. Please note that he initially relied on natural pearls collected from the ocean. So, I mean, how amazing is that? He had to source natural pearls to start that process. And in 1893, he cultured the world's first pearl by inserting a small bead nucleus into an uh, Akoya oyster. Um, blue Akoya pearls are known for their stunning blue colour. Um, even though the depth and intensity of the blue can vary, for example, you can either have a subtle pastel or rich deep shade. They have very good luster and reflective mirror-like surface also, um, unlike the white pearls, blue ones do come typically round. Now, I'm not saying perfectly round, you can see that on the photograph, but they do have a roundish-like shape. But I agree with that statement. Their luster is impeccable, their reflection is mirror-like, more so than even your white pearls. Um, their sizes of blue Akoya pearls can vary between six and eight millimeters. Um, you don't find, generally speaking, you don't find Akoya pearls to similar sizes of your South Sea. And that again is all down to A, the size of the oyster. The mother oyster is far, far smaller, almost palm size. Um, so, and they're one pearl per oyster. So not unlike your fresh pearls, you would have probably, I don't know, 20 pearls in a freshwater oyster. Um, you'll have one Akoya, one single. So this, this is one pearl from one oyster. Yeah, and, and, and they're saying six to eight, yours are nine to 10. So they're big Akoya pearls with that, oops, with that amazing, amazing blue, all half drilled. Now, Blue Akoyas are rarer than traditional white Akoya pearls. I think that's fairly obvious. The obvious reason is the naturally occurring blue hues in an Akoya. Even though the market is full of white Akoya pearls, most jewelers are looking for different colors, blue Akoyas. Because they are so rare, it, is, uh, it has higher commanding value. Again, I'm not surprised by that. Look at that photograph. I mean, they are absolute perfection. Um, the color, it's all about the color. And once upon a time, you know, in the same way that we didn't accept Keshis or Biwas or Baroques, now we embrace those wonderful shapes. It's about the color itself. And again, you can see that palm size, Akoya oyster, oopsie. Um, here you go, palm size, Akoya oyster that cultures Every, you know, one single. You can see now why it only ever uh, produces one pearl. One oyster, one pearl. I mean, the, 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 sorry, Al, the, the oyster is discarded once it's produced yeah. a blue Akoya. Um, so it doesn't have that longevity anyway of no. production. So they just No, not like South Sea. South Sea pearls will, yeah. will, will, will produ reproduce, reproduce, yeah. reproduce, but these don't. Like I said, mm -hmm. it's one. Um, so that means that investment of time that we spoke about at the beginning, that's per pearl. Six years per pearl. No, okay. I think I said earlier, 10,000 pearls have to be sourced to make a 16 inch. 10,000. 10,000. Jewelry makers, are you ready? It is the first time that we have ever brought you single natural blue Akoya pearls. In 30 seconds, we're going to make the graphics live. 
But do you know, I think it's really important that I say before the graphics appear to bring you something as rare as this. And hopefully I've highlighted that rarity. Shouldn't be affordable. And yet today, that is exactly what we are doing. We are bringing you natural Akoya pearls at an affordable price tag. Good luck to each and every single one of you. Oh my goodness. Now we are no way near, but we have to start somewhere. They're half drilled. Again, I, I, I'm going to tell you that when I bought my first Akoya Pearl, it was about eight years ago from my sister channel, otherwise there's no way I would have been able to afford it. I don't mind telling you it was three figures. I'm sure, because I was weirdly I was sorting out all the prices because I do write them down. Um, I'm sure mine was £299 for my Akoya Pearl. One. And it was framed in a little bit, little bit of nine carat gold either side. And I love it and I wear it still to this day. You're not going to be anywhere near that price today, jewelry makers. The only reason, and Georgia made this very, very, very apparent for me to out and said, look, it's really important that you mention this. We cannot replace our harvests like this. First, you've got the whole pearl mania situation that's going on and the fact that the East are going nuts for their pearls, whatever variety, freshwater, South Sea, Tahitian, Akoya. Akoyas are widely considered to be one of, you know, they are the finest pearls in the world. That's what most people say. Yeah, they're smaller. They're smaller than Tahitian. Yes, they're smaller than, than South Sea, but it's luster which they bring and they bring it by the bucket loads. And also they've got the history of Mickey Moto actually <laughs> attached to it as well. We are going to do natural blue Akoyas. And we are going to go crazy today. I'm, I, 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 I want to say something. Look, I, I have to be careful how I say this. Stop permitting I'll be joining you on this opportunity. Not for my benefit. I'm going to be buying these for my children's benefit. Because unlikely they're going to be able to afford a, a blue Akoya. Do you agree with that, Linda? Yeah, I agree with that on a few different notes, really. Um, again, we're at the mercy of Mother Nature yep. with, with all sorts of climatic conditions. Um, it's not just the, cult the cultured pearl industry. They have to rely on everything via Mother Nature to be perfect. And rarely is it perfect. And you can't foresee it. You can't mm -hmm. go, okay, this oyster that I've been looking after for five years, it's going to give me a blue, uh, going to give me a blue Akoya pearl. You, you don't cannot know that. guarantee a blue Akoya at all. No. At all. No. You can't guarantee a pearl, really. But a blue ap Akoya, no even more so. We are going to do the most amazing price point jewellery makers. Now, I think we've all covered the fact that a white Akoya pearl, lovely, rare, mm. beautiful, valuable. Not as rare as blue, though, yeah? I can see... In fact, it won't take you too long to do this. You can go onto the web and find an Akoya pearl pendant. Pair of earrings. Six millimetres. So it's much smaller than yours. £465 for two. That's not bad at all. It's not bad? It isn't bad? It isn't bad at all? Makes them £235 each. But a white is not as rare as blue. I've got the, the diamond set pegs that you could literally just literally glue into place. I brought a few out onto the, onto the, into the into the studio. It's the first time we've ever brought them to air individually. Um, half drilled. But I wanted to show you the consistency of the quality. These aren't pale. These aren't wishy-washy. They don't lack luster. It is like a platinum blue. That's a perfect description, isn't it? Glacial. It's almost like a glacial blue. And we start at 199 but again i'm going to tell you jewelry makers it's no way near your price point today 
Okay, uh, if you are a collector, it is going to, I'm a bit concerned actually by um, the volume of people that are gonna bombard the call center and the website. So if you've always wanted to own a natural blue Akoya pearl, dial now, add it to your baskets. If you're thinking about sweets, I'm getting this after the show, literally because I've, I've got a blue Akoya pearl. It's not like this though, it's not as good as this. I have to tell you, it's not as good as this. Mine's a little bit too dark in actual fact. Um, but I'm buying it for the girls because I know that my girls probably won't be able to afford a blue Akoya pearl if you're lucky enough to see them. When was the last time that we've ever brought you blue Akoya pearls? Uh, I think we had one little teeny strand that was way more than what we're taking it to. It was way more than this, Neary. And we've never done them individually. Never. We only source this. <coughs> These are, this is a harvest pre-lockdown. That's the only reason that we are able to launch them today. Seriously, where else in the world are you going to get a natural certified blue Akoya pearl for under a hundred pounds? Ah. Shall I say that? Because I think Chris has highlighted something really important here. I've got 150 or rather had. Chris has just said, oh, Neary, there's no split pay. No, there's not. No, no, no. Sorry about that. It's not an oversight. No, it's not an oversight. It's because today we are going to a non-split pay price, jewelry makers. We're doing it. They are huge. They say the average uh, Akoya pearl is between six and eight millimeters. You are getting um nine to ten which is colossal for an akoya pearl that's absolutely colossal you can recognize this is a thing you might think all pearls are equal um if you were to hold an akoya pearl next to a sort of fairly traditional dyed freshwater pearl you would see the difference massively they have crisp mirror light lusters 79 pounds and 99 pence for nine to ten, nine to ten, Linda. Well, with the Akoya pearl, the, the Akoya oyster, um, once this little irritant is popped inside of um, the oyster shell, <coughs> um, the Akoya is now known through research and that to form thicker layers of nacre. Because they're cold. Yes, they're cold, exactly. So it's the same like putting on more and more clothes. Um, consequently, then you get more luster than any other pearl. I mean, yeah. you can get blue pearls in all sorts of yeah. pearl varieties, but a blue pearl in any variety is extremely rare. Especially a natural one. Yeah. Not dyed, not the same thing. Not the same thing. We have, or had, 150. There are so many multi-buyers getting involved. <clears throat> you are not just getting loads of people are not just getting one and every so often i don't know if you've noticed i'm just swapping these around so you can see they're all different they're natural pearls of course um lovely jewelry makers pearl collectors incredibly we are not done here i have to say if georgia was here today and she's the one that actually sourced this deal for you all. This is probably the best manager special deal that's been brought to air, I, in my opinion. Oh, definitely, because I mean, we've talked about rarity today <clears throat> a lot of, on a lot of our gems today, but you know, a blue pearl is extremely rare. Yeah. A blue Akoya pearl is rarer is than that. Easter resistance. Yeah, totally. And so consequently, you know, the rarity affects the price. Again, with the pearl market in Asia at the moment as well, all of these pearls are going to be kept for the domestic market. Oh, there is no doubt. That's about the only that. reason we were able to source them. These are our pre-lockdown <coughs> harvest. You know, yeah. 
But also remember, you know, five years, five to six years is invested in each of those mother oysters yeah. in a hope that they will produce a, like, a Kaya Pearl. Exactly. One um, single I mean, Akaya Pearl. It, it, you know, it is like a lottery win to get a blue. Absolutely, totally. It surprises the most um, hardened of pearl farmers. Yeah. When a blue pearl, when the oyster's opened and there's a blue pearl there, it just it just takes the breath away, um, according to uh, an article I was reading the other day by um, a very well-known pearl farmer in the in um, in China. Linda, in we're not stopping there. Oh my word. It's the biggest size of any blue Akoya pearl that we've ever done. It's the first time that we've ever brought them to you singly. Mm. Your price today, or I have 150 opportunities, your price today and your final price is 49 pounds. Unbelievable. That is actually unbelievable. 49 pounds and 99 pence. You know, when we talk about white pearls that are actually more plentiful, um, at £465 for a pair of earrings, £235. Um, you're looking at natural blues with all those lovely overtones. Again, it is like a lottery win in pearl harvesting. You know, you've got six years invested, basically. It's one pearl per oyster, and you're talking about those oysters winning the lottery if they actually produce a blue because well, totally, it can't be yeah. you can't you can't hybrid uh, um, all oysters to produce perfect colors um or, or certain colors it's down to the mother oyster herself and you can't put nucleus uh, um, tissue in there to maybe actually uh um initiate that color change it doesn't work with, oy no, with the with the Akoya oyster it doesn't the putting in of the mantle tissue from another oyster is normally what governs the final colour of a pearl. But with the Akoya, they don't put the mantle tissue in at all. So it's very much, as Elle said, very much a lottery. A lottery there is no win. way that a blue pearl can be managed. It's totally and utterly Mother Nature's miracle. Yeah, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now, um, jewellery makers... I'm going to leave those just there so then that um, these are selling out in the background lots of you choosing to multi-buy on them as well um, but we do have a, a, a demo with our lovely Linda as well to bring you jewelry makers and if you have any questions do text in we've got um, the peg bales to bring you it's just a simple touch of hypo cement glue um, so jewelry makers make sure you're checking out we only had 150 <laughs> again this is a pre-lockdown <coughs> deal me. folks um, that's yeah the only reason that we're able to make this opportunity possible so again make sure you are checking out your baskets on it um, Linda mm -hmm. I mean was the, were these sent to you then oh, eh. oh, 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 oh. a blue pearl oh, just blue pearl, a blue pearl a blue pearl a blue pearl it's okay Grab it. oh. Sorry, oh, I was about to say, I probably wouldn't have panicked as much if it was a normal freshwater pearl, but the fact it was a blue Akoya. Mm. Yeah, yeah. A blue pearl, blue Akoya blooper. Yeah, absolutely. Now, no, I, put, I did have two pearls sent to me, yeah. which I feel very privileged to have had two Akoya pearls in my house at the same time, but I've popped my spare one, as it were. Would you like me there. to pass one back? Yes, please. I tell you what, do you know Thank what? You. I'm going to let you choose. Oh, let me, oh, this is hard, I want them all. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with that one there. That's speaking to me. Is it? Go back with your friends. There you go. There we go. Okay, take it away. Um, right, now you will get um, some instructions um, with this. So I am sort of really going to fairly gloss over because the actual work until we get to the Akoya is very, very simple and probably from an experienced jewelry maker's point of view, looking at the design um, of the Akoya pearl piece, it's very easy to work out how it's done. But <coughs> you need some threading material. Now I, and you can't see it on the, against this grey back, but I always go, um, if I'm not pearl knotting, then I go for wildfire for pearls because it's nice and fine, but very, very strong. Um, pearls, by the nature of being an organic gem, are drilled with as small a hole as possible. Um, these 
our half drill pearls and we do have a little bale coming up with a little diamond which is spot on for the job. Um, so what I did, the pearl goes in fairly uh, much, much later. I've just taken and threaded up my wildfire and I popped on a crimp bead uh, followed by a jump ring, pass my little bit of residue through the jump ring and then squish the jump ring down. That will be covered in a jump, in a um, crimp bead cover later. I tend not to pop my clasp on on any of my designs until I finish simply because in some instances I'm not sure what clasp I'm going to be putting on and when the design's finished it more or less shrieks for a certain type so hence the jump ring there waiting for the clasp so could I have the um, Ethiopian opal chips oh you can we were just talking about that you know do you know what? We'll put them on our screens right Please now and then, and then we'll give you a chance to check out your baskets and I'll update you on your Akaya pearls. I'm um, Straight down, you won't believe this, Linda. Oh, this is my favourite gem in the whole wide world. Akoya, well, especially for you. How about a tenner? Oh, my word, yes, please. So, um, just because you said that. Ethiopian opal, like, it just goes so beautifully with an Akoya pearl. Because Ethiopian opal just reflects all the colours that the nacre on the pearl reflects. So the only problem is it's just you have to have patience when threading on small Ethiopian opal chips onto a needle. But it's doable. Now, if when it gets down to the um, hole where the needle, it's a size 12 needle, by the way, where the needle tends to just get a little bit wider because of the um, the hole in the needle, the eye. Just pop your flat nose pliers onto the needle and then just pull. It's much easier with the pliers than with your hand because your hand will slip. And then just send that down to the jump ring. Now I will, now that, what I did with my design, I had 12 Ethiopian, chip, Ethiopian opal chips followed by, and this is what we are talking about earlier with the jump rings, that we had the diamond cut jump rings that would be fantastic with this. I, not jump rings, I'm talking about crimp beads, sorry. We had some diamond cut, didn't we, some crimp beads earlier, yes. which I said would be great with this design. Um, so I've now popped on, just this is just the or an ordinary crimp bead, which is very lustrous, so it, it works for me. And then we have got some blue sapphire coming up, I believe. And then I thread on, no I don't, rewind, I go back to my Ethiopian opal and thread one chip on, come on, I can feel the hole, it's just finding it with the needle, there we go, one chip, move that up to the crimp bead and then pop on another crimp bead. This is only to give a little bit of texture, a little bit of luster, a uh, little bit of interest. And then I threaded on a 3mm sapphire faceted, followed by another, I've forgotten how many I put on my, my original design, but the 12 Ethiopian opal chips, followed by I would say about eight, I think. It, if you buy the project, um, it will be more explained uh, in the project instructions. But again, because I'm trying to get through what is a slow process threading project, uh, trying to make it easy for uh, beginners, because I don't see why beginners can't have these really, really beautiful high-end gemstones to work with. Um, literally the sky's your oyster isn't it um, so I'm just going to pop on just we'll leave it at that actually and then you, you mentioned can see sapphires should we bring them to air Linda yes please because this is a brand new strand that would go beautifully with your Ethiopian opal and your blue acquires well exactly that's why I thought you know if we've got oh. any um, oh. I think they're three mil faceted because you get the sapphire reflects the colors of the pearl etc so it all just tends and the, the Ethiopian opal as well bursts with the blues the greens the pinks <coughs> it just works yeah. in a perfect uh, balanced piece of 
beautiful. I mean, this is this is a, a necklace I'd left in my kitchen on a bus for, I think it was about two nights, that's all. My husband just normally walks through my kitchen or wherever and he doesn't turn a hair, literally, but he hasn't got much hair to turn. But uh, it takes no notice. But he actually walked back into the lounge and he said, that piece of jewellery out there is absolutely beautiful. He says, what's that, that little gem on the end? I said, oh, that's a pearl. He said, it's blue. I said, yeah, I know. I know, I know, it's special, it's special. Um, well, another amazing blue is your natural sapphire, midnight blue. Georgia apparently wants this to be brought to air at twenty nine ninety nine. Well, that's fair. Absolutely, it I is. don't think Georgia's wrong. Neary says otherwise. How mm. about ten pounds off, jewelry makers? And then. Thirty second clock. Neary fancies going bonkers. Totally natural. When ninety five percent of the world sapphire is treated, you are sourcing the most amazing midnight blue. Isn't it gorgeous? It's good. It is stunning, and I think it's the perfect addition to your acquire yeah, pearls, isn't it? Is. That's why um, you know we interrupt Linda very quickly just to bring you this launch price. Crazy deal. Nineteen ninety nine. Why is the clock still ticking? <laughs> Mic drop, says Leary. Seriously? Twelve ninety-nine. Wow. That's a um, sapphire. Look, of that at that. look at that quality. Yeah, yeah, you can see the quality. And yeah. this yes, Linda, I can do a sapphire tassel. Exactly. I could do a sapphire capriccio. Absolutely. I could do I could it, use sapphires anything. instead of knots. Yep. Ooh. I mean, it's just, it really is just astonishing strand that. Back to you, my lovely. Right, well, I've just plod on a little bit. So what I've done now is, I first of all started with my Ethiopian opal, and then a crimp bead, one Ethiopian opal, a crimp bead, followed by, you can work out the balance of gems that you want, but followed by the sapphire, yeah. followed by um, a crimp bead followed by another sapphire followed by Ethiopian opal. Well, you know where I'm going, don't you? I'm just doing a mirror image till I get to. Now, this is where I'm going to have to jump on, otherwise, you're going to watch me painstakingly thread more opals. Um, I'm going to get to the point where I'm adding some fine link chain because what I wanted was I wanted a, a neckline piece coming round on the one side of the neck and then a neckline piece coming round that then went down to meet the drop of the pearl. So on the first neckline piece, which is what I'm threading at the moment, I needed, I wanted to put on two pieces of chain to drop down just about here, to drop down onto the other side of the neckline. Now to do that, I've cut about a two inch piece of fine link chain. And then when I've got to the point at which you're, you're sort of coming round, you know what I mean? You're coming round the decolletage, is that right? You're coming yep. round here. And then you want that chain then to link over to meet the other side. So now I'm just going to put my needle through the end link on that chain, just let that lay there. And then I've cut another piece of chain, which is going to drop below that first one, and then pop the needle through that. So they're both coming from the same point, which if you can imagine is much further down the neckline. And then I'm going to pop on another crimp bead and then continue in my pattern. So I'll just pop on a couple of sapphires to keep it there in place because that's the easiest one on air to thread. I mean, please don't be put off with the opal because it is so worth the effort. It, it, and it, it's not effort to me, it's therapeutic. So now you can see I've got the, the chain, which is, as I said earlier, is going to be so much longer down the necklace. So that piece of chain then will come across and then as I'm coming down, so I'm having to talk through this because it would take too long on air. Um, 
and that's the beauty of having the instructions in with the project. So I would then start the other side of the design and it tells you in my instructions how many, because I'm just using sapphires and crimp beads on this side of the necklace. So um, I would then come down to the point where this then is the sort of turn. And then when I've come down, I will pick up the last link of the first piece of chain. So that is now attached to the other side. Oops, I don't know what's happened there. Let's see, there we go. That is now attached to the other side, although I've attached it to the same side, because silly me, um, I've forgotten I hadn't started the other side. So I'm going to take that out, and then I'm going to have to lay it down again and just explain it, if you don't mind. So as you come down, keeping, lay it down on a flat surface so that you can keep that nice and tight. As you come down here to the length that you want, which is going to be round where we're going to drop down into the pearl drop is pick up the last length on the first chain and then again carry on with your sapphire crimp bead, sapphire crimp bead, sapphire crimp bead. It tells you in instructions how many. I can't remember off the top of my head. And then pick up that last piece of chain. You will then have, can you sort of bring that the necklace over? You can this see, one? Yeah. Yeah. You can then sort of see if I lay that down, sure. I should have done that earlier. Um, you can see what I mean by... It's like a lariat, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. We have got this stardust bead coming up, I, I think, I'm not sure we have. Um, so I finished off that first side of the necklace with the sapphires and the... <coughs> crimp beads to sort of mirror this side yeah. and then popped on the stardust beads got quite a large hole in it so I popped a little sapphire either side and then gone through with the chain and then you can see that that when it is on the neckline this drops nicely and this drops in exactly the same sort of drop um, and then your other side of your necklace as I said sapphire crimp bead sapphire crimp bead pop on the chain Sapphire crimp bead, sapphire crimp bead, I think one, two, three, four, five sapphires, and then pick up the remaining length of chain and then just a mirror image down. And then when you get to, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sapphires and crimp beads, when you get to the drop or the length, because it's all, it's all down to you about the length or how short you want this piece of jewelry to be, then pop on a crimp bead, uh, sorry, a after the crimp bead, pop on a jump ring and then take your needle back over the jump ring and then just thread it through the sapphires and the crimp beads up till you get to a, just the sapphire before that last link of chain. And then if you are using wildfire and that, you can easily, in that gap there, you can't see it, but that's what I've done, is tie loop round and tie the um, wildfire in so you don't have any squash crimps um, looking. The spacer bead is on your screens right now, the stardust which is just here. We're going to do a massive deal. Um, oh my goodness! What on earth? For your beautiful wow. stardust six mil spacer bead. The graphics previously, by the way, were for this amazing diamond peg bale. That was $12.99. Okay. Not even done there, Linda. We're going even lower for that Stardust bead. Wow. Yeah, seriously, $1.99. For, sorry. <laughs> wow. I've got two on mine, so that's great. I mean, I'd be stocking up my stash on those. With the peg bale, look, I've put the two together so that you can see the peg bale that was in the previous at $12.99. Amazing. I agree, most affordable still, sterling silver ever, 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 ever. Absolutely. Make sure you check it out and you can have as many of these as you wish. I'm going to be getting to the diamond peg bales. That's beautiful. That's a sizable diamond that's in there as well. 
Let's do the Dan Peg Pail. Peg Bail. And, uh, it's easy for you to say. Yeah. You don't just use this with your coin, you can use it with your South Seas, your Keshis, your Baroxy Fireballs, all of the above, and it's diamond encrusted as well, as if for £12.99. Yeah, all you need to do with that is you take the peg bale, <coughs> if you want to demo it as I talk it through, yeah. you can use one of your parts, uh, can't uh, you? Yeah. Uh, um, you can put something like E6000, you want a clear glue if you're using glue, glue that is for jewellery making, which mm -hmm. E6000 is, and it's got a nice little needle point tip. You put the tiniest drop of glue on the little post coming down from the bale. Give it about two, three minutes to get tacky. Yeah. Otherwise, when you push it into the pearl, you might get sort of, the glue might squish up to the pearl and you don't really want that if you can help it. So let it get slightly tacky and then just push it into oh. the pearl. We're running out of time, oh Linda. You've got your, um, you have your um, instructions. Yeah. Can I also remind everybody we are launching Colorado Amazonite Night tomorrow, so I'm very excited wow. about that. That absolutely exquisite parcel. Yeah. Wow. Um, it's been an amazing show, is not it? And it sounds like it's going to be amazing tomorrow. Oh, it's going to be an amazing, fabulous weekend. Absolutely. Sorry. Um, we're running out of time. Make sure you're checking out your baskets on your natural blue acoya pills. A massive congratulations on that. The sand scar, the pink pills, everything that we brought you today. And make sure you're checking out on your diamond peg bale. Linda, we love you. When you're back? Soon. Pass. Uh, I'm going Soon. away for a week in a week's time. So it's middle August, I think. Okay. Well, I'll see you bright and early <laughs> tomorrow morning. Colorado Amazon night coming your way. Wow. Take care. I should be watching. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Mark here. I hope you're all well and having a really good week. Nice to see the sun shining at last. I'm back in the studio this Saturday the 20th of July where I'm going to be joining Ross, L, and the team. And I just wanted to give you a quick heads up of my two project hours. At nine o'clock we have got the most incredible hematite selection including, can you see, Swarovski Rivoli elements. They are absolutely beautiful. These gorgeous little stone studded rondelles. They come included with the bundle. Eight millimeter faceted rounds, absolutely stunning. And a couple of weeks ago, you may remember I had beautiful, beautiful bicones and kite shapes. We've managed to get some more in for this Saturday in case anyone missed out on them. Look at that, isn't that absolutely beautiful? So that's at nine o'clock, amazing hematite. And then at 12 o'clock, now I've called them forget-me-nots. We've got these incredible bead caps. Now you may be wondering, that doesn't look like a bead cap. Well, I'm going to be showing you how to transform your bead caps into these absolutely beautiful connectors. We've got three colorways, gold, silver, and copper, all accompanied with the most incredible shell pearl, which I've not seen on the screen for ages. So for again, I'm going to show you how to turn them into these beautiful connectors. So that's this Saturday. 20th of July, join myself, Eleanor and the team. Cannot wait to see you all there. Bye-bye.